Hello there, good morning, good morning to the first day of Advent. So uh, welcome to December and welcome um, to Sewing Street. We are here with you right the way through until one o'clock this afternoon and we have got a jolly good show ahead of us, even if I say so myself. And I have got guests for every single hour. So it's definitely a day to stay with us, especially because it's so cold and frosty out there. Why would you want to go anywhere else? Well, why would you? Especially when you know so many things are going on here at um, Sewing Street. Of course, if you are a regular viewer to uh, us here, you will know that we kick off the day with our way of saying thank you for tuning in so bright and early. And that is what we call our early bird. Now, it's a special one incredibly special because quite often we will bring you just one little item won't we and it's an early bird and it's a brilliant deal and something that everybody gets involved with but we're on the run up to Christmas so we're bringing you something rather special on every um, single show um, or every single early bird should I say right the way through until the big day itself so here we go early bird window one that is what we will be opening in just a few moments I feel like I needed a drum roll for this oh it's all very exciting isn't it so window one what is behind window one well that is the question um, and the um, answer to that is a bumper bundle I have to say we have got the most amazing bundle that we are going to be sharing with you so early birds we've got to look at the little birdies there they are there they are and here it is so let me introduce you to your first early bird and as i said it's a bundle now i know we regularly say new year new craft but we do find that quite often you might be into your bags and things like that and you're getting started with your quilting well i say quilting i have to move this it's, it's a jolly big early bird i can't fit it all on my screen so what are you getting in here well you are getting a whole wealth of things that you would be shopping for anyway if you are a sewer potentially you need new ones of these i know i need a new cutting mat because mine as time goes on they kind of do get little marks in there and little bits of fluff and yeah if you're a bit like me you sometimes think oh I'll just give that a quick press and i can't be bothered to take it over there i put a bit of fabric underneath sometimes they can go a bit lumpy bumpy well you're going to get a double-sided mat which i'll show you that when i get to it because we've got all of these gorgeousness on top here as well um so oh that wasn't a pop at you hannah honestly no bless her she's just oh sorry i got excited no 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 i'm excited too so yes cutting mat is key something to cut with is also important and with this one you've got your fabulous kind of what i call um, a middle of the road um, kind of uh, rotary cutter it's your 45 mil so this is the one that when we are shopping for rotary cutters it tends to be the one that we start with because it kind of it's a bit like a Goldilocks it's not too small it's not too large it's the one that you really need so this is often where we start so as a result of that it's often one of the ones that we need to replace more often and it's always good to have a spare because quite often you will use different rotary cutter for different types of fabrics that you're cutting with or potentially you will keep one for with your wadding and one for your fabrics and it might be that you're a paper crafter or you're cutting your patterns utilizing um, a, a rotary cutter as well it's nice to have a separate one for those um, different situations so you might have multiples you're gonna get one of those in there as well which is brilliant quilting bear fabulous brand so you're gonna get that in there um, you need something to lean against don't you when you're cutting out so not one but two of the most useful rules that you can have or rulers should i say um in your bundle so obviously i mean this one's a really useful one to go for it's one that i very very um, often recommend to new quilters because you've got your 24 inches across and you've got your six inches across there as well so it's a really good size not the most portable granted but it's a useful one to have in your sewing room and you will have all the benefits of all the different kind of angles that you've got here with your 30, your 60 and your 45 degrees in there which you can't quite see but you know what I mean, they're in there. Um, you've also got your nice kind of bold um, numbers with it regard to this, so nice and easy for you to see. Um, in addition to that, you have got your smaller 6 by 12 and so that's one that maybe you're going to be taking to your classes and your workshops, uh, very portable might be one that you just keep on your workspace all the time because it's just a nice easy handy one good size as well manageable size shall we say with regards to that one so that is a brilliant one to have in there and then when it comes to sewing your fabrics you need to have everything keeping together so you've got a 50 pack here of quilt clips all the same color as well so if you get irritated when you haven't got the same color clips and i know it happens 
because I do it. Um, you want to have the same colour clips on your project, then here you go. You've got all those fabulous red clips there. But that cutting mat, as we mentioned, really good size. Um, 16 inches down that way, 22 across, oh, 23 across, should I say, from there as well. So it's 17, isn't it, because it's right to the edge. Self-healing, you've got your um, angles on there as well. So if you wanted to do things like your pennants, or you want to do things like your mitre corners, you can do that. And as you can see, you've got your full inch squares. Um, I like this because they're, they're not kind of cluttered up. You've got a nice clean square there, but then you have got the markings at the edge there if you're wanting to do um, your quarter, your eighth, or your half inches. They're all there as well. So you're getting that. You're also getting the metric version over on the other side. So quite often we need that as well. So again, you've got all your centimetre squares on there. Still got your angles. You don't have to flip it over to get hold of those. And of course, more often um, than not, we are seeing uh, patterns now that are kind of in imperial as well as metric. Um, so it's good to have the options of both of those there. So uh, yeah, nice bundle. I am sure you'll agree. So you're going to get your cutting mat. You're going to get your clips. You're going to get your two different rulers. And in addition to that, you are going to get your rotary cutter as well. That is a fabulous bundle. And for £69.99, p worth every single penny. That is a fabulous price for it's an early bird. So we know that that price is going to come down. So you've got your mats, you've got your two rulers, you've got your rotary cutter, you've got your quilting clips. So this literally has been bought in specially as a bundle. I don't think you'll find this bundle anywhere else because it's something that we've put together here at Sewing Street. You won't be able to find these individual elements. Yes, you will. And I bet you'll be paying a lot more than 49.99. You'll be paying a lot more than the starting price that we had with this one. So that is a brilliant price. I am sure you'll agree. So you're saving 20 pounds. That is a substantial um, saving, isn't it? But you know what? It's the first day, first day of Advent. I think that price can come down a bit further and it is indeed. Now, don't forget every single day of Advent, do tune in and you'll be finding some amazing deals. You're looking at less than 40 pounds now. Wow, $39.99, your mat, you're going to get that fabulous um, long ruler there, 24 inches by 6, your smaller ruler, 12 by 6, your rotary cutter, 45 mil, um, with your retractable blade as well, so safety at all times, obviously, and you've got your clips, and of course your mat there has got your imperial as well as the metric on the other side as well. Now, you're saving £30. I could spend that on fabric quite easily. I'd rather be spending it on fabric than on tools, to be fair, because tools, I mean, it's important to have your tools, but if you can manage to get them at a lower price, and especially a bundle price, it means that you've got more to spend on other goodies, and we've got plenty of goodies to share with you today. So it might be that uh, you've opened up a window of your advent calendar, you've found a nice little kind of surprise in there that, to get you creative. Maybe you're going to be raiding your stash today, and you're thinking, what can I make? Well, this is going to help you well on its way to you. Fabulous gift as well. So if it is that you need a couple of these tools um, and you could actually pass some of them on to others if you wanted to, to gift them. But quite often I will have multiple rulers. I'm, I'm fortunate in that way that then it, because I'm a bit of a lazy sewer, lazy quilter. Um, and I just literally, if it's not there and I've got to walk for it, it's like... <sighs> I wouldn't mind. My, my cabin, I'm fortunate that I've got a cabin, but it's not much bigger than a bedroom. So it's not like I'm walking to the West Wing or something like that. It's not that far to go, but we always go, oh, I can't bother. Right, Hannah, what was that update? Over 40% saving. Wow, that is brilliant. So you're saving £30. You're only spending £39.99. And of course, your P&P will go on top of that. And that will open up your basket for all of the goodness we are going to be sharing with you today. So I'm going to leave that one with you for the time being and tell you what you might want to be spending that £30 saving on because we've got plenty of choice for you today. Now, in this hour, I've got a lovely guest that I'm going to be working with. First time I've ever worked with Louisa. And I have to say, she has brought some of the most amazing kits and patterns to share with you. I know you are going to love them. Then the lovely Kerry is here. It's such a long time since I've worked with Kerry. Very much looking forward to her. Uh, loads of gift ideas in there as well. And many of them are very popular ones that have sold out and are returning back in stock. So make sure you have a look at those. Then, oh my goodness, Louisa is back with the most incredible pouch. Quite often pouches can be quite small, but this one is a really good sizable one. And it's featuring your um, foundation piecing as well with your flying geese. And we've got the most incredible wall hanging. It is so pretty. Um, the lotus flower, you're going to love that one as well. 
And then after that, we're back with Kerry um, and uh, we've got the workspace organiser. So if you go to your classes and workshops and are worried about <coughs> leaving bits and pieces behind, then that is definitely for you. So make sure you tune in for that hour. And then we are topping the hour with an hour of toft and that will be at 12 through till 1. So a bit of a yarn lane feature there and we're talking about lots of Christmas projects. Don't worry though, they're projects that will come together very, very quickly and easily as well. And we've got one of their fabulous... What do they call their boxes? It's discovery box, which I love the idea of that. It's all about cats, little kittens. Can't wait. It's going to be so fabulous. So, yeah, make sure you stay in. Um, stay in. Um, stay in. Watching us stay in. I was about to say, stay in. Stay in. Yeah. Don't go out. Stay in. Stay in. Um, and keep in touch. Uh, how can you keep in touch? Well, I'm sure you know already, but if not, let me enlighten you. So there's loads of different ways. You can message the studio. So there you go. Drop us an email if you're wanting to, and that will go through to the gallery, and they will in turn pass the comments on to us or the questions, if they're not busy doing something else. Um, and then, um, how else? A Facebook. Oh, I haven't got the tablet. Oh, leave. I haven't got the tablet. So, yes, if you want to message us, um, and that is literally live and interactive, so those messages can come through and I can pass those on where they need to go and ask questions. Um, and then the other way that you can get in touch with us is a good old telephone. If you want to speak to a good old human being and place your order, then you can do. Um, a free phone number, as you can see, they're a lovely team of people. Or you can shop with us online. Now, if you are shopping with us online, let me introduce you to our website. You can see all sorts of fabulous buttons and clickable things. One of the most useful ones is the Watch Live, and that's where you can watch us live, and you can send us little messages like Hannah is doing there, and that will come through to us, and we will share that with all of our lovely viewers. Um, also, as well, you can go and have a little look at what we've got coming on the show. Shop for all the goodies if you're wanting to, um, and to have a proper close look. Now, have a look at that. How beautiful is that cushion front? So, that is kind of what we've got coming up today. Now, I've had a couple of messages come up. I don't know whether these are now, because um, sometimes I get yesterdays. <laughs> but it's saying that the streams are having problems, so I don't know. We might need to check with that. But I know there was a few little kind of grumbles. Those little gremlins, they get everywhere, don't they? So we're on it. We're trying to sort that out for you. So, yeah, keep in touch. That's the key thing as well. So um, what was I going to do? Oh, Louisa. Louisa, bless her. She's been stood over there standing for what seems like an eternity. Louisa, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Glad to be in here and out of the cold. Oh, isn't it cold this morning? That was a bit of a shock this morning. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, but it's all warm, cosy and colourful in the studio here. So we are going to live with this. So we have got some of the most amazing things to share with you so where do we start in the rainbow blender kit oh do you know what i'm thinking rain i thought oh gosh it's totally changed it's not what we said we were going to do it's this one it's the rainbow colors i do apologize it's a little bit of a delay so what we have got for you is three fabulous kits we've got patterns available for these as well and this is beautiful so let me bring this cushion in how beautiful is this Oh, Louisa, I love this. <laughs> this is a really pretty design. Thank you. I love it. So we're talking EPP. Yes. We've got curves in With this. a curve, oh yes. You're going to teach us how to do that. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> and also as well, this is something a little bit special. We've got a flange that's framing our beautiful, beautiful panel. <laughs> love it. Now, in the kit, we're going to be um, having enough fabric to do the inner part of the flange? The whole front. So, so you've right got the way all up to the, the side seams. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fabulous. So all we need to do is add in some fabric for the backing. Uh -huh. Bit of wadding if you want to yeah. as well. And then uh, obviously your cushion pad. So yeah. Um, half a metre fabric cuts. We've got those at the, um, on the website. So you can kind of choose one to complement your de design. But you are going to be getting your kit. So let me move the cushion out of the way because I want to delve into the box. Can I compliment you on your kit? Because oh, I have to say, <laughs> this is the thing that is so beautiful. Oh, it's not the right one. Hold on, sorry. That was the one I was looking at earlier on. Um, so, again, I mean, compliments, full compliments to Louisa. Because this is the experience, is it? When you get that box and you've got the picture and you're like, oh, no, I saw it on the show. And I'm like, oh, so excited. And you open it up. And to be presented with a kit that looks like that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 
such care and, um, and thoughts gone into this. Now, we've got all sorts of bits and pieces in here. So we've got an embroidery skein, Louisa. Uh -huh. Yep, that's for your hand quilting. Lovely, like that. All of the fabrics in that, they're all cut. Are they cut to the right size that we need? You need to cut the borders down and the flange. Okay. So they're cut strips by the width of fabric. So you'll just need to. So I've done some of the cutting for okay. you. And then all of your beautiful, beautiful fabric. I mean, look how gorgeous these are. The colours are gorgeous. Tell me about the fabrics that we're it's using. It's Macaua's Linen Texture. Oh, so nice. So it's one of my favourite ranges. I'm, yeah, good choice. I like solids, but sometimes they're a bit flat. Yeah. And these just give a bit of and, extra. And these have got that, haven't they? They're kind of like what I call um, flat, but with personality. Yeah, it, yeah exactly. <laughs> They've got a bit of a yeah. in there. That's <laughs> lovely. Like those. going to move those carefully out of the way, as you can see. Oh, now, what have we got in here? So they're your pre-cut papers. Okay. So there is a pack that's open actually in the pattern version, Ooh. I think. Well, so you can have a look in there. Oh, so there is. Now, we're able to reuse these, are we? You are, if you're careful when you take them out. Uh, my papers are quite sturdy. Yes. I'll show you why in a minute. But yeah, they're quite strong, so you can reuse them a few times. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to take some tuition from you in a little while, how <laughs> to look after those. So you've got those in there, which is lovely. Um, you've got your main fabric, I'm yeah. guessing. That's that your background square, yeah. Um, and then you have got the most incredible instructions. Have a look at this. And it's not just like a, a little kind of, oh, this is kind of how you do it. We've got full words and illustrations. I love a picture. <laughs> I'm not so hot on the reading. I can read, but I just choose not to. Well, yeah, I, I kind of try to cover both because I know <laughs> some what people like pictures and people like reading, so... Well, it's very clear on both uh, accounts. You've also got a list of what you're going to need. So if you want to go on and create more, which I think is really useful as well. The little hints and tips, how you can kind of uh, watch the videos that Louisa brings to us as well. And you can see that. And proper close-up pictures. Proper close-up pictures. So you know exactly when you're working, you can kind of compare it and say, oh, does it look that way? And it does. Then you can move on to the next stage. Love that. Oh, got a picture. No, I haven't got a picture. A message. Oh, dear me. My contact lens is a bit dodgy this morning. Good morning, ladies. So happy to see Louisa back with us. Um, uh, back with her lovely projects. It's been too long. Oh, you've been missed. Hello, silly nanny Jill. <laughs> silly nanny. You know silly nanny yeah, Jill. That is a name that you wouldn't forget, really. Oh, yes. I, yeah. think, I think John Scott had something to do with that. Oh, I, I see. I think. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, going back to the booklet, I mean, everything you need is in here. We don't have to panic. We don't have to worry. What sort of level of um, sewing would you say? This one, I would say, was immediate. Okay. In immediate. Intermediate. <laughs> it's like, Sorry. It's as quick as that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you need a little bit of... Uh, yeah. The second hour, the lotus flower is a bit simpler. Okay. But this one, yeah, this one, not, not yeah. too hard, but just a yeah. bit fiddly, but... And a lot of people are looking to move on to the next step. Yeah. Aren't they? And also as well, I remember um, a guest on a show a, a while back saying, sometimes even if it is not necessarily the level that you kind of consider yourself to be at, if it's something that you like the look of, mm. then that will get you on that journey, on that path, and it kind of gives you the challenge. And that is the beauty of that. So that one is your rainbow. And just to refresh your memory, that is what the rainbow looks like. And you're going to get everything that will take you from those seams, the joining seams where you put your front and the back together. So you're going to get everything that you see. So you're going to get, obviously, all your fabulous project that you're going to be um, creating. You're going to get the fabric there that's going to create that lovely little flange, which might be something new for you to learn as well. And then, of course, you've got almost like your sashing frame around there as well. So brilliant value for money i have to say as well so really really pretty now we've got different choices with regards to this one so i'm going to pop that one just over to the side because that's my done pile so which one we're going to be looking at next is this one this is the one that i kind of got a bit distracted with because with this one this one is your liberty fabric which we love don't we, we love our liberty let me bring the cushion in for you look at that that is a work of art. That's beautiful. So this is the, f the fun of fussy cutting. Okay. <laughs> so is this, well, actually, this is a really good point because everything is absolutely perfectly placed. <laughs> Gosh, there's a lot of detail with that. Are you going to be telling us about that? That's the one demo? I'm demoing, yeah. Perfect, right. We'll have another little look at that in a few moments. So again, I'm not going to go through everything in such close detail as we did before, but you've got all of your fabrics, as you can see there, gorgeous Liberty prints coming through. Obviously, you've got your EPPs in there and your full instructions in the base there, as well as your fabulous um, floss, though, that you're going to have with that, with your skein as well. Um, incidentally, if anybody is having any issues with your stream, your web stream with us, we are working.
working on that as well. Yeah, so we are aware. So bear with us. The, the engineers, I think, are in the building now because they're trying to get that sorted. So, yeah. So don't forget, if you like the look of that particular cushion, which is your Liberty Choice, it's the one that has been so popular um, on, the, the, um, on the website already. I just noticed that the, the, the flap at the back there, or the envelope at the back, it's, it's kind of not the right way around. Yeah, but sorry. It just <laughs> oh, no, it's just the way I'm holding it, but it's symmetrical, so it doesn't really matter which way around to hold it, does it? So there we go. So that is your second choice, your Liberty. If you like the look of the Liberty, can I suggest you check your basket out as soon as you can? It is proven to be the most popular one on pre-order. Um, and also, as well, as soon as we show you these it's like oh i've seen it in the flesh i know i like it i know i want it and you pop it into your basket now popping it into your basket as you probably know isn't the safest way just leaving it there people can come along and they can pinch things out your basket and that's it we don't want them to do that to you you made your decision you check your basket out and off you go now this one's a little bit different so this one's got a lovely feel to it as well oh now hannah yes i can see where you're coming from very kind of japanese feel oh, with yeah. this one yeah. um and i think yeah that, that kind of the embroidery that you're going to be doing on here it's almost like little camphor stitches isn't yeah. it that can um kind yeah, of, resonate of sashiko. With that. yeah <laughs> sashiko that's it yeah sashiko beautiful gorgeous lovely colorway with this one as well so what fabrics have we got in so that's one? adita sitar's uh, sweet ride it was called beautiful Absolutely gorgeous. I'll show you the kit again, just so you know exactly what you're getting. Um, oh, wow. This is lovely because that fabric kind of echoes the stitching, doesn't yeah. it? With the little yeah. tiny pieces there. Beautiful, gorgeous colours. Oh, I don't know how you managed to choose which fabrics to use, but you choose it. Wow. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous so everything that you need in there you've got your little pieces in there as well pattern at the base as well as your embroidery skein so it's all in there just 23 pounds and 99 pence if you have just joined us we're talking about some absolutely gorgeous cushion um cut fronts blooming flower cushion um, and there are three different versions so the instructions are available by themselves but they are included within the kits as well and just to re reiterate we've got the details of this one on the screen but if you have just joined us we have got three options and they are all on the website so go and check those ones out the liberty one which is that one is the most popular so do make sure um it would be, i wasn't sure whether you were bringing the details in there or not hannah yeah yeah perfect so there you go so the actual cushion for that one i will bring in and show you which is beautiful um, I will warn you, a quarter of the stock has gone though. So that's absolutely beautiful. And you can go for multiples of these, don't forget. So that's the key thing. If you want to have two or three of them, make sure you do increase those um, quantities. So uh, yeah, don't want to miss out on these. Oh, got a message, message. Um, morning, Louise's kits and patterns are, are amazing. I'm a fan, a love from, um, is that Nat? Na oh, Nadia, 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 <laughs> Nadia, Nadia. I don't know what's the matter with my eyes today. So Thank you. My contact lens. That's lovely. <laughs> oh. I think I might have put the wrong contact lenses in. I can see. I can see. Have you got okay. two sets of contact lenses? I've got different prescriptions. Oh. oh. It's, yeah. And it was very early when I put them in. <laughs> and I have to remember that when I'm in the studio, I'm using my eyes in a different way. Yeah. Because it's all distance, whereas if I'm at home, it's quite often computer stuff. So, yeah, anyway, that's a little dip into my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, pattern by itself. Now, this is proving to be very popular. So, this one, when it comes to you, obviously, you've got your security seal on there. So, once you've opened it up, you will get your fabulous pattern in there. And that is um, similar to what we saw in each of the kits. So, that is in there with all your instructions in there. Templates for when you come on to kind of create more of those. But you have got all your pieces there in the same way as you would do with your patterns all your little tiny pieces are in there so look after them because louise is going to show us how we can go make the most out of those 10.99 which i think is brilliant because you'd be paying 9.99 for a pattern anyway wouldn't you so to get those pieces in there as well and to be honest to not have to cut those pieces out somebody else to do that for you then why not <laughs> louisa thank you very much for that <laughs> so there you go i didn't cut them out <laughs> oh fair enough i love a bit of delegation <laughs> so there you go you've got your envelope there with your illustration there as is on the case of your uh, instructions oh an 18 inch square as well that's what i should have mentioned to you too and then of course you've got your epp papers in there 10.99 um but um of course uh, we're saying a cushion but it doesn't necessarily have to be a cushion you could use that as a centerpiece on a quilt yeah 
of course you can. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Look gorgeous as well. Right, I can't wait to see how this is all going to come together. So, uh, Louisa, I think we're going to come over to you for a little bit of a demonstration as well, because we're talking curves. We are talking curves, yes. Yeah, so it's one of those things that you need to make sure that, uh, yeah, uh, you're going to learn how to do that. So, that's so I'm gathering up my belongings. I'm coming over. Coming over, <laughs> right. Um, so, if... I mean, obviously, you haven't seen me before, so I, I'm going to treat you like you don't know me. <laughs> like, like that. I get that. I get that a lot. <laughs> OK, so EPP, I got a bit fed up with straight edges. OK. Hexagons and diamonds and whatnot. And I discovered the glue pen. Ah. So it's a temporary glue pen, which is also a lot quicker and easier, but it allows me to play with curves. Okie dokie. So I'll show you the basting in a minute. I just wanted to show you the fussy cutting. So the Liberty one, as I said, is fussy cut. So you get this big strip of fabric. It might be different from the one on that I've got, depending on where it's cut, but you yes. would, will get five repeated patterns okay you just need to find it <laughs> oh well that's, that's so a, yeah i mean generally it will be set out as it is in the in the instructions it will be three and two so look around that sort of area okay. but as you can see there that's the repeated like pattern flower, isn't it? Yeah. In the middle there, yeah so that's okay. what i'm going to end up with so you can if you want to have the flower the other way up you can put it that way up okay so depending on which way you want you go to go so what I suggest is you lay them out, happy. Mark, take note where your um, papers start and stop. So I'm going to just line that up at the top of that little tulip there. Okay. And then when you've, and then at the points, just mark where that is. So basically you're just checking that they're all exactly the same place. So that's how you get them all identical. Okay. Okay. Put a bit of glue on each piece and stick it down. Lovely. So then you've got them all secure. So then when you come to cut them out, so we're just going to pretend that this is the big strip of fabric. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> right, so I've stuck it down and I've lined up those two tulips there, half that flower and the top of those two white tulips. So that's the same as it will be on all the other four petals. Stick it down and then I use... I used to use, I do use scissors to be honest, but I discovered this tiny, teeny little oh, rotary cutter. So I'm just going to put my glasses on, that would help. Um, incidentally, as Louise is using all of these different tools, we have got them available. I'm not going to keep jumping in with them and interrupting, um, but we have got um, the, uh, the pens, the re so the, the pen that we've seen with the glue and the refills. We've also got the rotary cutter as well. I'll tell you all about them in a little while, but I don't want to kind of spoil the flow. So <laughs> just so as you know that they are there and the details may well change on your screen to illustrate what we've got okay so i am just adding a generous quarter inch seam allowance it's more about three eighths of an inch i'm quite generous with my seam allowances because of the curves this, so why, why do you use a rotary cutter well uh, to be honest some, most of the time i do just pick it up and cut it around so okay. that's perfectly easy to do but i discovered this the other day and i forgot i had this and i was like oh this works quite well discovering it yeah okay. well i think i tried to order a 28 and this came instead and i obviously ticked the I wrong box i've ever seen one that <laughs> it's time. an 18 inch it? it's so cute 18 mil yeah nice as well i should imagine for um things like um dressmaking as well yeah and you can, so the big one i think is too big to go round curves yes, yes. but this one seems to pivot on itself we tend Look to do that. that don't we sometimes i forget and i've got a big rotary cutter and i'm trying to get into yeah the, and i think why don't you just use a smaller one <laughs> it might not have a mine seems to have a squeak <laughs> Squeaky wheel. <laughs> it's got a squeak on it. So, yes, yeah, so we're just adding a quarter of an inch, generous quarter of an squeak. inch. We can't guarantee that you will get a squeak with your. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's your cutout shape. So, then when you've got a concave edge, you're just going to snip into the seam allowances, stopping just before you get to the paper. Okay, so this is like dressmaking, just to help your fabric lay nice and mm -hmm. flat. Okay. A nice sharp scissors. Yes, and then you're going to run your glue, not right on the edge of the paper, just in from the edge. So I just start off just dabbing a little bit on the fabric there, carrying on, not right on the edge, as I say, just in from the edge, and then you just fold your fabric over, press oh, firmly. That's easy. So my papers, as I said, are quite strong, so you can press firmly. So yeah. if I try to do that with copy paper, I think it would buckle. Okay. So my papers are quite strong, so you can get a nice smooth curve. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah. So it, to be honest, it's it's down to the glue pen. 
Okay. Because if I tried to thread base that, I'd have to use teeny tiny stitches that yes. I would obviously then have to take out. And life's too short for that. And you know what? Sometimes, I, and I'm terrible for basting because it's like you're sewing it twice. Yeah, you? exactly. And, I'm like, no, and I wouldn't want like to. Th I wouldn't want to sew through these papers either because you'd get a holy finger. That's true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. So then, when you've got an outer curve, you don't need to snip that. Just run your glue again in from the edge and then just push your fabric over and let it gather up on itself on the back. That adhesive holds through your It does, from, yeah. It? I'm quite pressing quite firmly, but yeah, yeah this glue is brilliant. It's a game changer, really. Um, so line as well, so you, you know you've got quality. There. Yeah, I mean, this one isn't so line, but yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, so there's your basted shape. That's your first one. So. Hopefully, when you've done all the rest and the others, they'll all be identical with the Perfect. flower in the middle. Okay, so then when you've gone to the petal shape, so this is how you've, you've made up with two crescents, mm -hmm. a petal shape, and your big crescent. So okay. that's what we're doing here, the clamshell, sorry. So what you'll see is on the petal shape, there's a marked line on one side of the paper. It's just a score line. Make sure that's face up when you're basting. Okay, okay. Ah. so just dab a bit of glue and put it diagonally. And so see, there's a score paper there, so oh, make gosh. sure that so that will come clear in a minute. Or that's there. wow. And then you just cut it out. And it's mentioned all in the instructions. It is, yeah. Sometimes bits like this don't get included instructions, yeah. do they? It's like you just have to kind of get your pieces. So um, again, you've got two outer curves here, so you can just let there's no snipping. Just let it gather up itself on the back. And this is the sort of thing you could be sat doing in front of the TV. Well, exactly. It? I watch a lot of telly. <laughs> <laughs> well, this time of year, it's all Christmas movies and everything, isn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wish I had the chance. After, well, after one o'clock in the afternoon, obviously. On Channel 5. <laughs> <laughs> Not while we're sewing straight. Okay, so <laughs> no. So there's your um, petal. Okay. And then with the crescent, again, you've got concave edge. So I've just cut it out with generous seam allowance. And then just snip into your fabric seam allowance just along that curve. So good that you started with the clamshell because the clamshell's kind of got all of the, yeah. the curves on yeah. there, hasn't it? So, so here, this shape, you will have what you call a dog ear. Okay. So quite a big dog ear. So leave those intact. So as you see, there's quite a lot of excess fabric there. Yeah. They are fine. Okay. And again, just add a bit of glue on that fabric then push you over. So that point there is quite important. You want that to get that as sharp as possible. Does it matter which you do first? I mean, you did the, the concave. Is no. it always concave first? Doesn't matter. Oh, oh yes, yeah. yeah Sorry, concave I first. Shape. Yeah, concave first and then go over. So that's a good rule to, to learn. Yeah. To have it to get into. So there you go. You, then you can see your nice sharp points with wow. your big dog ears. Yeah. All right, so they're fine. Leave those in place okay so those so two of those three three shapes then you yeah. need to learn how to yeah, sew yeah exactly okay. so you get two crescents so you're just going to make up that um, unit first okay okay so that scored line that i mentioned mm -hmm. that's what you're going to line up with the end of the two crescents okay right so you see on the back, there's your score line. And because it's scored, you can fold it. Yes, yeah. So you can find the exact point under the seam allowance. Right. Okay, so you're going to start, we're going to start at the top. Because this might be something you've not done before with the curves. Yeah, so, yeah. so start at the top, furthest away from your, your scored line. Mm -hmm. So again, with curves, and a lot of EPP now actually, I always join my end seam with a couple of stitches okay. and then start sewing from the other end. Okay. Because curves move. Curves move in anything you do. Oh. So now I've tried binding clips and um, pins, but everything moves. So now I just join them together with a couple of stitches. So I've knotted my thread, yep. brought it up into the seam allowance, and then you take it across to the point, obviously not just before the, se well, in, before the seam allowance. So that point of the crescent is where you're picking it up. Got you. Yeah. So you're just joining that. Take your thread through your knot, uh, through your loop, sorry, just to knot it a couple of times, cross the seam allowances. So you've joined that. Break thread. So now that has joined, and you know that that's not, not going anywhere. Go anywhere. Um, and then knot your end of your thread again. And then again, you're going to take your thread and bring it out at that point on the other end of the crescent, at the very point. 
and then take it across to that fold. So you fold the paper and you can see the crease mark oh, there. Oh, that is so easy when you know how. It makes life easier because you're not because you yes. can start and stop anywhere along that yeah. crescent and you're not going to get it not they're not going to line up or be even so yeah so that's what the the crease line is i mean to be honest if you don't if you by mistake don't have the crease line face up and mm -hmm. you've glued your face down you can still fold and it they should still be able to yeah. do it because they yeah they are symmetrical so you can fold it right so when you're sewing them together turn the unit around so you're sewing away from yourself and you're holding them flat to each other. So rather than putting them right sides together like you would hexagons or diamonds, mm -hmm. you're putting them flat together. Okay. Oops. And sewing across the backs. So it's a flat back stitch or a flat whip stitch. So you're just catching the very edges of the seam allowances. Still a whip stitch, still yeah. going up and over, but you're going across the back. And because you're going across the back, you're not going to see your stitches so much on the it's front. It's like magic, isn't it, when it all comes together? So questions that I should ask, I feel, needle and thread. Do right. we need to use specifics? I use John James Sharp's needles. Good local company. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I use a size 10 Sharps. Okay. Um, but to be honest, you want to be as fine as possible, but also as comfortable what you're comfortable yes. with. You don't want to spend three hours trying to thread a needle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I have done before. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, I've, I think I've used size eight before. So anything between an eight and a 12 is fine. But you don't want to get too thick. And then thread-wise, Aurifil. Oh, okay, yeah. Which yeah. you happen to have. We do. We've got one of uh, Jenny Jackson's ah. little bundles. That she's done. Oh, isn't that um, gorgeous? It's beautiful. This is what, um, especially if you're tuning in later on. Can I just mention as well? Have you seen this? How beautiful is this? <laughs> this is something that we're going to be looking at in um, another hour later on. Is it 10 o'clock? You're back? Yes. It is 10 o'clock, isn't it? So, yeah, 10 o'clock, we're going to be looking at this. And this rainbow of colours, literally made for that, really, isn't it? So, a fabulous collection. So, this is um, a lovely collection of different threads. There's no glamorous way of showing you these, really, is there? Um, Aurifil. So, as we heard Louisa mention as well. So, Brilliant collection, lovely um, array of different threads. You've got your lights, you've got your darks in there, there's greys, there's some lovely kind of greeny tones in there as well. So really, really pretty. In fact, should I pop it? Do you mind if I just pop them on there? No, go on. Is that okay? Yeah. Sorry, I feel like I'm invading. So those space. are the 80 weights. Um, I tend to use a 50 weight for the piecing, oh, but okay. I use a 80 weight for plique. Okay. Um, right. Or I know Jenny Jackson um, waxes, she uses she the does, yes, threads. Yeah thread magic so beautiful. you can do that as well with these i just love the spools that they're on they're well. lovely aren't they yeah. yeah yeah no i love aurifil 80 for the applique so when you're stitching down the flower ah so the on your background later on. It, it really does disappear okay. so these are more for kind of that second stage the construction yeah. we'll, we'd be looking 50 at 50 weight 50 yeah. weight lovely yeah. okay so does it matter the colour that you use? I mean, should you be thinking um, about your fabrics? Or, I well, you I... Well, you don't see the stitches. Well, the yeah, but also I have actually started colour matching lately, have just you? in case you can see the odd yeah. stitch. Um, so, yeah. That but, I mean, a age. neutral thread. <laughs> I can guarantee that, yes. Oh, I've lost a spool somewhere, I think. Oh, you only came with them. I say, yeah, I was going to say, it's nowhere else. Uh, yeah, there must have been some gaps to start with. Right. Yeah. So then when you get up to the top... Rather than breaking thread, before you break thread, then I will then connect the second crescent to the top. So in the same way? So in the same way. So you should have still got your thread that you've just sewn up that seam with. Then go across to the top of that crescent and connect that like so. So again, you're connecting your points before sewing from the other direction. So that shouldn't move. So there you go. So I've just connected that. Take your thread through your loop to knot it, which apparently is called a lingerie knot. Did you know oh, that? I didn't, know, I didn't that. know that. I didn't know that. So it's always a big debate to knot or not to knot, isn't it, <laughs> is the key thing? Isn't it? Oh, I, I always knot. I'm I always I'm a do. bit of a knot, yeah. So the quilting knot that I keep doing quickly. I love watching people tie knots, you know. <laughs> it's really damn fun. In all the different shows that I've done, so many different variations yeah. of tie knots. Well, knot. it's the I one that they it. just do that with. And I'm they like, just twist how do you do that? Like, yeah. I don't do that. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> so this one, I just Ooh, we might have need to get in close for this. <laughs> you just have your. So you've got your long end. In I'm going to do it right-handed. Okay. So switch if you're the other. <laughs> the other way in fine. Long end in your right, in your left hand okay. and your needle. So you're going to put your end of the needle between onto your forefinger and then okay. your needle on top. Wrap 
the thread around the needle and then pull the whole lot through. Oh, I like that idea. Yes. And obviously the more times you go around the needle, the bigger the knot. So it reminds that goes me of a, a French knot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then we're going to start from the other end of the creased line, connect. I'm just going to connect these two and then we can connect it to the crescent. I, I should be looking at the, uh, the tablet for any messages. Sorry if you message him, then <laughs> I'm just completely ignoring you. Uh, so I do apologise. I was just enjoying myself. So uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Um, so lots of messages coming through. Um, uh, looks like things might be back on track again, which is good. Good morning, lovely ladies. A couple of cushions made using Louise's kits. Great, clear instructions. I love the tip to anchor the shape at each end before sewing. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> um, Lynn's going to try that one as well. Oh, lovely. Um, and uh, uh, I was wondering, uh, where am I? Is it? I will, oh, I don't know. That's a bit of a random message that's popped up there. I think it's kind of gone out of sync, but not to worry. I'll leave that one for now. <laughs> so, um, okay, so then you're going to sew up that seam and connect that whole unit. Okay. Like that. So we'll pretend I've done that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I just want to show you how to, so then when you, again, when you connect in, so you'll carry on, make up five of those units, baste your five clamshells, and then we're going to connect the bottom point first. So Is that's the only kind of unit that needs any stitching before it attaches to anything else isn't yeah. It? yeah yeah so then you've got your point again so just peel back the seam allowance slightly so you can get that bottom point nice and sharp and then connect those two points whoops so in a similar way to just as we did before, before yeah? yeah going across and then take your can i hear music there's a lot of noise going off in the right <laughs> I think the rabble are in today. I can hear all sorts going on. <laughs> then break your thread, knot and break your thread, and then start from the other end of your seam so that you connect that point and then sew up the seam like we did before. Perfect. Okay, so you carry on going all the way around, connect your pieces, and then you've got your full ring. That's beautiful. Now, can I go and do a quick recap yep, and let everyone know? Because now that we've seen how the technique comes together, yeah. people are going to want to know what I've Actually, let me just do this bit, and then I will pin it while you're talking. Oh, OK, yeah, no problem. So then I just, when you're done, give it a good spray with some Best Press. OK. Um, yeah, Best Press. So just so you keep that nice, sharp fold. Nice. And then you just, I've done most of this bit before, but you just peel back the seam allowances. If the glue's been in for a while and it's got quite hard, when you iron it, it will soften it back up again. Oh, okay. So you just peel back the seam allowances, pop your papers out. As I said, if you're careful, you can reuse these papers. Just careful that that is quite a vulnerable edge. Yes, so just be don't careful pull it there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you just repress with a nice little prim little iron. Repress your seams so they're nice and flat. And then you've got that. That like looks beautiful. So I'll Fabulous. pin this while you... Perfect. I'm going to gather up all my belongings so there'll be no evidence that was ever here. <laughs> uh, and I'll catch up with you guys. I'm going to tell you about that fabulous Liberty kit that we've been talking about because it's one of the ones that you have really been going for in your droves. You love it. Now, the Liberty print one has got the most amazing <laughs> fabrics in. Let me bring it in to show you because it is just so, so pretty. And it's the one that we just saw demonstrated as well. So potentially that's going to get um, even more of you involved with this one. But you need to get yours and get yours as soon as you can because already over half the stock has gone. Absolutely gorgeous. We don't get Louisa here as often as we would like to. Um, so you have to take advantage while you can. That is the key thing. And get her beautiful kits. And this is lovely. I think it's a lovely project um, to be doing between kind of Christmas and New Year. You know, and all the craziness, you've done, you can't do anything else. You can't go and do any shopping. You, all the shops are closed down. And you've kind of got that fabulous little kind of time that you can kind of just sit and have fun. Um, and it might be that, yeah, if you've got people stopping over, maybe you've got the old Z bed up in the craft room and you can't actually get in there at the moment <laughs> then this is a lovely little manageable project that you could be taking with you anywhere you like in the house whether you're sitting down on the sofa watching a good old movie and you're wanting something to have um, a go to maybe maybe you're you're going to stay with relatives and you might have your, your own little room and your own little space and your own little time that you're wanting to spend on your own or maybe you wake up way before anybody else in the house um, and that means that you've got something very much self-contained that you can take with you 
because literally everything that you've got in here is what you need. So you've got your embroidery skeins, which obviously you'll come on to use when we get to the point of working um, the project all together and appliqueing. You've got all your fabulous uh, fabrics here. So you've got your fabrics that are going to create the flange because what you've actually got with this cushion, something that you perhaps haven't tried before, is you've got this little kind of area here that frames that beautiful block that you're going to be making. Um, and you've got your fabrics all ready for that all pre-cut. Everything is in there. You're going to have to do a little bit of fussy cutting, but that is explained to ensure that you're going to get everything there. And they've got plenty of fabric there to enable you to do so. Your little pieces there, your EPP papers are in there, which you're going to be able to reuse. And of course, your full instructions are in the bottom there that I spoke of and we saw earlier on as well. So it's a fabulous kit, beautifully presented and a proper treat at £23.99. So that one, if you're wanting the liberty, please do take advantage of that one. I like the rainbow one one to be honest as well there's the no rainbow. fussy cutting with that one either there's no so fussy, that is a good point actually so fussy cutting is your other. thing and you want <coughs> kind of your more solid um, tones then this is the one for you so I say solid fabrics they've still got that kind of inner detail with them it's almost like a, a linen look within there printed which is beautiful so yeah good point no, no fussy cutting with that one um, and this one again you're going to have all your gorgeous bright colors all in there as well all Macau so all brilliant quality so again a beautiful cushion front you're going to be creating with any of these kits you just need to get um, additional fabric for your um, the back which we've got some complementary fabrics that are going to work alongside them. And then obviously, if you want to add some wadding when you're putting your, your quilting pieces in place, then you can do. And a cushion pad, because we don't include that as well. They're all available on the website, but isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. And I suppose if I've shown you two, I might as well show you the third as well, Mike. Now, since I'm here, so let me show you the third. Oh, got a Liberty one flying off the desk. So this is your last one. And this is a totally different colour palette with this one with those lovely soft greys and mustard tones. Very much on trend at the moment in home decor. Again, the technique is the same as we saw with the Liberty one, with um, all your different elements in there. Fussy cutting potentially, but with this one, you've kind of got a good repeated pattern, so you potentially wouldn't need to actually place things in a certain area. But if that's important to you, then of course you can do. And again, the kit itself has got everything that you need in there, all those beautiful fabrics, and of course that gorgeous set of instructions that are going to get you well on the way to your project. Um, classing this one as maybe intermediate, only because potentially it's the first time that you're going to be working with with curves and learning how to put the clamshell and all those different bits and pieces together but we've got things that are going to make it much much easier for you to do that so if it's something you've tried to do previously and you've struggled well I've got the certain tools that are going to help you with regards to that so your glue pen this is invaluable when it comes to your EPP um, so um, same pen different packaging if you've seen this previously I think it's changed over to cardboard now which is good um, and uh, you've got your pen and you've got your refill in there as well um, obviously perfect um, all the instructions are in there but basically you're using that to secure those fabrics as we saw Louisa do 6.99 if you're wanting to go for that as time goes on you will need some refills won't you so we have got the refills for you as well and you can see they've got a variety of different colors your pink your blue and your yellow as well they all dry clear, so don't worry about that. I think it's just in case you're working on fabrics and you're wanting to be able to see them. So uh, there you go if you want to get hold of those. So always do your test glue. Um, and this is a, always a popular item. $7.99 makes sense, doesn't it? But we're giving you a treat. Now, we've dropped that price down because we know that lots of you do multi-buy these because it's a consumable. So do get them while we've got them in stock. You can get a pack of six for each of those um, units that you go for. So $6.99, just increase the quantity and you will get more of those. Oh, Hannah, what are you doing? She's, she's, found, a, she's found a new button. She's like this on the button. What does this button do? Oh, and then the, drop, the price drops. Don't keep pressing the button, Hannah. The price keeps dropping each time you press it. So $5.99. Now, if you've already checked out your basket because you saw these at the top of the show and you thought, I need those, don't worry. Don't worry. You will get, pay that lowest price along with everybody else. So there you go. Details on your screen if you wanted to get hold of those. Um, and uh, that P&P that you're paying for your first um, order, it lasts you right the way through the whole day. So we've got um, lovely Kerry coming up after this hour. Um, we've also got... Um, is it, is, is, who is it? Who comes in for... 
Another Kerry, yeah. For a minute then, I thought, I'm sure it's Kerry that comes for Toft. And then I thought, no, I'm getting too, I'm getting mixed up. No, it is Kerry. And then don't forget as well, cutting your fabrics. Get that little trimmer, um, that little rotary cutter. So that's a useful one to get as well. But those, so far, bar the threads and needles, that's um, pretty much everything that we've been using. Um, so, uh, yeah, get hold of that rotary cutter while you can. We'll warn you, though, those uh, refills are proving to be very popular. We're going to leave the details on the screen just so you can get hold of those. And I'm going to go over and see what Lu Louisa is up to. Because, uh, yeah, I want to see how this is progressing. How are you getting on? We've got okay. about 10 minutes or so left. Lovely. So I have centred it onto the fabric. So that's your fabric square. You get a 13 and a half inch square in the kit. So we're going to sew it down and then trim it down to a 12 and a half because you can pull the fabric in slightly when you're doing ah, your pleat. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start just by... If I start here, then I'll show you how to do the points. So just anchor your thread behind one of your pieces. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you start no, with? No, no. Okay. Um, and then when you're... So I've just pinned quite thoroughly, to be honest, your points down. And then you're going to come... Start in the background, and then you're just going to come up right on the very edge of your ring or your petal rather in mm -hmm. this case, and then go r directly back down into your background fabric. Just travel along a bit behind the back, come back up again into your ring. So you are making the point, the stitch as tiny as possible by going directly down okay. and then traveling along the back. When you get to the points, so I get a lot of questions about the points, make you fold your dog ear out of the way. So that's out of the way there. Yeah. Sometimes if they're going the other way, then just tuck them under so they're facing the other way. Okay. And then just stick to sew right up to that point. I always just add an extra stitch just to give it an extra bit of strength. Mm -hmm. Just there. And then turn it and then just tuck that dog ear under. So if you try to, do if you trim the dog ears, it would start to fray. Yes. Yeah, and it would that's ruin the, the integrity. Do, yeah. yeah. So you just want to keep the integrity of the fabric. So just tuck it under the way, un out of the way, and then carry on down. How far apart should the, the stitches be uh, on the uh, top fabric? Probably about a sixteenth of an inch, I suppose. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, you are going to quilt it as well, so they're going to be extra secure, that's, I that's suppose. That's a good point, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, as you can see, my stitches, and I'm now using the 80 weight Aurifil. So, oh, because so I'm going... Saw in the set. Yeah. So, they really do, do disappear. And the neutrals are brilliant. So, I use the greys for most to be honest. So you carry going all the way around. Okay. So I'm not going to be boring with you with You'd that. You'd be hard-pressed to actually find where you started and you finished. You put that <laughs> down. I mean, that's so neat. So, uh, sorry, I should have said this. Is there a square ruler? Ooh, I don't know. We've, we'll, we will Leave on. <laughs> now, um, we're going to sort that out. For sorry, we'll I should have. So I just wanted to, because it's not symmetrical, you, there is five spaces. So there's obviously a obvious yeah, I was going to say that we've got the the early bird one but of course that's not going to help yeah. on this because it's kind of half of it but uh, um levi is on it thank you my thank darling you. there you go wonderful oh long arms there you go so thank um, you have you still got your mat i've got my little mat That'll do you need a bigger one or i think we'll be all right okay i'm just gonna well i won't cut it actually i'll just be general so right what you want to do is so you're cutting it down to a 12 and a half inch square mm -hmm. it's 12 and a half half of that is six and a quarter yes so you basically want to find your centre point down there and line up the six and a quarter inch mark on your ruler and then just trim off. Perfect. That's obviously perfect that way and that way. Yeah. But when you come to the other side, there's no obvious centre line in right. the flower. So yes. I mean, you could go by your crease marks on your background fabric. Yes. But it might have moved. So a perfect the thing to get centered is your flower so if you measure across the width of the flower mm -hmm. when you've sewn it down obviously so you're not going to have your seam allowances so put your ruler against the cross and then you can measure the so that's nine and a half well it's not it should be nine yeah nine and then put your pin a pin there and then that's your center point of your flower oh i see yes yeah okay actually where are we half of nine yeah four and a half <laughs> And then that's your centre point of your flower. And then again, you'll line up so your six and a quarter. So you marker this yeah. time, yeah. And then Perfect. trim. Okay. So we're going to pretend that I've trimmed it down. Okay, I'm using my imagination. Yes. <laughs> Which you'll have to in a minute because my flanges are the wrong size. Oh, dear. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when you <laughs> Right, so a flange. So this is your flappy bit. Okay. On the side of the 
I don't, for want of a better word, I don't know yeah. what's better, flappy or flange. I don't know. It's one of those <laughs> words, isn't it? But that's the bit that you've got here. I'm just excuse me no, for coming right. in in your area there, but that is that area that you've got. So uh, yeah, that lovely. It's almost like a little frame, isn't it? Yeah. And that frame really does make the design. It does. Yeah. Part, it's just it, a bit well. different from it being just flat. Yeah. Order really. Um, this option, the Liberty one, incidentally, there's only about four opportunities to get hold of that one yet. Um, and incidentally, as well, those refills, they're flying out. Um, loads of you taking advantage of those. So, um, yeah, if you're wanting those, you need to get hold of them quickly. Half the stock has gone, I think, with regards to those. So, yeah, 5 99 if you're wanting those. Right, so when I've sewn these on, so just pretend that these flanges are 13. Or okay, the, the full cushion, length, yeah. yeah full no length. Problem. So, rather than putting them top and bottom, top and bottom, I have started the bottom the first strip i've started sewing so i don't know if we've got time to do this but um on the machine so pin your flange in place i think we've we got time have for we got this time? stitched hannah yeah 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 okay go for it. all right so we'll pin the first one in place so again we'll just have to pretend that the flange is the right That's actually right. if i start this end so rather than starting right at the top, you're going to start sewing in the middle of the okay, first seam. Right. So then what happens is, and then when you've sewn that, then you'll lay the second one oops, on top of that one, and then that one on top of that oh, one, okay, that right. one on top of that one, and then because you haven't sewn that down, you can lift that and put of that course. under. So they're yeah. partial seams, kind of. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'll just sew this on the machine then. Yeah, because naturally, I think if I'd have been left to my own devices, I'd be thinking, oh, the, the way that you usually do it with the quilt block, you do the top and then yeah. you do the bottom and then you do the sides. Or the Again, other way it's around, just like, of, just yeah. a bit different, really. Yeah. So, oh. so, yeah, so quarter inch seam allowance. Lovely. Which I think is that one. Oh, no, it's 06, isn't it? Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, six, that's it. Six, you got it. Lovely. Right, so, as I said, start in the middle of the seam. Oops. Quarter of an inch seam now. So, obviously, I've folded, so you get your one inch strips by the width of the fabric, cut them down into 12 and a half inch strips, and then okay. just fold them in half and give them a good press so you get that nice crease. Lovely. Sorry, I missed that bit. And then you're going to sew. I think once you've learned how to do this technique, you'll find yourself doing it on lots of different Yeah. Things. Any quilt block that you've got, you could do it on. Yeah, really exactly. It's just another, an extra border, isn't it, really? Yeah. Especially if you could pick up the, some of the colour in the block. Yeah. Like this yeah. is picking up the white. It's just... Sometimes nice it's to use um, to use a fabric that's going to connect different areas of your, your project yeah. as well, isn't it? It's, it's quite kind of blocky in colours. So. so we've sewn that to the end. Lovely. Ashley, I shouldn't have used a quarter of an inch. I should have used an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Sorry. Okay, so okay, just we'll just pretend that's an eighth of an inch. So because when you do your border, you'll it's connect your border strips with oh, a yes. half an inch, uh, a quarter, quarter of an, of an inch. inch. So ideally, you want to do this with an eighth of an but inch. But it's all included in the instructions it is anyway, all in the and you'll, you'll be going through it. Which obviously I forgot. Well, you'll have to do it all from memory. I mean, I should have I've put my cushion on top of the instructions. I should have left it there. Because I have to say, when I'm, whenever I'm demonstrating, I always have the instructions to the side anyway. Yeah. There's, there's so many different things going on. Oh, I'm going to need that for the pouch. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And, and also as well, because sometimes the, the, the project has been put together, it could be months ago that it was actually put together, and it's like, now I'm, I'm on to like three or four patterns down the line and it's how did uh, how did that come together but so yeah the cushion incidentally that we're working with at the moment or louisa lovely louisa sewing is this particular one and it's the cushion front so everything up until that side seam you've got included within your kit if you want to add any wadding in there then you need to add that in yourself as well as your backing fabric as well and this is a very very popular one so yeah so i won't carry on because the flanges aren't the right size okay, that's but we'll right just well. pretend that that's and we've only got a minute or so left yeah. anyway. And so. then you've got your border. So again, you just cut these down to the, you've got width of fabric strips in there, but you cut two down to 12 and a half and the other two to 18 and a half. So you sew those top and bottom. Okay. And then your two side ones, like Perfect. so. Perfect. So then give it a good press. And then, as you say, put some uh, wadding behind it. I use butter muslin okay. behind the wadding just to give it a nice base really for, oh, to hand that's quilt. That's a good idea as well. And then I split the embroidery thread there into two, three strands. So split it in half 
and then I just do a nice running stitch. That's very all effective, around. isn't it? So I'm not into tiny, tiny stitches. I like my big stitch quilting. I love that. And it just yeah. adds a bit more decoration. Doesn't it? Me, just doesn't it? really, really yeah. a pretty look as well. Um, so yeah, you can see obviously the flange that we've just learned about there, the uh, additional elements that are going to go around the end, edge there to frame it, and then that bright white really does yeah. set it off doesn't it against that uh, it's kind of indigo Gorgeous that you've got there it's yeah. beautiful um, and this one is where you've got obviously you've got your your placement of your flowers if you're wanting to go down that route with this beautiful liberty fabric but i'm very very quickly going to do a qu very quick speedy quick um recap thank you louise uh, look forward to next hour okay. um so yes um very very quickly the liberty kit so the liberty kit is the one that we were just looking at so the liberty if you want in that particular kit with that beautiful flower in there then that one is the liberty cushion and that is a cushion to refresh your memory of how that looks so if you like the look of that one then please do pop those details into your basket but more importantly check your basket out next one that we're going to look at i haven't really thought about this i'm going to pop that under there <laughs> next one which one should we look at next what's that oh that, that we just only got time for the one okay oh, we're doing more okay sorry there you go. There you go. The rainbow. Now, the rainbow, similar sort of idea. You've got all the different fabrics featuring in there. So you've got all the little elements there. So you've got, um, obviously, that almost like linen um, effect. It's not a linen fabric. It's a Macawa fabric that you've got in there. So a lovely flat fabric, an easy one to work with. Um, and especially because you want to have it that it's going to fold and it's going to press beautifully. So that's what you've got within that one, which is beautiful. Like that one a lot. Move that one over that way. Um, last one that we've got for you. This is beautiful. Beautiful, gorgeous colourway again with this one um, and uh, all those kind of mustards and soft greys. Liking this one as well, a quarter of the stock has gone and I like the style because if you've got what I call a modern look home with those greys and those mustards then this kind of contemporary look really sits well with that kind of almost like a minimalistic look. So again the kit's got everything that you need in there including those instructions and I will explain to you how you can get hold of the instructions by themselves but $23.99 I'm sure you'll agree absolutely beautiful cushion front with that one as well. So the pattern by itself if you want in the pattern by itself um, as is the case with all the kits you are going to get your EPP papers and they are included within your pattern as well which I've gone left over by Louisa um, so the full instructions with photographs in there taking you literally step by step right the way through to your fussy cutting so if you want the placement of those little flowers right in the middle of your clamshells like we saw earlier you'll know exactly how to do that you've got video tutorial there if you do want to go and have a little look um, and uh, check those out and of course that fabric that top tip I think that top tip of anchoring we're all going to be doing that aren't we so uh, yeah really clever tip that one and those are the kind of things that you will learn from Louisa because basically she knows what she's talking about and that is the important thing isn't it when you're shopping for a, a project so there you go if you want to get hold of that the details are upon your screen louisa is going to be back with us a little bit later on so make sure you tune in later for that but do not forget these essentials when it comes to your epp your glue pen you're going to need that so your fabric glue pen is in there you've also comes with it comes with one and it's got a spare in there yeah so there you go so you're going to get that within there 6.99 but you have been speedy quick in getting hold of these Usually they're $7.99, but Hannah crashed that price down to $5.99 because she knows that many of you do like to go for multiples of those, which is exactly what you are doing. So you're going to get two pink, two of your white and two of your yellow. Sorry, not white, they're blue, the case is white. Um, so yeah, you're going to get those. Don't worry about the colours though because they do dry clear, so you're not going to get any markings on your fabrics. But we do suggest that you do a little swatch test, as it says on there anyway, just to be on the safe side. So for every set of these you are saving two pounds so if you kind of go for um three sets then uh, yeah it's saving even more so yeah it's almost like you've saved uh, well the equivalent of another pack in effect so yeah 7.99 usually stock up on them while we've got the opportunity um, and if you've not got the pen yet do make sure you get hold of the pen alongside it and uh, yeah you're going to be well on your way for some fabulous epp we will see you after the break, but make sure you come back again at 10 o'clock because we're going to see that fabulous wall hanging, which is beautiful. Can't wait to learn how to do that one as well. So I will see you the other side of this with the lovely Kerry. Bye for now. Hi, everyone. I'm Sally Ann Harrison, and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic. Um, and I've been sewing all my life. 
I'm currently based um, here in Bristol, um, but I used to live in the USA, and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made, um, and it was, I, I, I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios studios whilst the show was on it was really really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with the sewing machine I am one of the longer running um, guests now on sewing street goodness knows how that happened but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas, so do stick with me and follow my sewing street journey. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. 
Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Welcome back. Welcome back to what is turning out to be a very busy and very varied show, which um, I love. Like a bit of variety, I don't we? It's like all that variety you get with different advent calendar windows. Talking of which, December is going to be a very special month with regards to early bird advent. We are looking at window number one. And we are bringing you some amazing deals throughout the month of December with regards to your early birds. Now, obviously, early birds we usually launch at um, 8 a.m., but we are bringing them in during the course of the shows if we're permitted to do so. So, $69.99 for a cutting map. Of course it is. And um, let me introduce you to what you are getting in this brilliant bundle. So, you're going to get your large cutting mat, as you can see with that. Now, it's 23 inches by um, 17 inches. You've got your metric and your imperial on here as well. So, there's your metric on the other side with your centimetres. Keep it flat. Do not iron on it. Yes, don't do as I say is not what do as I do. Because if you're anything like me and you put your pressing mat on top and you think, oh, I've got my pressing mat, it'll be fine. This, it can still get in there and you'll probably need a new one now the details are on your screen 69.99 what are you getting you are getting your 24 by 6 inch rule as well so a good size rule with regard to that one with all of the markings that you would expect you've also got your little grippy spots on there as well which make it very easy for you to work with that one so you're going to get that one one of the first rules I suggest that people get when they're starting because it's a good all-rounder but it's not the most portable which is why in there you are also getting your 20 12 by 6 as well and this is one that's very easily going to go in your bag when you're going off to your workshops um, and your retreats and things like that or if you're simply just moving from room to room or just like the convenience of having that just to the side of you so you're going to get that in there as well you're going to need to cut your fabrics up so you've got a rotary cutter in there as well 45 mil with the retractable blade there from quilted bear so you know that that is quality with regards to those and when it comes to putting everything together you need some quilt clips and you're going to get those in there as well so it really is a bumper bundle and a brilliant one for 69.99 however a normal early bird the price would come down and we'd go to 49.99 indeed we did this morning so we dropped down not to 20 quid off it which i thought was brilliant but now we've gone even further oh my goodness you're going to get all of this I don't know if I can hold all of this together. So we've gone even further. So you're actually saving um, uh, £30 on this one, 39 99 And you will get everything that you can see there. So you've got your big mat. You've got your 24 by 12, um, sorry, 24 by 6, your 12 by 6. You've got your quilted bear um, 45 mil rotary cutter. You've got 50 clips in there. And, of course, that huge cutting mat, which is imperial as well as metric. And you've got all of your markings in there as well. So brilliant value for money. Do take advantage of that one while you have got the opportunity. We will keep that updated. So, uh, yeah, it is available while we have the stocks available during the course of the day. So, yeah, do get it into your basket. Don't leave it too long, though. Can I suggest that? Because when we've got a deal like that, they don't tend to hang around for very long. So, uh, yeah, and I know it's been a popular one this morning. Something else that is always popular is our Kerry from Living in Loveliness. She's scurrying around over there, so we won't say hello just yet, but we will see her in just a few moments. Because uh, I've just seen her go, <gasps> she's like, don't come to me yet, don't come to me yet. So we will be heading over there in a few moments, but we have got the most amazing kits to share with you. So we are starting off with different types of kits. So they're all very very popular and back in stock so you may well have missed out on some of these we're also going to be seeing this fabulous project as well which we're looking forward to as well but we're starting off with the hot water bottle so the hot water bottle I don't think I've got an example of this one made up but you're going to get um, two projects within here I've not got the eye mask but you're going to get the eye mask and the hot water bottle I'm just frantically looking at do we know what the code is for this one 
um, and I will bring the, the panel in to show you. So, yeah, you're going to be making a fabulous hot water bottle cover. So you can see a mixture of different techniques with these. So you're going to be piecing your fabric. You're going to be doing a little bit of um, applique work with this one as well. Um, and it's a lovely size project, perfect for the time of year, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, look at that. How cute is that? That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, with regards to this one, you've got a few different ways you can get hold of it. So you've got your instructions. So this is available as your instruction pack if you're wanting to. Um, and in here, you've got obviously all of the requirements, including your pattern, um, pattern and everything. So you've got everything that you need in there. But if you're wanting to get hold of the panel, which is a pre-printed panel with all of the components on there, as well as your instructions, then we can help you to do that. Oh, is this the only way? Oh, so oh I'm sorry, the pattern must have got separated up. So there we go. So it's the pattern and your panel. They come together. I do apologise. I think it must have got separated up somehow. So I thought it was by itself as well. So there you go. Oh, that's a nice print, isn't it? Oh, it's got a lovely Nordic feel to it, hasn't it, that one? Beautiful. So you can see all of the components that you've got in there. Kerry's a bit like me. She doesn't like the white space, so she wants to give you extra bits and pieces in there as well. So you have got all sorts of little bits that you could use in different projects. But everything is labelled and everything is in um, kind of explained, but we don't have huge quantities of these. So it's your last opportunity to get hold of this one, to be fair. Um, and lots of you did go for it on pre-order as well. So they're kind of all favourite projects. Nice, easy projects to do maybe if you've got an evening or an afternoon and you're wanting it to be productive, then these are definitely the way um, to go forward. Kerry, I love the idea of these. Throwing Kerry straight into the, the mix there because she's, she's ready now. So, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I have to say, brilliant projects. They're nice and useful, aren't they? Especially at this time of yeah. year with all the ice this morning. So oh. I do love a hot water bottle. Oh, yes. All toaster. So there we go. So if you fancy getting hold of your navy version, just to reiterate, you're making that alongside an eye mask to work with it. So that's your hot water bottle cover. So you're going to be able to create that one, which is lovely. Um, we've got a purple one, um, which is, it's like paying bingo, bingo, 70, I've got it. So this one, again, full instructions and patterns, again, previously sold out. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, a proper little ditzy daisy, I like this one. Um, now, we're not going to get to demonstrate these today because we've kind of just got the last of these available to you now. Um, so what, what date was it on, sorry? The 18th of the November, <laughs> the 18th of the 11th, that'll be November then. Um, so all of the pieces, I mean, it, it seems so self-explanatory, Kerry, with this one, I love it. You've got all of the pieces, including the lining as well, so you can see that beautiful lilac. Uh, I think when we showed this before, people were saying you could use some of your stash and maybe get two from your panel as oh, well if you wanted clever, to put some yes. plainer linings. And then in your pattern booklet, you've got full size templates in there to make it time and time again. Oh, I love it. Anything else we need to add in? Um, batting on the inside, just okay. to give it a little plush feel. Like 80 on there. 20 that we've got on the show. Perfect for this project. Absolutely. So there you go. Lovely. So there you go. Add all those goodies in, and then you can start crafting with it the minute that it arrives. So that one is your purple option, which is beautiful. If you fancy getting hold of that one, the details are on your screen. So uh, the last one that we've got with regard to these projects with the hot water bottle is. Um, where am I? It is, no, not that one, that one, because the clue is there. <laughs> um, so this is the last one. This one's called teal, but it's not just a teal tone. It's got some beautiful florals in this one as well. Um, reminds me a lot of the, uh, the purple one that we saw a few moments ago, but different colorway. And there you go. Beautiful. That kind of teal blue is very, very popular, isn't it? I love this colour. This You've got all your little beautiful. pieces on there as well, including the circle there. So if you do want to personalise these, uh, you could personalise those using the little plain circle. Oh, or of that's course, a nice you, idea. Can, you can follow the floral design that I've popped onto mine as well. And that's nice because it's kind of you can incorporate it with other things that you've got. Um, Personalisation maybe with an embroidery machine or yeah. something like that you could do as well, couldn't you? So, uh, yeah, like the look of, I know we've had some of those on recently as well. 
So that has been one of our most popular projects from Kerry. Kind of returning favourites, but please don't think, oh, I'll, I'll watch later on in the year and I'll get it. This is potentially is the last chance that you've got to get hold of these, so you need to get hold of them. Um, pretty much all of them, single um, on the, uh, the navy, few more of the purple and few more of the teal, but no more than 20. So there's not huge quantities of any of those as well. So that's where you need to get hold of these. Now, how do you fancy creating a fabulous project like this? So this, a reading cushion. <laughs> like it perfect with your water bottle cover as well Absolutely, isn't it with the colors yeah. that's the way we uh, that's the way we did them but yes it's um perfect for red time bedtime reading I love pretty it. on the bed as well um, and we will have a closer look at the panels, but you're going to get all the fabrics. Obviously, you need to add in your own pom-pom trim, because um, you might not want pom-pom trim. Why on earth you wouldn't? I don't know, because I am a big fan of pom-pom trim. Any opportunity to add it, isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, I don't blame it. Now, we've got all of these little phrases. Are these on the panel? They're all on the panel, oh, and there's right. quite a lot to choose from. So there's more than there's available. You can choose your favourite quote, your sewing quote, the little chat you have with yourself at the machine. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that idea. That is brilliant. And of course, you've got your little letters there for your applique work as well. So let's have a little look at this particular panel, if I can find it. Is it that one there? It is indeed. So bringing this one in. So this one, again, you've got everything that you need to create the kind of outside part. Unless you want to add your own embellishments, things like the pom-pom trim, you might want to add extra little bits and pieces that you can do. But you've got the basic, um, the base instructions. I'm not going to say basic because they're the base, um, really. Um, and uh, you're going to be baking this up out of four fat quarters, so very manageable. So like that idea. But oh, your first one, you don't need to go rummaging around and find those fat quarters because you've got your fabulous panel. And this is a big panel. You're getting a lot on this panel. So, oh my goodness, Kerry, you're getting loads. So I always like, especially if I'm doing any quilting, so that plain large part there is just to put on the back of your um, batting. So if you do want to add any quilting to this, which of course we like an opportunity to do that, it's just to put in between and sandwich your layer. So even that piece has been popped onto this panel for you. And it's brilliant as well because I regularly say to people, when you get these panels, don't throw away that white fabric because it's the same weight as the printed fabric. So it's perfect to work together. Eke out the fabrics that you've got in there if you're wanting to um, kind of give your eye a little resting space sometimes when you're quilting. So yeah, like that. And all of those fabulous phrases at the bottom there. Happiness is a full bobbin. <laughs> just, yeah. That's what I meant by the chats you have at your sewing machine oh, I was with yourself. I was playing Robin, um, sorry, Bobbin Roulette yesterday. Yeah. Bobbin roulette, and um, yeah, and I lost, sadly, <laughs> but there we go. But, but it's do, also a nice, oh, yeah, I do that. It's also quite nice as well, because it, on the original pattern, I used the selvage edges of my favourite oh, fabric, yeah. so you can go for the quotes or you can That's incorporate nice some idea. of your selvage edges I as well. It. Um, sewing my happy place beautiful so that one is the the purple version of the reading cushion so if you like the look at that particular one and of course it coordinates beautifully with the hot water bottle kit that we looked at a few moments ago so if you're wanting to get hold of those you can do so that is that particular option the next one that we've got for you is um the teal one i think that's the one that i've got here oh yes look at that beautiful Full instructions and everything. I mean, you could look at these fabrics, especially this teal one, and you, straight away, living in loveliness pops into your head. <laughs> they're definitely your types of fabrics. They're very, they're, they're very much fabrics perfect for a dress as well, aren't yes. they? Yeah, quite enough. Maybe a doll's dress. <laughs> but yeah, they. Are, I love these prints, and we've done lots of projects in the same colourways to coordinate. Really, really pretty, really pretty. Good sized pieces, of course, all coming together for the reading cushion. But if you just got another project and you're thinking, oh, that, that'd look fabulous in that fabric. If your fabric pieces will fit there, then go for it. But to be honest, I think one of the nicest ways of using this is to get it alongside the hot water bottle and make kind of like a little group kit and make everything together and utilise those lovely fabrics that you've got there as well. All the instructions, again, within the book. You've also got the pattern there to go on and create them with your own fabrics as well, but a brilliant value bundle if you're going through it all together at 19 as well. So the next project that we've got, I'm just going to reorganise it so I've got more together and then I know what I've got. So longest one that I need to go to is right the way over here. 
and this is to create what we're going to see you demonstrating. So I'm pretending to be a sofa at the moment. <laughs> Some of my best you knew work. That's what you wanted to be when you grew older. There you go, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put this on my CV now. Acting. Um, now, this caused quite a stir the last time you brought it to us, Kerry. That's right, yeah. Um, very, very busy, sold out. And until today, I don't think we've seen it back again, have we? No, we haven't. We haven't had a chance to bring it back. So it's quite nice to bring it back this time. I don't know about you, but it's quite nice now to just relax with a, a mulled wine at the sofa and do Absolutely. your hand sewing. Well, we were talking about um, EPP and hand sewing and sat in front of the TV. Yeah. This time of year, watching Christmas movies more often than not. But of course, I can't just sit and watch TV. No. I just have to be doing something. Um, and this is lovely where you can take all your bits and pieces with you and obviously it sits over the arm of your sofa or your chair. So we've got a couple of different options for you. You've got the pink that I'm showing you here um, and you've got all your gorgeous different um, colours with regards to this one. I'm just having a quick look to see if I've got the pink one around. I don't know. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> <laughs> My peripheral vision is not the best. It's not the best. Right, so let's put that over there. So, right, I think those have just jumped across from somewhere. So I've got, that's that one, that's that one. That can go back over there. That's the reading cushion, that can go there as well. Sorry, just keep myself organised. Kerry, you've brought a lot of stuff with you. <laughs> we always bring a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> this one is the panel for the one that I just showed you. Um, when you look at it, you're like, okay, right. You wouldn't guess what this was going to actually make. In fact, I've got it upside down. Let me turn it around. You wouldn't guess. Sometimes, like the hot water bottle, you can kind of get an idea. Yeah. So the pieces that we're seeing here, are they exactly as we need them they to are, be? They are, yes. Right, perfect. So no measuring, because that's the other thing. Sometimes you, you'll get a pattern and it'll say, oh, you need a piece that's three inches by this length or whatever. And it's always a little bit nervy of where you cut it from and if you're going to lose or not have enough fabric. But... You've got it all with that. Which you is can lovely. see as well how small they are. So once you've got the pattern, you've got the template. So it's a nice scrap buster project, isn't it? That's this a good really? point, actually. Yeah. And you could almost do it with all sorts of little bits of fabric that you've got, and maybe piece fabrics to make the larger pieces that you might need as well. So that one is your pink version. And just to reiterate, if you wanting to see it made up, then this is what it looks like. Like so. But we have got another colourway for you as well within this particular one. So if you're liking the look of this one and you fancy going down the other route, let me just pop that down there. The other colourway is that one there, which is purple. So if purple is your thing, or you like something that has got a theme, and on this occasion it's sewing, which we all love, don't we? We all love a sewing theme. Then uh, this is the one for you. I can't get the edges. There we go. And it's that purple again. Gorgeous. I like this. All the sewing bits and pieces that we need in our lives. And a nice colour palette as well, um, Kerry. Thank you. Really done a good job. Love them. Again, all the pieces in the right sizes that you need. Maximising that area that you've got. The instructions aren't printed on there, which I must admit, I'm not a fan of putting instructions on the panel because in my <coughs> opinion, you could put fabric where there are instructions. So yeah, paper pattern alongside it with your instructions is the perfect combination in my book. So there you go. If you like the look of that one, then you can do. Now we've got two of those being available to you as well. So the sewing colour where you're liking that, because obviously it's a bit of a sewing project, there's <coughs> a picture. Um, that you've got there as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're wanting to get hold of that, please do so. Um, details are on your screen, so pop those into your basket as soon as you possibly can. Check those baskets out. Keep checking those baskets out as well. That is the key thing, um, because obviously in shows like today where we're restocking and we're bringing things that you've not seen for a little while, then it can be a case of that um, they might not be available for the whole day. So, yeah, just make sure that you are getting them as soon as you possibly can. So, uh, yeah, get them into your baskets. I've lost my guest. I don't know where Kerry's gone. She's disappeared. So, I think she might have left something behind. So, shall I quickly show you what we're going to be chatting about? Because we've got a couple of bits and pieces to share with you. So, oh, you're back. You're all right. Everyone's going, is she okay? You're all right. Did I, I didn't upset you, did I? <laughs> 
Oh, I just knew a... I was going to start coughing. Oh, you've got a tickle brewing. <laughs> oh, that's... I said you thought, what did Too I much say? chatting. What did I say? What did I say? She said you just... I thought I could sneak off undetected. <laughs> it was perfect at the time when I was just wrapping up the podcast. Oh, was it? So... I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's all right, don't worry. Right, so we've got a hot iron. I'm just going to move that out of the way just for a minute as well. So let's have a little chat about the sewing caddy. This is a brilliant idea. So I love this, actually. It's one of my favourite projects that we've done. So this will just rest across the sofa. We did put a nice big pocket in here because it might be that you either want to carry your fabrics across or lots of threads. I mean, it's a very big thread catcher, yeah. isn't it? But it's also great to pop your yarn I'm on as well. I'm crisps, <laughs> personally. <laughs> bag crisps, yeah, we could slide some chocolate in. We can have chocolate yeah. for breakfast from today. So yeah. we could definitely slide some loud. chocolate in there. Then you've got your little pin cushion on the top as well. Very minuscule little pin cushion like there. It. But it's just big enough. Just big enough for the few pins that we've got there. And then you've got a little zipper here as well. So if you want to pop your threads in or, you know, your little notions or whatever you want, just a nice, sweet little pocket. And then on the side for easy access, you know, you've got just a few little pockets there for you, you dependent upon what project you're doing, just to slip those in. Lovely. And of course, when you come to make your project, it's entirely up to you whether you make these bigger or if you're doing this for oh, crochet, so maybe. they're not printed on it. You they're not choose. printed, so oh, you okay. select those ones. Yeah. So if you're doing crochet, perhaps, and you're using the larger pocket for your yeah. yarn, then you can reduce the size of those pockets as well. Nice idea. And we just need to make sure that we've got, in addition to this, we need a zip. You need a six-inch zip. Okay, we've got those on the show. That's I right. Think. I've used batting in here. Okay. Um, you could use an interfacing, but it's always nice to have that nice plush finish, yeah. isn't it? So I've used batting and then the tiniest amount of stuffing in there Perfect. as well. Just Probably so about 20 grams of stuffing in there. Just so as I know, I've got everything that I need in there. That's it. There you go. Lovely. Um, okay. 80 20 is popping up on your screen should you need to stock up. And I'm it. never without my clips, so I yes. <laughs> always find a space Did to pop those onto. Very good. Yeah. Mm. And do you know, they're one of the things, aren't they? We lose so many of them. Oh, I actually gosh. use them to pin my hair up quite frequently. I've used them for everything. When yeah. I put forms together and, and instructions and all that. Yeah. And them. that's why we lose them so frequently and need to top Absolutely. them up. So you've got all of your pieces in your. Uh, panel to create the the complete project including the back of the panel as well um, and then what I tend to do when I'm working from a panel is when I cut the strips out even though these are all generally normally named up anyway mm -hmm. with reference to the pattern I still leave this I on do. here uh, oh, I'm glad I'm not the only yeah no, because <laughs> it, it, otherwise you've got to measure it and just double yeah. check and there's you know we don't want to in encourage ourselves to do any more unpicking than that's necessary <laughs> do we I mean we all tend to do quite a lot <laughs> now the wonderful thing about this is the panel the main panel you can select your favorite print here okay, so nice. although this says the main top and the main back you can swap it over so I'm going to do that actually so it's a little bit different so um, in if we we're kind of putting it back it's the what you're going to see on that outer bag that's, that's right yeah choosing okay fair enough yep so um so I'm going to do it slightly different. Now I always, if I've got a little project with batting, then I'd always use um, a spray adhesive as well and just secure that into place. It's like liquid pins, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant stuff. It's, uh, it's wonderful actually, isn't it, when you start using it? Yeah. I think it's one of those things that quite often people are, I don't know, a little bit nervous to use. I mean, there's, there's nothing nervous about it, but sometimes, I suppose it's anything new you're kind of a little bit nervous about using. But then when you do, you think, oh, my goodness, why did yeah. I start using I wouldn't that be with it. I wouldn't be without that yeah. or my my glue pen either. Yeah. In fact, obviously, the you know, I do a lot of projects with a lot of zips, but I just wouldn't be without those two things. Yeah. And even though these pieces are really small, it just stops a lot of pinning, doesn't it? Absolutely. And the pins can make, kind of change the makeup yeah. of things, can't they? So, it's true. Yeah. Um, we have got the 505, which is the, the spray temporary adhesive that um, Kerry's using with a, a wadding. Always put it onto your wadding, not onto your fabric. That's the key thing with this one. Um, and uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Don't worry about using it on your sewing machines or anything. It's designed to use with your sewing machine. So don't think, oh, I'll go and get another can of temporary adhesive. Don't. This one has been created to use with your machine. So 
99 that's all that you need to do so yeah don't just go up to your craft room or into the office and think oh or the garage and think, oh that'll do whoops a daisy that'll do no make sure you've got the right tools for the job absolutely it all helps doesn't it absolutely. can i get you to do a little pressing oh, for me okay oh, pressure. <laughs> well it's only a strip of binding and it's oh, okay. just in half so okay. wrong side together with Lovely. your binding i love putting binding on everything actually gets rid of the raw edges but gets the most out of your fabric i always find so if you can just press that in just half in for half. me yes please I can do that and then that is for the pocketeer lovely pocketeer pocketeer that's a bit i think i've just made a bit. <laughs> it's not actually called that are they like the musketeers <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely my accent popping out there I isn't it, it? <laughs> No, I love it. I, we've got brilliant accents in this part of the country. So we definitely not have. Not at all. There you go. <laughs> Is that all right? I have to say that though, don't I? It's definitely. It's, it's the look. It's true. It's true. So um, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to bind that little pocket here. So you're simply just laying that on top along that raw edge there and just clipping this into place. Wonderful. And don't forget, I have mentioned the early bird today that it does include the clips. Not going to be chatting about it. I did touch on it at the top of the show. It is still there on the website, though, if you do want to get hold of it. So, yeah, that's the one where you've got the big cutting mat. You've also got your two um, quilt rolls in there. You've got rotary cutter and you've got the quilt clips as well. So check that one out. All of that for less than £40, pounds, which I think is a brilliant deal. I'm feeling highly like pocketeer is an invention of something I know, somewhere. I feel like I need to have a little research. Do you know if what? not, I, it'd make a great pattern. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run off and, and patent that. Pocketeer. <laughs> I'm a pocketeer. <laughs> there we go. So if I can have the iron or yeah, if you're happy go. to do it. There you go. I just don't want to lean across you oh, and you. catch you. Oh, no, it's not a problem at all. So we're just pressing the binding up towards the top and then as we mm -hmm. fold this down now you can trim all of this off if you want but to be honest with you it just naturally tucks inside anyway Gosh, that's easy isn't it well like an easy life i'm all for easy projects but you know what the thing i love about panels is you've got the pieces the size that you need because yeah. if you were to use a bit of i don't know if you've got some binding it, you can guarantee that you might have i don't know 75 centimeters of binding you're wasting what yeah. you're not using yeah that's and, right and that all ends up in the bin doesn't it so yeah, yeah. oh no we never put anything in the bin oh, Hayley no, no, it's too, too <laughs> tiny well usually goes in the stuffing bin sorry <laughs> yeah your stuffing bin oh do you use your fabric to stuff your projects Sometimes, oh that's yeah. a good idea got a, well it's getting a bit overloaded actually but yeah any of the little scraps that I can't use for other things or I go delving in the bin sometimes I'm a bit of a bin raider when it comes to fabric yeah I, I just cannot yeah. bring myself to get rid of anything you know because you look at a little project and if that was off a big it covers a project and yeah like that. oh yeah i love a cupboard button yeah they, they tend to go in that fabric bin the only bits that actually go in my proper bin tend to be the little tiny dog ears that you're trimming off yeah and stuff like that although i used to have a lady who came to one of my classes and she collected them and she made the most incredible artwork and it just looked like she wow. was just flicking it at it and then she had these wonderful but my dog ears go in the bin unless I pass them on to that lady. This looks fabulous already. It's really sweet, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So then we've got some little binding pieces for the bottom of the pocket as well. Okay. So we've got these G pieces here. So again, I'll just press these in half. Now, the, because I don't want any raw edges, so if you have a little look on the end of here, all I've done is folded it over about a quarter of an inch, giving mm -hmm. it a press, which I'll do in a moment, and then just slip stitched over the top of okay. that so you're not seeing any of the raw edges. Lovely. Now, with regards to, obviously, we've got full instructions. Do you have uh, social media where we can see videos and things like that? Yeah, you can find us on social media. This one, um, I'm not sure whether we've got a pattern. Go back and watch the show, to be, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. But, yeah, we're on social media, um, just as Living in Loveliness, and we do lots of pop-ups. and Fabulous. Love it. Um, do uh, exhibitions and things as well, so go out and follow... Oh, we got, I've got an exhibition tomorrow, actually. Oh, really yeah. Tomorrow. So we're going to the Motorcycle Museum oh, tomorrow. Local. Nice. Yeah, nice local. Yeah. Small event, just a one-day event. 
when they called and asked us to do it, Craig was like, yeah, absolutely. I'll help you set up and then I'll go and look around the museum. Yes, it is a fabulous place to go and spend some time. And funny enough, it is one of the more popular venues for a couple to go because, yes, there's lots of, oh, is it? Lots of other halves wandering around. <laughs> I think that's, that's why they selected it, or that's yeah. certainly what they told us as well. I just so, call it like a, a crash. I, I would say a man crash, but nowadays, I mean, there's lots of male sewers and, and females yeah. that go off wandering around. So, yeah, looking at the motorbikes. So, yeah. I did my motorbike lessons at the beginning of the year. Well, you've got this tip list that you were doing, right? Yeah. For different things. Oh, uh, do you know what happened to me, though? I think I forgot my age. Okay. You took me three. Do, didn't you I oh, no, I didn't. I didn't do a wheelie. I definitely <laughs> didn't do a wheelie. It hurt my back. I oh, struggled for three oh, months no. after. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what was I thinking? Oh. I loved it, though. Yeah. I was very scared, but I was very scared of everything. So I did oh. do it, though. I was quite happy with myself. Well, these things, isn't it? These are <laughs> I could just tick it and say, I've done, done it. it now. Don't need to do it again. I've done it. So what we're going to do now is to just pop this onto the end and then fold this across. So this time with the binding, what I did is I folded it in okay. into the centre. Yeah. And then I'm just simply going to pop this on here and zigzag this across. Mm -hmm. And it is important you've got this little gap down here because it's just easier when we come to put the binding on at a later date. OK. So don't worry and think that it's too short because it's intended. And you'll see that in the pattern booklet as well. Perfect. There you go. Sometimes it is good to have it reinforced in instructions, isn't it? So as we don't kind of... Uh... Think, oh, I've done it wrong. And start unpicking. Oh, we got a quick, um, message. Oh, hi, ladies. I am watching you covered in blankets and hot water bottles. Oh, oh toasty. Oh, you've got a gas leak. Oh, no, no heating and it's snowing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Perfect time for a water bottle and a cuddle, though. Oh, my though. goodness, yes. There's nothing worse, is there, than not having your heating at this time of year. Oh, no. But the trouble is, it's this time of year that you find out that the, the but there's issues, something wrong. You haven't yeah. had to turn it on until now, really, have you? So yeah. I feel like it's just come out of nowhere as well. Oh, I feel like one yeah. day we had lovely sunshine. Well, maybe not sunshine, but warmer weather yes. for sure. And then all of a sudden, we'd got this cold weather. Proper snap. So what I'd then do from here, I won't do it today just because I won't have time, is, as I said, just sew across these edges here. Yeah, just a little bit of hand stitching. Just a little bit of hand stitching. OK. And when we come to pop this on in just a little while, I've forgotten to leave that open, so I'll just open this up. You'll see this when I come to pop it on. Oops, just Getting ahead of myself. I thought I was having bobbin chicken there, hey, Ellie? Oh, did you? Oh, <laughs> no. So you do want this part here to be able to just fold out because it makes it easier when we come to pop it on the panel. So okay. just open that up if you've done the same as me. I Lovely. tend to do that every time. And then we've got this really cute little pocket here, which as I mentioned, this is your accessory pocket. And this is great for your little collections in there, whatever they are. Now I've added, <coughs> excuse me, I've, I've left this little strip on, so I will do that three times. Okay. But in yours, you just do that a double hem. Okay. In fact, let's leave it a double hem. Let's make life easier. Okay. The pocket will just be a little bit taller. But then again, you might be putting taller bits in there. Well, yes. You want to? There is that, of course. It's nice because there's freedom to adapt this in whichever way you, you, you kind of want it. Well, the nice thing is if you've got different projects, isn't it? Especially if I tell myself all the time I'm going to learn and spend more time crocheting. Yeah. But I just don't have the attention span yeah. crochet needs. But it is a nice little project. It is. Crochet tends to be one of my um, my own time projects. Yeah. Quite often when you, you work in the industry and quite often we will, I'm sure Kerry will be the same as me, started off as a hobby sewer. And yeah. making things that enjoy making for yourself and then it kind of diversifies and then it's still sometimes nice to go back to things that are just almost special just for you yes so i just bead work. i love bead and wire work there you go yeah yeah and it's kind of your breakaway yeah and I, I would never dream of bringing anything to her that's got crochet involved with it <laughs> making crochet patterns because you I'm, say that I'm now a, <laughs> no no i'm not that but i'm not a confident crocheter but i enjoy it yeah, so I, I have to watch. Too. I have to watch, and uh, as much as I've masked is the flowers and, yeah. a, and a little square. Or you can do a lot with a flower and a square. Yes, definitely. I've, <laughs> done, I've done as many projects as I possibly can from them. What's next? So the next thing we're going to do is decide which project you're going to do. So if it's crochet hooks, you'd leave these smaller pockets. If it's 
you know, as the pattern was originally intended and it's just for your, you know, your hand sewing project, then you'd just go in to leave. Now, I've not bought a ruler in. The rulers are quite large. Is there always, there a little ruler on the end there? Uh, they? Oh, there might be. Oh, what we got? What just we've a got? little one there. Oh, hang on. There we go. I forget these are on the end, you know. So go down in my little pouch. So a fabric pen and a ruler, and you just simply go in to mark these up. Thank that. you, lovely. So if they're for pens and things, I tend to just leave an inch and a half across and just draw those fabric lines on there, those pen lines. And then when you're sewing these into position, you're just simply going to reverse stitch and sew to the bottom. Um, I think we have got friction pens on the show as well. So if you are looking at adding those into your basket. So I'll leave that together. to do at a later stage because I do want to try and show you as much as I can from the zip. OK. So your little zipper pocket on here, it's actually the same fabric. So it doesn't particularly matter which way that you pop this around. But I have, again, just put that little bit of batting on the inside again, just to give it that lovely finish. Now, using your wash away tape, I'm just simply... Now, I um, use a six-inch zip in this one. OK. If you've got an oversized zip in your stash, you can just trim that down, as I'm about to do here. Perfect. And you bring bundles of zips to us. Yeah, side, bundles of zips are generally normally available. Lovely. So you can go off and find those as well. So I'll just pop a little bit of the tape on top. And this is brilliant. It's a bit like the taped version of the spray adhesive we were chatting about earlier on. So yeah. yeah, I wouldn't be without this. Now, the perks of using an oversized zip is you can open that up all the way and tuck that out of the way. OK. And then we're running a strip of tape across See, the this top. is one of my favourite ways of putting a, a zip and make sure that it's bigger than the project. That's because it. you can get that little pulley out of the way and it makes life so much easier. It definitely <laughs> does. Doesn't want to stick that one, does not There we go. So just taking the tape off the top. Lovely. And again, the tape is fine to, to use alongside your, your sewing machine needle. You don't have to worry because it's designed. Make sure you're getting the one that is designed to work with your fabrics. Don't go raiding any double-sided tape in your, your, sew, um, your paper crafting room because that is for a different thing. There we go. So I haven't got the zipper foot on here, so I'll just keep this with a straight foot. Lovely. And then we're just simply going to sew along the top of that zipper. And as you say, Hayley, you know, it's much easier if you work with an oversized zipper. That's it, yeah. You, you tend to think, I mean, I, part of me, because I am a stingy sewer, I am very frugal, and I do Thrifty, think, you're uh, very thrifty. thrifty that's <laughs> right, right. Um, And I, I tend to think, well, why do I only use an oversized zip and then I'm wasting that zip? And then I'm thinking, well, I'm making my life easier, to be fair. Easy so, life, uh, and if it's all you've got in yeah. your stash, it's perfect as well. So all I've done here is I'm just folding these back on themselves just to expose that little zipper. Lovely. And then we'll repeat the same on the opposite side. Wonderful. While you're doing that, Kerry, um, I have got the kits available um, and in a variety of different sizes. Now, the not sizes, colours, should I say. The pink one that we... I've suddenly <laughs> Try again. <laughs> just invented them. Um, so they go both going to come up with your pattern and your pattern includes your instructions as well. So this is for where you can go on and create these in whichever fabrics you like. But you will need the instructions which are included within here. You're also going to get the uh, fabric printed onto a panel. So you don't have to actually cut out the pieces as in getting your pattern. You've got it all pre-printed on there, so you literally you can just uh, go and get them upside down, as usual. 50-50 <laughs> chance, and I do it wrong every single time, so there you go. Um, it's a big, big piece of fabric, as you can see. They're all printed with that gorgeous ditzy print on there. Beautiful kind of wine tones that you've got, and then that lovely lighter kind of teal um, or minty teal sort of colour. So really, really pretty. And, of course, just cut those pieces out. Keep those little tabs on there for identification, just so as you know, because obviously there's a lot of rectangles in there and you don't want to have to keep measuring them. So just keep those as little reference points, but it comes together beautifully. And the fabric's a lovely fabric to, to work with. And many of us do panels here, and I'm sure you'll agree that the fabric that they're printed on is beautiful. Beautiful. So that is really, really nice as well. So it is brilliant. So uh, absolutely gorgeous as well. So uh, yes. And uh, yeah, we've got a few gremlins, I believe, out there as well on uh, social media. We are working on them. At the moment, it's turned me into John Scott. I'm looking onto it here. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Good morning, John. How I'm are not, you? I thought I'm not looking too bad, <laughs> but there. So, yeah, 
Well, no, I know what I'd love to say. I'll go and help, but I haven't got a clue, to be honest. My my best advice is turn it off and turn it back <laughs> yeah. off and on again. But there you go. But they are working on that in all seriousness. So we do bear with us. So we're so sorry. It's, it's kind of one of those things that if we could do something, then yeah. It's, it's going to be leaves on the track or something like that causing the issue, isn't it? So yeah. But in the meantime, we'll enjoy ourselves and have a chat and sew. Yeah, and you can go back <laughs> and watch it later on if necessary. Right. So I've got two little binding pieces here. So I'm popping these onto the pockets. So just popping the fabric wrong side facing towards you and then giving this a little press. And flick. So the purpley one would be my uh, sort of like, choice well, to go is, to because it's so intense. <coughs> well, this is it, and I think people do like to have a theme, don't they? So just oh, I love a theme. Terry's doing that um, piece. I have got the other panel. I but, did show it you at the top of the show. I should have showed you again, shouldn't I? Just but, th but this is my mum's favourite oh, colour. Is it? Yeah, oh. the two favourite colours. That's why I sort of did yeah. these. I was trying. Um, this colourway is proven to be. In fact, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yes, if I get into trouble, I'll get into trouble. But I'm going to show you the panel anyway. So here you go. So this is the panel. Um, so there you go. Different colour themes. So purple tones, which I love. Purple is one of my favourite colours. And uh, very much a sewing theme. So you've got all the little bits and pieces. there. threaded needle. You've got your little scissors. Unpicker, <laughs> sewer's best friend. <laughs> um, and then, of course, all the other different bits and pieces that are very, very familiar to us in a sewing room. Um, all pre-printed to exactly the right size that you need. And as I said before, keep those tabs in place. There's also extra little bits because Carrie's a bit like me. She doesn't like to leave those spaces so you've got little bits that could be fussy cut and appliqued onto different things as well which is nice so maximizing the use of that fabric but don't throw away those long strips that you've got around the edges either because they're very useful to have as well um, don't forget we've got lots of back in stock kits in this hour as well um, the hot water bottle one we only had a handful of the navy they have been and gone so thank you to everybody that chopped, um, checked out their baskets for that one purple's down to single figures now with regards to that one um, and we're in the teens with the teal teens of the teal so uh, that's the uh, i think we had higher um, quantities of those ones initially so yeah Right, do love a, we do love a hot water bottle. Oh, yeah. So what I've done here, so we folded the binding in half and all I've done is sewn this onto the end and attached this. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do again, the same as I did with the pocket, is just press these out and pop them onto the back. Wonderful. Um, you're back again a, a bit later on as well. I've got two shows. I've got, two, I've got a new, new project today as well. Ooh, I've been busy. Exciting. Storage, of course, because I do like a bit of storage. Well, it's one thing. It's all about workshops for me and classes next year, so I thought I'd be super oh. organised. So are you running them or attending them? Uh, no, I'm running them. Because oh. it's, it's nice to go on a, a workshop. Do you know what? I, yeah, you I really do them. It's yeah, nice. my friend yeah. goes on them all the time, I think. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to treat myself and have, have some sewing time friend, for me. A friend of mine does a sewing weekend, I think it's three or four times a year. And every year, I say, every time they do one, I'm like, I must come along to one. So, yeah, that's I, my I'm not sure. resolution. That's a good resolution mm. to have, isn't it? Now, because I've used just a little tip for you, an oversized zipper, I've just put a couple of stitches in there as well, just in case I get sidetracked, which is very normal for me, <laughs> and open this up. So what I'm going to do here is just fold this onto the back and again pop some double-sided tape, mm -hmm. although I'm finding this particular one isn't. Cool. So yeah, this tape um, has been developed for sewing. I think we might, have we got it on the show? Oh, why not pop it up on the screen? People will want that. Um, £6.99, um, you're going to get your wash away quilters tape. So yeah, as soon as you throw your project into the wash, or you can actually spritz it with water and, and kind of encourage it to disappear, shall we say. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, the details are up on your screen. There we go, I'll just clip that as well. So the reason that I put the double-sided tape on there, oh, sorry, Hayley, oh, yeah. is what we're going to do now. So uh, I'll sew all of these little bits up in the break. Okay. But what we want to do is what I tend to do is prep everything first, clip it all into position, and then do all the stitching thereafter. Ah, that's a good tip. I so like that idea. I like, my, well, my cutting mat isn't right beside my sewing machine all of the time. So I like to do, all, I like to do things in a, a little bit of a... Um, what do you call it? Uh, pro product line, production line. Yes, yeah. So it's so, kind of like the sewing department or the cutting. Yes, department. that's right. It sounds very. It sounds like it's very <laughs> excited, doesn't it? It's not. It's because it's normally chaos on the sewing table. <laughs> let me be honest with you. So on the back here again, run your wash away quilters tape, and that will just help you stick that in the centre. So to find your centre, we're just simply going to give that a little bit of a finger press there, centre the zipper on top, 
and then clip this into place. And you can see on the opposite side here, we've got the space for our little pin cushion. Now, as I mentioned a little bit earlier with this um, project, I wanted just to open up that extra edge. I can't get how quick it's all coming together to be it's, I, I like quick projects. Yeah. I, I love fat quarters and I like fast projects. Yeah. And it's nice sometimes because if you are working on a big project, it's nice to have a breakaway it's, project, yeah. isn't it? That you and that's why the, the, the fast projects that we tend to do are always useful in store, mm. you know, storage selections. So here you can see this will line up onto the edge. So we'll clip this into position. And then as you come to the opposite side, this is where we left the binding. So it's just not getting in, in the way of when we come to bind the complete project. And then if we clip this into the corner, it just means when we use a basting stitch to secure all the pieces together in a moment, we can get around that corner without any additional um, obstacles. Wonderful. All top tips. That's what we like as well. We can have them free. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So... I'll just then show you the little pin cushion. So you've got this lovely little mini pin cushion here. This is labelled up with your letters on there. Lovely. And what we do here is we're simply leaving a little bit of a gap. So if I slide a gap. I have to do that because I forget. Well, yeah, I'm very easily distracted mm. still. I still get distracted. I, yeah. And then what we're doing is sewing around all those four raw edges. Lovely. And just leaving ourselves. A and we only need a little bit because there isn't too much yeah. stuffing to go into See, there. That's another thing that I'm guilty of. I leave a turning gap that's too small because I don't like hand sewing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll yeah. like this one because you don't need to do any yeah. hand sewing. We sew it into the binding. Oh, there you go. So, uh, so you can leave it as big or as small. The only thing I'd recommend is not leaving your, your gap on a corner because it's too much faff then, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Yeah, you do get too soon learn where the best place is to leave a, a turn. That's a bit of a rhyme there. You do soon learn where to leave your turn. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a roll today. <laughs> I love it. So just in your corners, we're just going to give these a little trim. And then what you... What's going on next door? There was a sing song next door or something. There was a lot of singing going on this yeah, morning. I thought, I wish I knew the words. I'd join in. Sounds like choir practice. <laughs> it was all Christmas songs on the radio when I came oh, in. Yes. I was very excited yeah. about that. So just giving this a little turn then. Now, I haven't bought, of course, any stuffing in with me. But I do want to show you how you'll attach this to this little project on okay. the side of here. So if I just bring um, this extra little section on to here, let me just talk you through what we did. Oh, thank so you. you're lining this up. You can see here, actually, on each of your panels, there's always a, a nice little design on there, whether it's a flower or mm -hmm. on the sewing yeah. machine ones, it might be a pair of uh, sewing needles. So what I actually did on this original one is just put a little join on there to increase the length of the pin cushion. Oh, okay, yeah. So you've got that little design. And then what I did, so if I get this one, it's always easier to see, isn't it? Is the sewn edge, I sew across that raw edge here. Okay. And then as you push this back out, that little edge that we didn't want That's to slip so stitch, you then sew in that into the seam. Brilliant. Of course, it's a little bit tricky because you've got a little bit of stuffing in there. Just budget out of the way. Absolutely. Yeah. And then all I've done here on that little pin cushion is just zigzag stitched like around that. the edge because it'll press. It, I love a zigzag stitch. Um, and then I've just zigzag stitched around the edge to secure it onto the panel. And once all, you've got all of your little bits in place, so if we just have a little look back on here. So on the binding now, your top stitching for your pockets is super easy. This one you're only sewing into place. But again, because I love a decorative stitch, I've just zigzag stitched along nice. the side of the binding to secure that directly to the panel. And of course, when you've put all of these bits together, it's just binding to finish your project as well. Finish, finish off those raw edges. Kerry, thank you. You're very welcome. Um, and don't forget, if you have just joined us, read your full instructions, you're going to have everything step by step, full colour instructions in there as well. So you're not going to be left on your own. So if you have missed any of the demonstration um, because you joined us later, or we didn't quite cover everything, then you will be able to find all of those. So uh, yeah, I am going to do a very quick recap of some of the things that we've been chatting about. But we've been looking at this fabulous Caddy, and I'm going to say goodbye to Kerry just for the time being. And I'll see you in an hour. You will see me in an hour. 
Um, I'm going to give you a quick little recap, though, so as you know, all those um, goodies and all those different items, um, the numbers, should I say, that you need. So loads of returning favourites, um, like the caddy, which is what we've been chatting about at the moment. So we've got that fabulous purple. So the purple and the pink are the two colour options with regards to this one. Kerry's been demonstrating with the pink, which has been brilliant. So, uh, yeah, if you're wanting to, to get hold of that one, then you can do. I will tempt you with the purple one, which is partly completed as well, to give you an idea of what that looks like. Um, but, uh, yeah, both are on panels. And the panels themselves have got all of the um, elements on there. The instructions are in your um, pack, along with a pattern. So if you wanted to go on and create more in your own fabrics, then you can do. But you can see everything is printed to size. You'll notice there are little tabs on there which will refer to the different pieces as you're working with them. As Kerry has said, do keep those attached to those pieces as you cut them out. They're just useful reference points. It means you don't have to keep going back and measuring them to make sure that you've got the right piece as you're working. So that is the pink version. Um, details are up on your screen. The other version that we've got for you is your purple, and that's the one that I'll hold up next. And I have got a partially completed um, example to share with you. Work in progress, or homework as we sometimes call it. So there you go. Purple, beautiful, lovely kind of, a, um, almost like a plum tone to this one. Again, loads of sewing paraphernalia, so absolutely perfect for your sofa caddy um, because most of us will be making it up for that exact reason for our sewing um, in front of the telly usually. So there you go. Again, all of your pieces, as we mentioned. And that one, if you're wanting to see how that comes together, you can see that um, Kerry started completing this one and you've got your large caddy um, space on the side. Of course, as Kerry mentioned, if you prefer to have the lighter tone on the outside, then you just decide on that when it comes to construction. But you can see the zipper pocket in the middle there. If you need your six inch zips, do check on the website because they are available there. This one's just waiting for the pin cushion to go in place, which we've just been learning about. And of course, you've got your little kind of containers here for things like your um, crochet hooks or um, scissors or whatever you choose to put in there. So that is the beauty of it. So what a fabulous project very popular as well so uh, yeah if you fancy getting hold of that please do so now kerry is going to be back with us in the next hour not the next hour the hour after the next one which will be 11 o'clock that's probably an easier way of saying it and she's got loads of other projects oh sorry did i bash my microphone then other projects so we've got the lee and um, the reading cushion that we'll be chatting about and also the hot water bottle that we're going to be chatting about in the next hour they are available on the website so if you do want to get ahead and have a little look you can do didn't get a chance to have a chat much about those but also a brand new kit for you as well it's brand new kit so uh, yeah do make sure you tune in it's perfect for you to get organized and have everything with you when you're going to your classes and your workshops or even going from room to room so uh, that is the beauty of it i will see you just after the break though lovely louise is back with a beautiful wall planner which i know you are going to love wall planner wall, wall, um, wall hanging not planner wall planner um so yeah i think i better yeah i better control alt and delete and then i'll be back after the break i'll see you in a little while <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard p and is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? 
Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. 
Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back to Sewing Street and another lovely hour with Louisa, which I'm very much looking forward to. Our attention turning slightly elsewhere, but we are going to be touching back on those fabulous kits that we saw earlier on because they were so very, very popular. But I have to show you two incredible wall hangings. They really did catch my eye when I came into the studio. They are what I call happy colours. Um, and they're just absolutely beautiful, gorgeous. I love a solid kind of colour tone, but I also like it where there's a little bit of a twist of it. Now, you might look at this, you might think, oh, hang on a minute, those colours look familiar. Yes, we did see these in the rainbow cushion earlier on. So, uh, yeah, if you've shopped for that already, then you might want to add this one into your basket as well. Really good size project with EPP that you are going to have loads and loads of fun with. So that is the first of the two different colourways. The other one that we've got is this beautiful, beautiful one as you can see here with the ditzy prints in here so this one is this a liberty one no is it's it robert kaufman it's, it's got a look of it though hasn't yeah. it has Blossom. got a look little blossoms i think oh Something very blossoms. pretty <laughs> very very pretty so that is your other colorway so if you do like a little blossom then you can get hold of that one if you wanted to we are going to be talking about um, flying geese and these fabulous pouches in a little while but before we get to that we're going to be chatting about the kits which are over there i've got the cushion kits here so um have a look at um that for a minute while I go and get the the kit uh, so bear with me just a second as well sorry I did, didn't pick those up I've got everything else in with me but not the kits so the wall hangings let's have a little look at the wall hangings so what you are going to get is you're going to get a fabulous box with regards to these so your box that you're going to get will have all of the bits and pieces in that you need um, so we'll be chatting about that with Louisa in a few moments you're going to get your full instructions with these as well and that is the key thing everything is so beautifully packaged there is the availability of the pattern by itself but value for money wise I would certainly be considering going for the kit because when you get this home and you open this up oh my word look at this for a treat you're going to get your EPP papers which we'll chat about in a few moments all of your beautiful fabrics that you're going to be using all perfectly working alongside each other as you saw in that wall hanging and beautifully packaged so really does give you a lovely kind of glow when you open up that box and you see everything that you're going to get in there so those are your pay um, fabrics you're going to get your cushion sorry your wall hanging um, base as well so that's going to sit obviously behind all of your fabulous applique pieces and needless to say full instructions comprehensive instructions for you to create your 20 inch square so everything that you need to know is included within there including templates for you to go on and create more of these with your own fabrics as time goes on so what a lovely bundle my lovely jenny has joined us so um, um oh louisa look at this i love louisa's kits good clear instructions beautiful fabrics currently sewing all the kits i have purchased <laughs> kept me going this year oh, oh thank you jenny oh. <laughs> Jenny's taking advantage of when you're here, Louise. Yeah. We don't get you here as often as we'd <laughs> like to. And um, yeah, very, very popular. We've had loads of messages like that come through. So oh, thank you. Well, so thank you. It's nice to be back. Oh, <laughs> well, it's good to have you back. And that is the wall hanging that we've been chatting about. So there you go. The other option is your rainbow. So let's swap those over and show you the rainbow one. So there you go. Beautiful. As you can see there, those gorgeous bright colors which i think are very very inspiring really pretty so that one is that one so um box wise again packaged beautifully and again everything that you need in there um, and as i was saying earlier if people went for the rainbow cushion earlier on then this is one to go for Perfect as well match. isn't it yeah perfectly um coordinated so there you go the papers there again all of those lovely fabrics coming through did we say this one was a macau one that one, yes, yes, it yes. was Macau, wasn't it? Yeah, beautiful. so you get 10 inch squares in there so you can do a piece binding. 
Nice, nice. So there's enough for your that, binding. Isn't that's it? gorgeous. They're all beautiful. So all of those are in there. Obviously your base, because you're going to be working on that white base, that is in there. And of course your full instructions as we spoke of previously. So um, your paper pieces, which you're going to be using several times because we're going to learn how to look after those and get the most out of them. So there you go. If you fancy getting hold of that, then the details are on your screen. Now, if you're wanting to get hold of the pattern by itself, then you can do. So within this one, you're going to get your security sealed envelope with your full um, pattern in there and your EPP papers. And these are quite special because something that we learned in the last hour is that you can utilize these in a, a clever little way with regards to, there's a little kind of line on there which all becomes apparent when you are working with these, which we learned about in the last hour and it's a very, very clever idea, but loads of those, as you can see, in your little envelope. So look after those and then you can use those over and over again. So something else that we have got within the, uh, um, the show are patterns and kits for the pouches, which are incredibly popular. I'm going to show you those quickly as well. So these, again, you'll recognise those colours. Aren't they fabulous? Now these are in the kit form, again. So with regards to the kits, and you found these already, Again, gosh, that's a weighty box that you've oh, got. Oh, yes, it's it's a packed one, this one. There's a lot in here, <laughs> my goodness, straight away. That's good a good job the box has got flaps on <laughs> it. Oh, have you got the, pack, the zip in there? It really is, you probably had to sit, it's like the suitcase on holidays and you have to squash it down. Um, your zip is in there, you've got all of your fabulous fabrics again, matching that wall hanging as well and the cushion we saw earlier on, the lovely cream tones in there. Is that for your lining? That's that your one? lining, yeah. Then you've got that gorgeous, it's like a charcoal, but it's got yes. a fleck in it. Yeah, it's nice, gorgeous. I like that. Just the it? linen texture again. Beautiful. And then, of course, full instructions in there and you've got your foundation paper piecing um, instructions with regards to this as well. So everything is there. Um, Complete, completely within that kit which is beautiful and you're going to be making a fabulous good size this one nine inches by 14. Mm, but look inside <gasps> oh <laughs> look i didn't know they were in there <laughs> oh they're useful to have aren't they but also as well i'm thinking that's a good size if you've got say a 12 inch rule would you get 12 inch ruler in there i don't know nine oh yes yeah, nine by 14. Yeah, 14. i haven't got a yeah. I'm just thinking about the one that we've got for the early bird. That was 12 inch. Sorry, I wandered off set then. I do apologise, Charlie. Just, yeah. Just Try it. That's 12 inch. I have to put me, secure my feet to the floor. Oh, so there you go. If you are, um, we've got a 12 inch rule there. So that would fit in there quite easily. And because you've got the nine inch depth, you could easily put a six by 12 ruler, I think, in there. So good one for classes and workshops. Thank you for that, Louisa. So there you go. If you fancy getting hold of that in the kit form, then do check out that fabulous Flying Geese Rainbow Pouch. Um, brilliant one to go for. Incredible value for money. Do we need to add something in for the wadding? Wadding and interface, iron on okay. interface, yeah personal choice with regards to those but we have got some on the website so there you go if you fancy getting hold of that one then please do so it looks beautiful doesn't it really happy colors love all those bright colors in there so that is the rainbow there is another version of that um, and that is this one here which i'm sure you will recognize those fabulous um <laughs> colors there very i don't know which one i like the most now oh it's difficult i love them both love them both Again, you've got all of that storage in there, all of those fabulous little pockets in there, which are going to be brilliant. If I can just give you like a serving suggestion, let me just before, well, if I bring the packet in, because we'll go through the, this in just a few moments anyway, let's just open that up carefully. I'm frightened of breaking the tabs. But I'm just saying, if you are doing your EPP, well, no, there won't be EPP pieces in that one, will there? <gasps> Think about it, Hayley. Think about it. But EPP, those are going to fit. Hey, hey, look at that. That was that a complete fluke. <laughs> that to me? Because I was just looking at that thinking, I bet that's the right yeah, size for no, those. Complete so, fluke. <laughs> but you could actually have your EPP all in that pouch, couldn't you take it with you? So uh, there you go. Must remember to take those out. Or your, your EPPs and your FPPs. It's all about the PPs. <laughs> there you go. If you fancy getting hold of the pattern by itself, then the pattern by itself, um, details popping up on your screen. So yeah, if you're wanting to get hold of that as well, you've got everything in there. Now, 
Do we need to do anything with regards to these? Because you've obviously got your templates that you're you've going to You've got a full be... set in there. Okay. But you can obviously photocopy them and if you want to use them again. If you want to use them, uh, yeah. Perfect. And of course, this is the way that you're going to get those perfect um, points, precision points when it comes to creating. Because if you were trying to do these in your traditional way, if you've done quilting and flying geese and you've done them in the traditional way, you think, well, my goodness, they're so teeny tiny. How am I going to be able to do that? That's where you're learning about FPP. So there you go. Thanks for getting a hold of it as a pattern. Then the details are on your screen there. All your different options with regards to your kits are naturally on the website. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, take advantage of those while you've got the opportunity. So we're going to start with the wall hanging, I believe, which is where we started the show with. So you've got two different versions of this. You've got the gorgeous rainbow, which is the one that I've got on the top there. But then the other option that we've got underneath there is a few uh, fabulous ditzy floral. So uh, details on the screen for this particular version. And I think this is the one. Is this the one that we're working with? Yes. Oh, well, no, the, the, the that one, the ditzy yeah. one. OK, that's OK, because we've got two we've got choices. Right, I'm going to head over in that direction then and go and have a little chat. Why not? Because I can. I'll see you in a moment. So, Louisa, what do we need to know? Right, so <coughs> I'm going to fly me. through this because it's very similar to the cushion we did in the first hour. Oh, so we can go back and watch yeah. that. So, um, but it's, I mean, actually, it's a lot simpler. So you've just got two shapes. You've got a large petal and a small petal, is okay. what I've called them. And as you've said, there's a line across the large petal. So, as we did before, dab a bit of glue on the back of your paper, stick it down on the back of your fabric. There's no fussy cutting in these. Okay. Make sure your scored lines face up. And then when you glue, as we did before, with the bigger petal, it's just an outer edge. So you're just going to add a bit of glue to the bit of fabric and then in from the edge, not right on the edge, on the paper. Okay, perfect. Push your fabric over so you get a nice smooth curve. Do your two sides curves first and then just add a bit of glue on that point first so you get a nice sharp point there. As you do, all the way down and then finally your bottom point. Wonderful. Now we have got the details for those pens. Actually, um, just so as we can see, um, exactly. can I just move around sneak you over across. just yeah. a tad there and then we can get a proper good look at what you're up to. Um, the refills for the pens are up on your screen, usually um, $7.99, but we've got a fabulous dropped price for you of $5.99 and they're flying out. And then when you're in a, um, on the inner curve, as again, we've got a, oh, sorry, on the smaller petal, we've got an inside curve again. So just snip just the once either side, run your glue as before in from the edge and push it nice and tight. So as I said this morning, uh, this morning, earlier, my papers are quite sturdy, so you can push quite firm and get a nice tight fold. Lovely. Like so. So on your outer curve, just let that gather up in itself. But you need those points to be as sharp as possible. So a good firm push. <laughs> or some people actually pull them towards them. Depends, okay. really. Just have a go and see which one pref you prefer. Well, I suppose you find your own way, don't exactly. you? Exactly. Yeah. Like with anything, really. Exactly, yeah. Right, so we're going to sew these together. And that curved line there is basically where to join that point there. Oh, that's not a very good point. And the joy with these pens is that you can just unpeel them and re-stick them. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so you can see that that point there is going to join that curved line there. Lovely. So that's the idea. So, it's, I mean, all these marks are just basically ensure that you get the right curvature. So when you see it, it will, like, create a circle all the way oh, around. Oh, of course, yeah, where well, you've got the little marks on Because you can start that, and stop yeah. anywhere along there yeah. and then they wouldn't create the circle. And do you do the same thing that you taught us in the last hour? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. So we're going to just start by connecting. So take your points, uh, not your thread, sew into that point, and then, as you say, fold that to get the exact point underneath the seam allowance. Oops. Not your thread. <laughs> so connect that point. A couple of stitches. Take your thread through the loop to knot it. With your lingerie stitch. Lingerie, I love this, yeah. And then we're going to stow from the other end of your seam. So again, knot your thread. It does seem to be a bit of a faff, not in, cutting, not in, but to be honest, it's much better than pins and clips. Well, this is it's it not going to move. 
And this is the thing is that this is what I love about it here at Sony Street. We get um, people who are experts in their own little field. So if you are just getting to, to grips with um, EPP, these are things that you might learn quite a journey down the road, so to speak. But because Louisa um, is one of our experts, she has learned that the pieces can move with clips. So uh, this little technique stops just it. Just the tacking. She saves a lot of stress. Oh, yes. All so then that. we're going to, again, like before, hold them right sides to, uh, sorry, hold them flat to each other and sew across the backs of the seam allowances. So you're just picking up the very edge of the seam allowance. Still a whip stitch, still going up and over, but you're just going across the back. And because you're going across the back, you're not going to see your stitches so much on the front. I think it's brilliant. And it's so transportable. I often do um, a little bit of EPP when I'm on holiday in yeah, Turkey on the, the balcony. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, it's the, put back the perfect portable project. Absolutely. You could yeah. go anywhere. I do Absolutely. it on the stand when I'm doing shows. Yes. I'm standing there all day. You can't just, as, as oh, I can't do crafters, anything. You can't just stand there doing nothing, oh, can exactly. you? Well, I do it in front of the telly, but now I can't watch things with subtitles because I can't do that. Oh, that's true. So Justin watches that on his own now. <laughs> All those horrible noir, scandy things. Oh, I see. So right, he watches yes. them all. <laughs> so I don't think I'm missing out on much, really. Yeah. So then when you get to the end of the seam, bring your thread through the loop to knot it and then just break your thread. It doesn't take long at all. It does doesn't. It? That thread, I mean, that seems pretty short, really. Yeah. So then, yeah, carry on. As this one, connecting all your pieces into your ring. Wonderful. Give it a press with some best press just to keep that sharp curve. And as we did before, you just scrap back. So I use my nail. It's just just scrap back. It. Yeah. So I mean, there's the glue. Any glue residue tends to be on the paper. I think because I've glued the paper, there's none on the fabric at all. Right. Okay. So um, so don't worry about that. So you just peel back the fabric, the uh, seam allowance. Pop your papers out, and as she said, you can reuse the papers. They're really sturdy, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. And then you press your seam down, back down with your little iron. So carry going all the way round. So then connect, um, construct your four flowers. Lovely. So they're all they're in your different. You've I should have bought the quilt. Yeah, um, eight with me. Fabrics. Lovely. So that's yeah. kind of that corner. Yeah. Shall I just bring this yeah. in just to show you? So if you imagine that was the one that Louisa just placed um, in that corner. Yeah. It was that one, wasn't that's it? Right. Yeah. But yeah, just repeat it four times with the other yeah. pairing. So then what I did is fold your background fabric in half a finger press, half a finger press, and then if you place them an inch, uh, half an inch away from that centre line. So basically, there's an inch between. The two oh, lines. okay. Yes. So there's an inch there, an inch there. So that makes you all lined up and square. Perfect. And then again, when you've done the applique and the quilting for that matter, you're going to trim it down again anyway. So if you've gone a bit squiffy, you can re-square it. And up the quilting obviously secures everything yes, in place exactly. so much. So, so this I is my favourite wavy line. If you miss line. anything, yeah. <laughs> this is my wavy line quilting. It's a very forgiving. I I've got a, a YouTube tutorial on the website on how to do that. I'm going to check that out because I quite I, I do like kind of the, the swirly. Um, yes, yeah, nice texture. But it's just, I like that. <laughs> I'm going to go and have a look at that. Where do we find you on YouTube? Sewmotion.com. Sewmotion.com. That's my main website and there's links on there to everything. That Perfect. You I'll go and do that. Um, so anything else you wanted to show us? That was that? the other thing. Oh, I was going to say, there is a deliberate mistake with the rainbow one. And oh. if you can't see it, then that's fine. I'm going to go and have a look. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to go over there and have a look because I'm intrigued now. <laughs> I'm not, I, will warn I shouldn't you. have mentioned anything. I will warn you, I uh, have not got the best... Um, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'd be rubbish. If I was watching a, a line-up, honestly, uh, it would be terrible. So I'm probably not going to spot it. So, OK, let's have a quick look. <laughs> Nope, can't see nope. it. The yellow one's the wrong way round. Is it? So if you turned it, turn it around 90, 90 degrees. So the blue, the green, and the, they've got the bigger petal upright. But oh, I see one. what you mean. Right. So just make okay. sure that you put them the right way round and realise, after, not after you've quilted it and finished it. So that one should be turned around yeah, that way. Yeah, just like so. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think the colours distract you. I'll be honest, I am not offended by <laughs> Louise. You're okay. Don't Everything like that. Handmade. 
<laughs> noticed and I don't think anybody else would have to be fair <laughs> um, so that one is the rainbow version so the rainbow version is on your screen at the moment just to reiterate when you actually get your instructions home or your box home should I say you're going to have all of the fabrics in there that you need you're going to get all of your EPP papers in there so you've got everything that you need um, squares 10 inch squares as well as your backing fabric that you're going to be able to create with this you just need to add in a little bit of wadding um, and your backing to that one and then you are good to go so uh, a little bit extra left over there which will allow you to do that lovely colorful binding that you've got down the edges there as well so yeah like that one 20 inch square so obviously um, created as a wall hanging but you might think well hang on a minute i want to use those in different ways they could be the centers of blocks in a larger quilt that you're creating if you wanted to you go ahead what louisa has done is she's included the tuition and the materials to get you started to create a project potentially but of course you can use it in whatever way you so choose the other option that we've got for you the beautiful florals that we saw Louisa just demonstrating so exactly the same technique but very different look I'm sure you'll agree so it just depends on which way you're wanting to go with these but again with this one you are going to have all of the instructions everything that you need within that box for you to create um, that fabulous uh, project as you can see there but if you prefer to go for the instructions by themselves which I don't know what I've done with you do get your instructions and your EPP uh, pieces as well I don't know what I've done with oh, the envelope have I left it there oh I have indeed sorry it's too many things my poor little brain to cope with so here you go if you're wanting to go for the pattern by itself come to the security seal there open it up and you have got everything that you need in there your EPP papers that we just saw being used as well as your full instructions so that is without any fabrics at all 13.99 but I think you'll agree that it's worth going for that extra um, what was the difference between the kits as well was it an extra 10 pounds were they 22.99 or something I've forgotten now 23.99 23.99 so, oh no Oh, I can't remember. It was something like that, wasn't it? The only reason I mention it is, if, if we can go back, and I'm sorry if I'm, I'm producing from the floor, I know it's the most heretic, so they're 29.99, so it's 29.99 for the wall hanging, but you're getting everything in there. So I don't think that's a lot more to pay for all the fabrics. You're adding your own fabrics on the back, but uh, yeah, if you're paying 13.99 uh, anyway for the, the pattern, then it makes, it makes sense for me. For that extra but that's it's entirely up to you it's there available should you want it so decent <coughs> so there you go so that is your lotus flower wall hanging but we have got other projects that we're going to be sharing with you as well now we did have a show earlier on this morning 8 a.m bright and early using similar skills um, and you're also using liberty fabrics as well so the Liberty Bloom Cushion, which is this one here, was incredibly popular. So this particular one, just to let you know, we do have a few of these left. Now, I say a few, we only have two left after everybody has checked their kits out. So we just thought we'd give it a quick, quick, sneaky little kind of uh, show so as we can uh, get you um, the opportunity to get hold of this one, really. So you're going to get your embroidery floss in there because you're going to have that gorgeous hand stitching that you're going to be doing that hand embroidery. All of your fabrics in there, including your Liberty print, including enough fabric so as you can actually do your fussy cutting and get those pieces exactly where you want them to go. Do go back and watch the 8 a.m. show um, to learn how to do that and how to put your flange in place which you're going to be able to do and the kit itself it's got all the fabric for the front of your cushion you just need to add in the fabric for your back and then if you're adding any wadding in if that's your personal choice then you just need to add that in as well and the cushion front there you're looking at 18 inch square which I think is beautiful not only for a cushion but also within a quilt there's two other color options with that one as well which you can check out on the website including the rainbow and a lovely one that's kind of mustard and gray tones so have a little look on the website should you want to with regards to those but we're a little over halfway through the show so I want to show you that fabulous flying geese pouch because this is where we're going to be turning our attention next two different variations of them so you've got your gorgeous um, ditzy and your fabulous rainbow now you are loving your rainbow that makes me happy um, FPP so um, you've got everything that you need in here so I'll just move that to the side so as you can see it so all of your fabulous fabrics you've gorgeous zip is in there as well so they are all in there you've got um, obviously your lining fabric and I'll show you the inside of the bag in a few moments and your grey which you can see for your outer you've also got full instructions and you've also got your FPP uh, template 
which you can go ahead and replicate for future projects with Louise's blessing if you're wanting to. So that's all there. Just make sure that, that it does stay to the same size when you are doing that. The pouch itself, really good size pouch because it's 14 inches, which we did do a little bit of test. You can fit a 12 inch ruler in there or a, a quilting ruler. You've also got the little pockets, which will house your EPP pieces if you're wanting to use it for that. Um, but it's a really good size pouch. So plenty of room in there for loads of your sewing paraphernalia. So yeah, why not? Oh, <laughs> excuse me, sorry, I couldn't stop that one. <laughs> um, I tried to keep my eyes open to stop it, but it didn't happen. Um, 33 99 is going to get, it's a thing apparently, keep your eyes open and you don't sneeze. Or look at the light, they say. I usually manage to do a, a, a silent sneeze, but that one wasn't, so sorry for that. But anyway, so yeah, we digress. Flying keys, uh, craft pouch in your rainbow. Half of the stock has gone, so please check out your baskets with regards to that one. Don't forget, we have got that lovely one that's also available with regards to your ditzy florals. So again, the ditzy florals comes as a kit if you're wanting to go down that route. Um, everything included in there, full instructions and template at the back there. If you're wanting that one, £33.99 as well. I'm going through these speedy quick because I want to get over to the demo because it's quite an in-depth demo with this one and want to give Louisa as much time as we can. But naturally, the pattern is available by itself as well. And that will include that template that you can go on and replicate if you so choose so 10 pounds for that one always a popular item so if you fancy getting hold of that then please do so so everything in there instructions and your template for your first project and go on and create more of those as you choose details on your screen so i'm going to head over and see louisa and see what we can learn about an um, fpp and um, flying geese flying. they're little tiny pieces they i'm are. glad you've done this as an fpp <laughs> <laughs> yeah right so fpp um for the people who don't know what FPP is, to make it simple or to say it's simple, you sew on one side and your fabric is on the other side, okay. which sounds daunting. And I know it does scare a lot of people, but this is quite a simple one in that there's only two shapes. OK, everything's numbered. So it's quite a, a nice way to um, learn, to be honest, because it's just one panel. So it's okay. not right. So what I've done first, we've got a rectangle. So all the cutting instructions are in obviously in the pattern. Yeah, um, very easy. Place your first one. So we're just covering shape one. You'll see there's a seam allowance that you've got down either side, but the seam allowance is on the pattern for the both of the ends, basically so that they match. So basically you've got the flying geese running all the way around. Oh, I see. Okay, okay yeah. So we're just going to cover shape one first. So place your rectangle face down, template on top and pin that in place. So you just have to make sure you've got more than enough fabric yeah, to cover that exactly. section. Yeah, all the way around. I'm quite Number generous one. with this one, yep. um, so that's fine. So then piece of card, postcard, whatever, place that along the line between shapes one and two, fold your fabric over, uh, your paper over, and then you use your quarter, add a quarter ruler. Mm -hmm. Add a quarter ruler's got a quarter of an inch brilliant. lip on the edge. It's a brilliant ruler. It is. One, yeah. So that sits against the edge of the card. So you just snip off, leaving a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Perfect. If you haven't got one of them, you could just use your normal quilters ruler and just line up the quarter inch line okay. along the fold. So you've got a nice quarter of an inch seam there. So you're going to start by lining up your first one. So as you can see, I've started, I did them one at a time. You need to just bring those oh, in. She work it. There we go. So Thank I've you. did these one at a time so that I, could, I knew what colour I was going to finish with. Okay. And then I could do the next one carrying on oh, for the back okay. one. Oh, OK, yes, yeah. And then also I started with the blues on this one and then with the yellows in this one so you don't get them the same. Oh, yes, down. yeah. Because obviously one's going that way and one's going that way. Okay. So ideally you want to, I mean, you can follow the, the colours that I've used in the pattern. So that's fine. Okay. So Thank you've got your blue triangle. So you're just going to put that against that edge there. Turn it over and you're going to stitch down that line between one and two. So I'm just going to take the pin out because I can hold that because it's quite short. Take your stitch length down to one and point eight, one point seven. Okay. Basically because it's a smaller stitch and it will help you take the papers out at the end. It will. I have actually put that down to um, top tip from me as well. Um, kind of just make sure you're stitching in the right area as well, because obviously you're stitching through your template. You can retrieve it if you make a mistake because you can put a bit of tape in there, but you don't really want to be doing that. And it's a case of that you 
if you're unpicking and you've got little yeah. tiny less than two mil stitches that's going to be quite a lot to do and f small pieces of fabric you're going to end up distorting them yeah. so yeah check was it they say um check twice cut measure once twice, or something. Cut measure one. twice yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of a bit like that scenario so you're going to start off off the line a couple of stitches and then sew along the line like that and then finish off a couple of stitches so they're all going to be very small break. little seams that you do it. yeah so there you okay. go so there's your seam across there so then get rid of all that thread yeah neat and tidy like is the thing as well isn't it because you're cutting off the little threads yeah and bits i mean there's a lot of trimming and cutting and so i will then press that you can use a seam roller but I had my little iron handy at home, so it was quite nice. Nice little kind of setup that you've got here with yeah. your iron and then you're cutting and yeah, then you're sewing. exactly. So now we're going to cut, sew across the line between two and three, which is covering shape three. Okay. So first you're going to, as before, put your card along the line between two and three. Cut off your excess fabric with your ruler. So you've got a nice quarter of inch seam allowance. And then you're going to line up one of your grey triangles again it's plenty big enough so sort of centered on that line flip it over and then stitch down that line it's a really good introduction to um, yeah. um the paper piece and this foundation paper piece then because sometimes it can be the flipping and the turning can play with your head a little it bit. It can, initially. yeah. So something that's got quite an angular and repetitive nature yeah, exactly. is going to help. Um, and they're all the same that. shape. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so you carry on going all the way down. It's one of my favourite ways of sewing, but, yeah, it's taken a while for me to get it into my head. <laughs> oh, when I had the moment, the, the eureka moment. So I've, is, uh, there's a lady on... Um, I think she was on YouTube, Carol Doak. She's done lots of books on FPP. And so I followed her and she taught, and I was like, oh, that's how you do it. And it was, <laughs> once you get it, you've got it. Yeah, it's just like, a, literally like a light bulb. It is. And I have to say that ruler really oh, yeah, made the difference. Does, yeah. Really made the difference. So yeah. um, I, I don't know if we've got them on the website, but I know we have had them previously. There's a 12 inch version and a six inch uh, version, which you might be able to find. But yeah, at a quarter it's called. Yeah. So you just carry going all the way down, press your seam. So you carry on and then trim, oh, I'll just trim this one again. Perfect. So as you can see, repetitive um, nature, but after you've done maybe three or four, you just can, you can you put can your audio book on or your music on and just sew. That's it. <laughs> Absolutely. It's one of the most satisfying ways of sewing. And of course, because of the technique, it means that everything lines up so, so well. Yeah, exactly. So you just carry on piecing all your, your panel. Lovely. So you end up like this. So as I say, I did one at a time, or you can follow the pattern on the, the picture so that they run around so that will carry on with the yellow and the orange nice. all the way around yeah. for the third. Okay, so I haven't got a long enough mat or ruler to cut this oh, properly. Let me, get you one? let me get you one. I We've should got have said. Oh, all right. Oh, sorry, making a noise there. I do apologise. Let me swap that round for you. Lovely. Let's get rid of that one. There you go, my darling. Thank you. Oh, get rid of that. There we go. I'll just use this ruler for now. So, right, so when you trim these down. Do you want a longer ruler? Yeah, is that possible? Yeah, Sorry. I can get you along. So as I said, you've got the seam allowance both on the sides, but not on the ends. So what you're going to do, if I just trim this down with this ruler, this is fine. I should have just grabbed the early bird one, shouldn't I? Really? <laughs> not thinking. There you go. Lovely. Right, so you're going to trim down. So line up a quarter inch line on your ruler with that quarter inch line on your paper. Mind your fabric at the top, because I've had many an accident that <laughs> way. <laughs> and then just trim off both your sides. Nice, sharp, rotary uh, yeah, blade as well. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It's like when you first put that blade in, the first cut is like, oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there you go. So you've got a nice trimmed edge. Mm -hmm. And then the length. So when you sew them together, you're going to use a three eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay. So I'm just going to line up my three and an eighth, three eighths mark on the ruler with that point there, mm -hmm. so that and I'm the sure. Yeah. Okay. So that will be, so it's nice and sharp. 
Sometimes this works, to be honest. Sometimes it doesn't. I haven't, don't know why. But okay. <laughs> so we're going to... So you've got three eighths of a cinnamon ounce there when you sew them together. And then if you measure 14 and a half inches. Ooh, let me move that a minute. Oh, shall I eke yeah, out a bit? There we go. There Sorry. Go. 14 and a half inches. So from that line. So because when you, you jo actually join these two templates together along the, there, and if you don't do it really accurately, the template doesn't measure exactly oh, okay, 14 yeah. and a half inches. You see, I've got a little bit of extra fabric there. So I found that if I actually trim that first and then definitely measure 14 and a half inches oh, I see. from, from that, that one, end, then you know that it's right. Then you know that that panel's 14 and a half inches. Perfect. Right. Lovely. So then once you've done that, don't take the papers out first. We're going to sew the panel together. Okay. So you've got a thin strip. So you've got your two panels. Well, I'll Okay, so you've got your two panels. I'll just show you how to put these together because then I can show you the rest bit. So you've got your thin panel at the top, your geese panel, the medium panel in the middle, your trimmed other geese panel there, and then your bottom seam there. Perfect. Okay, so just make sure there's about a quarter of an inch difference between your top and bottom panels. So make sure you've got those two the right way around. Right, so it's kind of, and I suppose yeah. you've got the illustration, haven't you, on your, um, yeah, your it's packaging that's going to yeah, help you. Exactly. So yeah, ultimately that's the, the, the bag, sorry leaning across you there, that's oh, the bag yeah. that we're creating if you have just tuned in. Lovely. Yep, yeah, so place that face down and then if you turn it over and, be, and then pin it, then you can follow the sewing line on the paper to sew them together. I quite often like the, um, using pins in this scenario because they're almost like pretend stitches. Yeah. Uh, you can almost fold it back on that line and know the result that you're going to get. Yeah. yeah, yeah, rather than the clips. Yes, yeah, because yeah, you can't mean. really do it with yeah. clips. So, no. yeah. Reminds me, I do need to get some more pins. <laughs> We do forget sometimes that they do blunt over Well, time. needles, hand needles as well. You're always yeah. changing machine needle, but you don't really, it doesn't occur to you to change your Absolutely. hand. It does make a difference. I did buy some new ones last week. I was like, ooh, this makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> it's going through smoother. <laughs> right, so then you're going to sew down that seam and then sew them all together so you end up with a panel like that. Perfect. Okay. So when you've sewn your panel together, as I've done with this, you've got... Um, I think 16 and by 22 inch wadding, half a metre of wadding. Okay, yeah. You would need. Um, so place that on the wadding, pin it in place, and then I've machine stitched. So I've trimmed this, so it won't be as neat as this, but I've just machine stitched, um, quilted, echo, uh, stitch in the ditch down each side okay. of the seam. Yeah. Increase your stitch length to about three, so you get a nice big I like stitch that look. for a decorative. Yeah. yeah. So I've done. Stitching the dish down there and then one down the middle. Perfect. And then I've used the size of the, the width of the um, walking foot as a guide oh, right. against okay. each line yes, yeah. and carried it on. So they're nice, even parallel lines. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then when you've done your two panels, trim them down to 14 and a half by nine and a quarter. Yeah. So you've got your two. And then, so that's your two outer panels, your two inner panels. And so this is, this is the pocket. I, that was a lovely surprise looking inside <laughs> and finding those a little tiny one for things like your pens and stuff like that. So you've end. got, um, I've done a tall one and a small one. Okay. So you've got a tall one which is perfect for your pens or a short one, as you said, for your envelopes of EPP. So cutting again is all instructions are in the panel, uh, in the pattern. Sew them together and then you're going to, they're doubled over just to give them a bit of extra strength. Lovely. Just to give you a time check, we've got about 15 Ooh. minutes or so. Okay, so I've lost me run out of pins. <laughs> to recycle. That's them. what I get for tidying my pin cushion. It's a really cute little pin cushion that I have as well. I know, I had it at the show. It was to, I did a wrap once and it was just to fit inside a craft wrap. Aww. The easiest, to, like just a two half square triangles. <laughs> Not something that you think of making all the time, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah, they can be quite creative, can't they? Lovely. 
Okay. Um, incidentally, details are on your screen. Just if you're wondering what we are actually creating, this is your flying geese um, pouch. So just as um, stitching those pockets or getting them prepared, this is what you're going to be creating with this particular kit. So you've got all of the um, instructions and the pattern as well as the fabric to create your outer panels with all those fabulous um, pieced um, geese that you've got on there. Not your traditional quilting, it's done with your foundation piecing. So a nice project for you to learn how to do foundation work. We've also got the pockets on the inside and this is where Louisa is preparing the fabric to create these. And these are brilliant for any of your little crafty bits and pieces in there. And because of the size of this being 14 inches across and nine inches high, you've got good size in there if you wanted to put things like your smaller quilting rules in there, which I think is a brilliant idea. I need the iron again. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I did unplug oh, you. Yeah. All right. Oh, I thought you'd fine. finished with your iron. Sorry. I I thought I'll move it out of the way. because. So I was going to say, actually, you can make your pockets as big and small as you want to. You've got plenty of fabric in there. Mm -hmm. So again, you've got 10 inch squares. Is that interfacing yeah. you in there as yeah. well? So does that come in the kit? I didn't know no. that in the no. kit. Oh, right. Okay. Right. I think we have got some on the show. So if you do need your medium weight iron on, then you can do. I don't know how hot that is. That's all right. That's all right. So, yeah. So I've just put them right sides together, folded them half, sewn across the top of the seam. And then just for an extra bit of body, I've just added a bit of iron on interfacing. Oh, just to give them a bit of stability. Yeah. There so we go. Just going to press that. Way. On there. So yeah, so when you're working out your um, pocket sizes, you just need to make sure that the two at the end are one and three quarters. Okay. Just so that, as you see, that it's got a box bottom, so they yes. kind of go. Oh, I see. They accommodate around that. the corners, but then the rest of them you can make big or small or as many as you want. Really. Lovely. So press that onto there, and then we're going to turn that the right side out. Oops. Gently, she says, <laughs> in a rush. I was doing a lot of turning through yesterday and I got very, very kind of... Well, you need one of them... Oh, what do they used to have on sewing quarters that Hannah will know? They use them in surgery. Oh, forceps. Oh, I've yeah, some the of four, those, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was using, I've got those, but I've, for some reason I picked up a knitting needle and oh. went straight through the fabric. <laughs> oh, and no. I, I could hear my voice, my own voice, telling people <laughs> not to do it. But, yeah. <laughs> Just grab the first thing sometimes. We're very bad, aren't we? <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> right, so press that. The seam's nice and flat. Lovely. Press that again. I love the way that those colours sit next to yeah, each other. I, I kind of try to keep it in the rainbow. Yeah. Not sure. Um, and all your fabrics, you don't have to go looking for your fabrics because they're all within the kit. Which is nice. Well, that's the thing about kits. It's like, that's I mean, what in I love the, a kit, yeah. the world of today when you shouldn't be buying more than you need or you don't yes, need, or yeah. maybe, you, everything's in the kit for you. So if you wanted a fat quarter, you wanted all this array of colours, you'd have to buy 10 fat quarters. You only point. need a 10 inch square. And so. also to get the same fabrics, because that's the other thing. Don't forget these fabrics are all from the same kind of manufacturers. Yeah. They're the same weight, they're the same weave. They're the same kind of colour palette as in tonally correct. So for you to actually go off and find all of those different colours, it's quite time consuming to go and collect all of the bits and pieces that you need. That's why I'm saying, um, if you do want to shop for the pattern, obviously you can do, but the fact that you've got everything in in there and don't forget the pattern by itself I think you're potentially looking at 13.99 so if you take that off then everything is there you're making your pouch first pouch for 20 pounds but then it's a case of you've got everything there to go on and create many many more of these which you will do and obviously Louise has given her blessing that once you've shopped for this and you bought it and you've made your first one replicate that template I've got a friend Jan who has it's been very quiet this morning okay she normally <laughs> well that could be our tech technical things oh, to be fair yeah um, she's so this was a, actually a project in my subscription box oh and now um, oh, okay. so yes yeah, so I have a this. it's um, a mystery piece of subscription box so it's a mystery so you don't know what you're getting oh okay it has just gone quarterly it was six a year now it's gone down to four a year okay um, but you get a lovely box every quarter of fabric and a pattern and all the bits that you need to go with it. And this one was very popular. And as I say, Jan has made Not a few. Surprised. So um, people were asking, and because I've always brought my own, so this is like very well used. Is that the original? Very well loved. Oh. Look at the state of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got everything in there. That's brilliant. So because I use that at shows, people like us. So it was about time that I kitted it, really. So oh, there you go. Glad you did. So the right. This is the lining. I've okay. just backed it again with a bit of iron-on interfacing hasn't stuck very well. Is that iron? Probably because I unplugged it. It's oh, taken a little right. while for it to get back. 
Okay, so you're going to measure. Where did I put? Oh, sorry, I've got the ruler over here. Right. <laughs> Trying to make a bit more space. <laughs> I'm running out of space. Oh, my fault. Know, sorry. <laughs> okay, so you're going to measure. Let me move that so you've got it flat. See, I'm trying to help. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> Two inches from the bottom. So because, again, because you've got a box bottom, you don't want your pockets right down the bottom. Okay. So that will take into um, thing the, That's a good the point, box actually, bottom. Yeah, because you might not think of that. Yeah. I've top stitched the fold, the edge that wasn't the seam line. Mm -hmm. So that's just the top of your pockets. And then you're going to line up your bottom of your pockets along that two inch line. So there's two inches there. So we're going to pin that in place like so. Fabulous. Just having a look. Oh, it looks like we're, we're, we're up and Are we're working lying. again. <laughs> it keeps, yeah, it's been very, very yeah. tricky this morning. I know how frustrating it is. Shall we blame the weather, shall we? Oh, well, yes, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I know we've been trying to do as much as we can at this end, but it's, it's difficult to know. But yeah, good morning to everyone. I, know, I can see that there's a, a little message there from Carol saying good morning. I don't, I don't know when you said good morning. I'm assuming oh. it was today. <laughs> the way that it is at the moment, it could have been a week ago, to be <laughs> fair. <laughs> Okay, so again, you're just going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance, that in place, so down the sides and along the bottom. So that's your bottom of your pockets that's securing. That's all your goodies for yeah. you now, which is good. My seam's not very neatly folded there i apologize seen with personality <laughs> <laughs> i always say when it's not quite right it looks fine to me i have to say <laughs> and then up the side and then you can then um, stitch in the ditch down all the seams perfect to separate your pockets and i would also then Pop one down that seam, so you've got two thinner ones ah, for pens okay. or nice. and pickers and all sorts of things yes. you can put in there. Can't so you? then that's the one side, and that's okay. the other side. So that's just with the shorter Does pockets. It look, I mean, it just looks so lovely, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is where the fun starts. Okay, zip. Have we finished with this? Shall I move this out? Uh, yes, I think so. Lovely. I'll give you a bit more space. <laughs> right now, I might have to refer to my own instructions here. <sighs> Right, so start off, so you've got your 18 inch zip. I apologise for people, not apologise, well, I do apologise. Um, the original pattern that I had last year and that's still available on the website says a 22 inch zip. You don't need a 22 inch zip, okay. you just need an 18 inch zip. I, I, I as standard, standard, buy 18 inch di um, zips because they cover for all eventualities. Yeah, so I mean the 22, yeah. And you don't have to go shopping for your, your zip because it's in your kit, so don't yeah, worry. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to start, so where see the zip there just runs off the top so you've got a nice end to get hold of at that end okay. and then it just comes as a natural close on the top so Lovely. this is how we're going to do this hopefully <laughs> oh, we're okay we've got what what sort of time have we got charlie just to give you the long so you've got seven minutes seven minutes okay that's fine okay <laughs> very high pitch, so. <laughs> <laughs> right so we're gonna just line the end of the zip up just in from the edge okay, and turn the, the end up at a V. Yeah. So basically, ow, that gives you that seam there, okay. takes you to the front. And then you're going to run, so it's face down the zip, run mm -hmm. it across the top, and then you're going to line up one of your panels on top. Make sure you've got the bottom the right way up. Yep. Oh, yes. <laughs> I have. That's a good thing to mention. <laughs> yeah. And then... Oh, I haven't got as many clips as I thought. So I'm just going to clip those two together. I don't know if you've got any spares. So I can see some pins. We're not supposed to take things off the shelf. Oh, don't we? worry. I don't want to wreck. <laughs> I don't want to be accused of wrecking them. <laughs> I've got a little box of bits down here. That's all right. I've, I've pins, put a couple no of clips. I've got a couple of pins in. Okay, so there we go. So I'm just going to connect the zipper foot. Lovely. 
Um, incidentally, everything that Louisa is working with, bar the stabiliser that she used on the pockets, is included within your kit. And, that's and you need a bit of wadding as oh, well. Oh, a little bit of wadding if you're wanting to as well. Oh, we've had a message come through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and good morning, ladies. As always, loving your demonstration, Louisa. Thank you. Oh, and that's from the lovely Annette, I think it was. Oh, hello, Annette. Oh, another one. Jenny um, in Lincolnshire. Um, uh, yay, got the kit. Love the colours of this one. Fab demo, as always. Thank First time you. I've worked with Louise, but isn't she fabulous? <laughs> <laughs> I can't find the zipper book, so we'll pretend. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh don't worry. Dear. I'll well, just change the machine, is it? So, no. yes. and I'll just change the position of the needle. There we go. Okay, okay so we're just going to sew across the top of the zip. So make sure you, your side of your foot is hitting the side of the teeth. Okay. Okay. I mean, this is just general bag construction, but because. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, well, no, but to, to be fair, though, I mean, this technique it, it is a technique that you made by the kit for because you want to learn how to do the flying geese. So you, if you're not a bag maker, you might not have inserted So it. I've ended, I've opened the zip slightly. When I get to the point where the zip's going to get in the way, I'll just close the zip again so that the head is gone and you can go, you won't get a wobbly seam, hopefully. <laughs> I'm full of confidence, can't you tell? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're, doing, you're doing a grand job. Um, just to mention as well, we have had some kind of little technical um, issues this morning. So, yeah, we are working on it. I've got, I've got my, um, my tablet going. We're fine on TV if you're watching on TV. Um, via social media, Facebook, we're OK. I think our website's having a little bit of a meltdown at the moment, so apologies for that. It's just very snowy if you're watching on the website, and you'll know what I'm talking about if you see that. Um, but yeah, we are um, on Facebook, so yeah, you can That's the great thing, it's YouTube, on YouTube yeah. forever. Yeah, I'm on yeah. YouTube forever. Yeah, YouTube. <laughs> when you want to, you want to But then the normal, the big telly, you know, like the big telly that's in the corner of the living room. <laughs> the telly. The big telly. The that, big old fashioned box. I know. <laughs> I, don't, I so rarely watch the actual TV anymore. It's there strange, you know. isn't it? <laughs> okay, so there you go, there's your zip. Right, now I've got to... <laughs> I've forgotten. No, but I think it's always good because the instructions are there to help. Oh, I've forgotten one bit. Sorry. That's OK. Yes, yeah, so follow the instructions as you Have go. We to, is it retrievable? Right, so what you would need to do is mark an inch line on your fabric there. OK. Sew to that point and then before you sew to the end, just pull your zip away. From oh, so the it doesn't go off the edge. So that gives you that little edge there. Got you. OK. So it's, it's kind quite of important, that bit. That's OK. <laughs> don't because yeah, well, that means because that will move out the way then yeah. when you come to do your exactly. construction things. Yeah. So that's OK. Don't yeah. worry too much. So we'll just that. do. Yeah. So pretend that that's not yeah. like that. And then again, you do the same to your so the same on the opposite side. Now, um, time-wise, we've only got a couple of minutes left on the show. So obviously, um, it's quite a complex project, which we'd like to... Well, not complex. It's, it's, just, it's fine it's if you time. follow the instructions. And also, <laughs> we've only given you half an hour, really. Yeah. You're not going to give yourself half an hour to complete this. So tell you what, thank you for everything that you've shown. Um, you've, you've given us so much fabulous tuition. And the, the beauty is it's all within yes, the instructions. Yeah. That is the key. There's thing plenty of well. photos. Absolutely. That... But I want to make sure that you guys have the opportunity to get hold of these because obviously it's, it's a little bit different today things aren't running as, as they would normally do but louisa do we know when you're due back again february the 16th i will look forward to it because i hope that i do get to work with you oh, again. So no, have I a lovely think, christmas right? and happy new and year you, well it seems a bit bonkers saying that i know it's the first of december we're allowed. It is allowed. allowed so yeah thank you for everything <laughs> you. and i'll sure you agree uh so everything as everybody has been reiterating louisa what a fabulous tutor uh, <laughs> fabulous teacher and fabulous kit put her together uh, <laughs> because she's done everything so so well so the patch that we've been just looking at is that fabulous rainbow patch in your kit you are going to get everything that you need so you've got your fabulous box that's going to come to you with all your goodies in there and the beauty is it's all there ready to go so you've got that zip that lovely bright orange zip you've got your gorgeous 10 um, inch square pieces and of course you've got your lining fabric as well as your outer fabric full instructions as well as your template and your template you can go on and replicate that because you will stitch through that um, but with Louise's blessing you can um, replicate that as well I forgot to ask Louise can we make and sell what we've created using your kits yes yeah 
perfect. That's lovely. As it's long as you're not, yeah. I mean, yeah. if you can credit me or that it's a pattern by some. Oh yeah, it give you but kind yeah. of like the. Uh, yeah. What do they call, call it? Um, thanks to or something yeah. like that, don't you? So it's, it's, <laughs> who the designer is, that's the key thing. So it's just that that. So yeah, that one is your rainbow single figures left with regards to that one. The Ditsy Floral is another option that you've got, and this has got that beautiful small repeat print fabric that you've got within there, which is gorgeous. And again, everything that you need with those beautiful flowers featuring in there as well absolutely beautiful so there you go everything included again 33.99 if you want in that particular version another way that you can get hold of the pattern though is if you do want to go down the route of pattern by itself i say by itself it's not by itself because you're going to get your template in there as well so if you've got fabrics just itching to be used and with regard to those little um, pieces there i mean you could get this is a scrap buster isn't it it's making something incredibly useful out of those little tiny pieces that you've got left over from projects so that one is the pattern by itself again 10 pounds brilliant value for money make sure you get hold of that and do go and check out youtube as well go and find um lovely louisa because uh, yeah so motion her company name go checking um those, those out because there's loads of ideas tuition tutorials so yeah go and have a little look at that and hopefully you'll be able to tune in in February when we're expecting Louisa back. Now you just need to check out your baskets with anything that you're ordering, especially if you're going down that rainbow route of the patch. And I will see you the other side of this with the lovely Kerry after the break. See you in a bit. Hi, I'm Jo Carter and I'm a soft toy designer and I quilt as well. I've been sewing for as long as I can remember. My great grandma, my nana, my mum all sewed, and so it's something I grew up around. If I was to give some advice to a new sewer, somebody who wanted to try it, um, that would be to watch a few tutorials, but then to just give it a go. Um, and try not to focus on achieving the perfect end result. Instead, at first, oh, well, always focus on enjoying the process and learning a new skill. So, so those perfect results will come in time, but developing a love for sewing, I think is a really great way to go. And a tip I've been given that I still use today is make sure you have plenty of seam rippers. It's frustrating enough if you have to remove some stitches, but then if you can't lay your hands on a seam ripper and you have to hunt around for one, that makes it doubly frustrating. Um, so yes, plenty of seam rippers would be my um, go-to tip. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, 
sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. there how are you doing it's good to have your company i'm kind of obscured by a sewing machine a little bit at the moment but there is a reason for that because of course we are back with living in loveliness and the fabulous and lovely kerry herself is back with us how are you doing kerry i'm very well thank you how are you i'm very well and all the better for seeing all of these wonderful panels and kits that you've put together <laughs> we've been very busy haven't we <laughs> you have indeed but everything that you do has a place in your sewing group yes. or around your home or when you go into your classes and workshops and I absolutely love this idea so there is a reason for a sewing machine being in front of me because if you take a little look at what I'm looking at you can see I have got this sewing machine mat here and at the bottom I've got this fabulous little pouch here which you can actually use for um, putting all your different bits and pieces in there as well so uh, yeah absolutely brilliant which i love and the beauty is this is very clever because i'm actually going to fold up here to show you so i'm going to fold that up like so i am going to take my sewing machine out of the way and i am going to fold and i am going to roll my fabulous mat and then i can go off on my travels how amazing is that? It's such a brilliant design. All put together by the lovely Kerry and I think it's just ingenious. I mean, Kerry, this is just the, the height of portability, isn't it? <laughs> I do like portability because <laughs> I'm all over the place at the moment and oh, bless you know what you. it's like if your stuff isn't secure in there. But also, I'm doing a lot more classes so it's important to have the mat yes. just to stop that little bit of bouncing on some of the Absolutely. tables that we've this got This needs to be places. one of those first classes that you teach, really. Yes. It? you know everybody has got one <laughs> yeah but oh wouldn't it look lovely if everybody all had coordinating oh, ones amazing but also as well it's important because when you go to classes and workshops or anywhere in life in, in in general that if you haven't got everything that you need you feel like a fish out of water yeah. don't you <laughs> um and this you could have set up you could 
could be things that you're taking out of your sewing room. You can indeed just have this in your sewing room, couldn't you, with your sewing machine on there and off you go, just to fold and roll it and take it off on your travels with you wherever you're going. Um, but so I think the beauty is you know everything is in there and you've got storage at the back there for things like your rotary cutters, big size pockets, pockets for your scissors, things for your, uh, your, your pens and all your different bits and pieces. You can even kind of clip things, as you can see here. Put your safety pins in there. I've always got a few clips always, on everything, actually. They're always useful <laughs> to have, aren't they? But the beauty is you literally will fold it and roll it and it in a heartbeat it is ready for you to take off on your travel such a brilliant idea beautiful project and one that i know you are going to get a lot of use from as you are working and you're doing all of your fabulous sewing um, in different environments so this could be that you only get to sew maybe in the kitchen or something like that don't have a dedicated space and then uh, yeah when it comes to feeding everybody literally i just love doing the folding and rolling you mean doing... you mean you move it all out the way when people want to sit at the yeah. table <laughs> <laughs> you actually do that oh you're a better woman than me then that doesn't have <laughs> to make the meat around it <laughs> I love it. Now, the beauty is we've got lots of choice with regards to these as well. So if you like the look of this beautiful Tilda fabric, then we have got a kit that's available for you featuring exactly that. And you have got exactly what you need within here. So you're going to get your pattern. You're going to get all of your beautiful fabrics. It's the equivalent of four fat, well, actually, it's four fat quarters that you're going to get within there. And these are all coordinated. So you've got your fat quarters, which you can see featuring at different points within here. And you're also going to get your solid, which is that gorgeous kind of almost like cross light formation that you've got with this. You've got your illustration there so you can see what you're, you're achieving. You can look back at that at any time that you like. And of course, the beauty is you've got all of the information that you need in there, the layout, how everything is going to come together. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. All the information that you need is in there. And it's nice because you're almost taking your workspace with you wherever you go. Yes. Everything that you're familiar with is there. Um, and it's like, right, I'm ready now. I've got all my kit. I'm ready. I'm ready to start. I've got the there. kit. <laughs> the time's a different thing, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't, yeah, can't factor in time, unfortunately. If you had that in a bottle, then we'd make a fortune. <laughs> so, yeah, your sewing mat organiser, as I say, that is your first of your options. I'm just going to move that out of the way just so we can show you those fabrics in their entirety because you might look at these and think, you know what? I like those. I'm going to use those on another project as well as the, the kit that we're looking at. So, your four fat quarters, beautiful tilde and then you've got your solid alongside it so absolutely beautiful put them all together and you've got a wonderful project that you are going to get lots of pleasure out of making but even more pleasure out of using as well so that is the beauty that you're going to be creating that fabulous mat with your storage area there all coming together for just £27.99, which I think is jolly good value for money. Just prepare yourself, because there'll be a lot of people saying, oh, could you just knock me up one of those? I mean, are we all right to make and sell these, Kerry, if we're making yes, them up? Yes, absolutely. Because that's something you'll need to know, because everybody will want one. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. That is the first of your options with regards to that one as well. Now, we have got a bundle, which is all oh, liberty, beautiful. So... Oh, look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. I just feel that this coordinates with a booklet, actually. It's very it's very relevant to the booklet, isn't it? Oh, the gosh. Colours. Oh, yeah, very much so. <laughs> very much. So here you go. You've got your four fat quarters featuring, as you can see here, really pretty prints. And then, of course, you've got your solids, which we spoke of previously as well, because that's going to go on the back there. Again, you are going to get your full instructions. Obviously, this is a different colourway. But if you are wanting to go down that paler route, maybe with a little bit of purple in there, that gorgeous um, kind of tealy tone, which for me is a liberty kind of colour, then absolutely brilliant to go for it, all for just £29.99. So that is your second option um, for you to create your organised workshop kit, which um, I have to say is something that you potentially will be finding yourself using a lot of. I know, Kerry, you were talking about doing lots of classes and workshops next year. So, yes, yeah, getting... got a very exciting year ahead yeah. of us next year. So, yeah, this is the thing. I think a lot of people now, we're getting out and about a lot more than we used to, didn't we? We've got spent a few years when we couldn't go anywhere and now it's like way the rains are off it's gone crazy <laughs> who'll have us who'll have us <laughs> it, yeah well, i can go anywhere once <laughs> <laughs> can't go back again. I Do you not like revisiting the same place? No, I'm usually not allowed back. Oh. 
<laughs> but there we go, it's a different story. <laughs> or twice, once to go, second to apologise. Oh, really? <laughs> That's the other word. I love um, it. So, yeah, do check out Kerry's classes and workshops on her website as well. But this is going to be the perfect way for you to take all the kit that you need when you arrive. And just if you have joined us, you've got that area for your sewing machine. And then, of course, all your fabulous tools are going to literally going to fold and roll. And there you go, out the way, ready for you to take wherever you need to as well. Now, another colourway for you as well, um, if you're wanting to go down the moon and the stars route. We're going very celestial with this one. I love it. Oh, look at that with that gorgeous foil fabric on there. That is pretty. I like it. It's kind of got a, a, an essence of Japanese uh, about it, like that one. Little tiny stars featuring on there. So we're kind of dipping our toe into the celestial world. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So that one is featuring there as a second fat quarter. Um, Lewis and Irene, I think we've got with these ones, if I remember rightly. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. All three, sorry, all four of those as your fat quarters. And then you've got your plane, which of course is going to go on the back and uh, kind of break up different areas of it. Again, needless to say, you are going to get your pattern in there as well. So you are going to be able to make yours up according to the instructions there. Fully comprehensive, as you can see there. So lots and lots of information, which uh, is key. And also the opportunity for you to check out... Um, little videos and stuff like that that are going to help you. So there you go. Fancy getting hold of that one, then you can do. But we have got one last option, which I've left over there. Another Lewis and Irene one. Oh, got it. <laughs> Purple or, or hyacinth lilac. I don't know what you would call it, actually, but it's a lovely kind of tones of purple and lavender. Beautiful. So on this one, you can see you're going to get all of your fabrics again. You've got your fabrics, your, um, you've got your half, not half, try again, fat quarters, four fat quarters, and then your half metre there as well. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the equivalent of uh, one and a half metres of fabric, really, isn't it? In there. So, my organiser, again, full illustration with your photograph there. Everything is exactly the same as we spoke of. It's personal choice, though, isn't it? So which of those fabrics you choose to go for. Or you might be looking at these and thinking, actually, I love that palette, but I've got a little... Um, you might already have a daisy... Um, sorry, a pansy fabric that you're thinking, oh, that'd work well with that one and kind of interchange them. Or you might have something else or you think, oh, that would be perfect for a little project for somebody. Um, and then, yeah, there you go. So there you go. That is your last option with regards to your kits. But what about if you're wanting to shop for the pattern by itself? Well, we have got that as an option for you too. So there you go. £9.99, brand new today. First time that we have brought this one to you and it's proving to be incredibly popular as well. Learning new skills with these because you're going to be learning blocks. So if I open up the one that we've got in the studio here and just kind of talk you around it. When you look at this, oh, I've opened it the wrong way around. There we go. You've got kind of that block there. So you can see that almost it's framed. And then you've got the block in the centre there as well. And you're just going to repeat that. In fact, you're repeating the block itself and you'll be able to see that kind of cross light formation that you're creating. That is replicated across the whole body there. And then obviously you're making your pocket, which is going to go on there as well. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a repetitive. Once you've learned how to create that block, you're well on your way. And that's exactly what Kerry is going to be sharing with us in this hour. So uh, yeah, that is your project to start with. Flip and fold, and there you go. Off you go. Whoops. So flip and fold. I think it's the same instructions for a burrito, to be fair. <laughs> um, but probably other, other um, ways as well. A fajita. There's all sorts of things you could flip and roll with, really, couldn't you? <laughs> Gymnastics, maybe, even, but... I'm a bit rusty on the old gymnastics, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, Kerry, this is a fabulous project as well. I love this. I bet this is going to be a popular one with our viewers. Fabulous. Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed making this one and I'm trying to get myself nice and organised for next year and be more ready than I feel I am any other <laughs> years. How it goes after today, I don't know. <laughs> we will, we will say. Now, you're working with the Liberty version. I am, yes. Okay. And it's just fabulous. The colours look beautiful. So I'm just wondering, in my little roll there, do you have a fabric pen? I'm scooting around looking for it. Ooh. Is it in the fold and roll? Um, oh, in here? Is it in there? Have I left Ooh, it in I'll there? Have... I'm, I'm just looking so. around. I forgot to look in here. Oh, dear. Um, oh, oh, I've don't got know. one here. You got one. Oh, I don't know. Bound to be oh, I think I have got one. There's bound to be one around me, isn't there? 
Okay, so nice and easy. We've got some nice, easy little blocks in here. They are small pieces, which is lovely. Um, and it's quite nice to play uh, with your fabrics as well. Okay. So what we'll start with, so this little section here <coughs> that we've got in a corner comes together really nice and easy. So what I tend to do, now you are repeating this uh, three times, so you've got three blocks in your mat in, okay. in, to in total. Lovely. Um, and you are going to repeat. We do a lot of repetition in here. So what I'll start by doing is I'm just going to take these four little squares. Lovely. And all I'm going to do is to just sew them together, top part and bottom part. Fabulous, nice and easy. We like easy. I'm all for easy. Now, of course, if you've got your quarter inch foot, use your quarter inch foot. It certainly helps with little projects, especially when they're so tiny as yes, well. Nice point. little pieces. Mm -hmm. So I'll do a couple of these, actually. I'll just grab the others because I can keep it chain piece in there. Wonderful. So I've got a few of those. And Let's anybody that's new together. to sewing, because I know we have people dipping in all the time. When you're doing this continual sewing that Kerry's doing at the moment, sometimes it's a real save, um, time saver, especially with small pieces of sewing. And it's called chain piecing. And it saves a lot of your thread as well. It does. I'm all for saving thread. Yeah. Now, obviously, all the instructions are going to include things like your seam allowance and the sizes that you're cutting and things like that. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. That's all included in there. Um, so uh, if you uh, do want to get hold of the instructions, you'll have everything that you need in there. Oh, I've got a little tickle. <clears throat> that happened to me earlier. <laughs> I could feel it coming. Mm. It's that time of year, though, isn't it? It is, it is. I think the heating goes on and it's kind of like your skin and your throat all seems to yeah. dry, doesn't it? So, yeah, it does make a difference. Now, as Kerry's making all these little pieces, um, have you got uh, quite a few of these to do, Kerry? Or I have got quite a few to do. What I just want to show you, if it's OK, is just how we put these together. Now, okay. in our pattern booklets, what we like to do is we put a lot of diagrams, even where you're pressing your seams as well. Okay. So really nice and easy to put this little one across. So on, on mine, what I'm doing here, based this is the letter A for me in my pattern. Okay. I'm just pushing all the seams over to A on each of these. And then this will just allow those to... Um, nest together nicely. Fabulous, it's kind of getting things ready for the next stage. Like it. Like a production line. <laughs> That's so, it. As you can see here, now in the pattern booklet, I recommend two pins, but actually, when you're doing your pressing like this, it does come together. And again, these are quite small pieces, so you can feel those. There isn't going to be much movement. So, I perhaps wouldn't even bother pinning these. But if you, you know, if you prefer the pinning, because some people really enjoy that stage. So if you enjoy that, then take your time to pin those. So I'll just go ahead and do that with those other little blocks, right. if you like. We've got so many other kits and things to share with people. I thought, well, if you're doing the same yep. repeated, it makes sense for me to show everybody as well. Um, so this is the key thing. Um, now, one thing I haven't told you about, I think we told you about loads and loads of different um, kits and things. There's just one thing I've not shown you yet, and that is this fabulous little thread catcher. So the idea behind this is you've got your weighted pin cushion, which is removable if you want it to. Still weighted as a base there, so everything is going to stay put if you do take this with you now the actual um, element that we've got we've not got a kit for this one we've just got the pattern so you can create your fabulous little kind of pouch that drops off the um, edge of your counter to catch your thread so those loose little bits and your pin cushion which is close to hand as well which is brilliant nice as well for your overlocker as well it can actually sit underneath your overlocker if you wanted to and use it in that way as well so there you go just as well to clean my shoes isn't it um, so <laughs> if you want to create your thread catcher you're going to need a, an instruction booklet and that's exactly what we've got here so you've got everything that you need in there so full instructions there mentioning a few of the different bits and pieces that you need so a couple of fat quarters piece of foam in there and also things like your threads your heat erasable pen stuff like that all in there that are going to help you including something like your walnut shells that are going to actually create that weight and also create that pin cushion as well now, we have got some pellets that are available that will do exactly the same job. So if you wanted to get hold of these, they're going to add that weight. Um, and the beauty is that that means it straight away you've got everything that you need. But the pattern itself, I'm going to open the pattern up just so as I can show you. Because something that Kerry does is she includes those instructions that really, really do explain. So if you've never bought one of Kerry's 
kits before or patterns, then it's just to put your mind at rest because it's good to know. So you will always get something along the lines of these booklets. And the booklets have got loads and loads of photos in there showing you what you're uh, achieving at the end, the end result, but also how you get there, all the different stages. And with this one, you can do a little bit of reverse applique, which is nice as well. So absolutely brilliant. All there, detailed, loads of photos. So you're never going to feel as if you are on your own. In addition to that, you've got kind of a read through. So make sure that you're having a little read of that because it'll give you hints and tips as you go. And you have got your full size pattern. And this is important. You haven't got to take it off and go and get um, photocopies done or anything like that. Everything is there at the exact same size that you need. So you're ready to cut and go with all of these different pieces here. So uh, yeah, all there ready for you to create. So that is the beauty. It's all there. All you need to do is add in your fabric with that one. So uh, yeah, if you fancy getting hold of that, you can do. Details are on your screen. Also those pellets, we have found the details for the pellets. So if you want to get hold of the pellets, you're going to get a kilogram of those. I think it mentions about a kilogram. Yeah, a kilogram. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. It takes quite a lot. You wouldn't yeah. think for such a small little project yeah. that it would take so much weight. Yeah. Um, and it's going to weigh about a kilo, that. So uh, yeah, if you've already paid for your post and packing, then oh yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? Because you're not going to have to pay anything extra. So £5.99 if you fancy getting hold of those. And of course, you can add those into your basket alongside any of the other goodies that you've been shopping for as well. You all right over there, Kerry? You I'm all right, there? I'm all right. Right, in that case, I'll start mentioning... Just to mention, if I, if I oh, may, please. with the um, thread catcher, there is actually a two-part tutorial on our blog. Oh, is there? So because this is a returning pattern... Oh, OK, um, we, right. We haven't got around yet, yet, as to put in the QR code, like you'll see featuring lots yeah, of that. Yeah, I've started doing that on a lot of things. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah. so useful, isn't it? But you will find on our blog that there is a two-part so tutorial. So we just go to the website to find that? Yeah. Perfect. There you go. Thank you for that, because that's important. Yeah, cool. So there you go. That's how you find that. So what should we have a look at next, Hannah? The hot water bottle. I'm not surprised that hot water bottles have been uh, popular. So, um, oh, hold on. I think that's down here. So, I've got them here. We've chosen so. a good day to do hot water Absolutely. bottles, haven't we? <laughs> now, this is a brilliant set because what you've actually got is you've got, oh, let's move that out of the way because that's something else. Hot water bottle um, panel. So, we did have to, did you say the navy's gone now? Oh, sold out earlier on. So, got this lovely purple um, fabric here that's um, all been printed. And it's been printed because you've got all of your pieces there. But you've got less than 20 chances to get hold of this. It has previously sold back. Brought it back today because, to be honest, it's pretty nippy out there. And it's the right time of year, isn't it, to create your hot water bottle covers. You can see you've also got your eye mask in there at the bottom. So that's going to be coordinating. And you've got two different fabrics. So dare I say, if you're a frugal crafter and you introduce some of your own fabrics, you could make two eye masks with those, using those as your outer fabrics. You've also got a lovely circle just to the side of where the eye masks are. And that's for personalisation, potentially, if you're wanting to put letters, a pleat letters, embroider letters on there, or you could be using the pattern and creating the fabulous little flowers that we've got on the finished sample. Now it's all 100% cotton, so you've got quality through and through with that one. And of course that comes alongside your pattern, which means your pattern um, is going to help you create your fabulous little hot water bottle as well. And it's got a lovely kind of little kind of backing in there. 80-20, um, good wadding to go for, so uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. Nice project, that one as well. Do you well. know what I do with mine? I, I put mine on my... My mum always used to do this. Yeah. I always put mine on my... Just under my window in the car, so it helps defrost the car. That's a clever idea. And then when you get in the car... It's... it's... <laughs> That's a good idea. She always did it, and my husband's like, you do know the windows here? I'm like, really but it's quite nice. You make a cup of tea, make your hot water bottle up, helps with that, like, makes yeah. it a little bit faster when you finally do come That's to leave. That's a good idea. But it's the having it either on your lap or under your lap. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so there you go. Now, did we have another colour option of the, this one as well? Uh, blah, 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 blah. To your floral, to your floral. Oh, I don't know. I've got a reading cushion. Have I put it in the wrong place? It's bound to be here somewhere. I've just put it in the wrong place, haven't I? Oh, there it is. There it is. I've got it. So the teal version, so this is the one that's actually been, oh no it's not, it's the Liberty one that's been made of. Um, but same idea, you're going to be able to create your hot water bottle, you're going to be able to create your little um, eye mask there and this one, 
is similar to the one, the most similar that we've got to the one that we've got here. So let me just open that up for you. Again, fewer than 20 opportunities. Every panel today, I think I've opened upside down. <laughs> Chances of that, eh? So there you go. Look at those. Beautiful. Gorgeous um, little kind of florals that you've got with this one. Again, you've got your hot water bottle. You've got the outer as well as your lining. And, of course, you've got your eye masks there as well. So lovely kit. I think this would be a nice one. And I know it's a little way off yet, but even things like um, Mother's Day around March time, yeah. I think those two together. It's a proper little pamper kit, isn't it, I think, for a, a mum? A little hot water bottle. And It uh, definitely is for me, and I'm a mum, yeah. so... <laughs> and also as well, I mean, you've got time to make that up as a Christmas gift, haven't yeah. you? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. they're so speedy, aren't they? You know, they're really speedy yeah. little projects. I think that'd be nice to actually get a little hot water bottle um, and then, uh, yeah, all comes together. So there you go. If you fancy getting hold of that, £17.99, I think it's incredibly affordable because you'd be paying 9 99 easily for a pattern in its own right, wouldn't you? So to be able to get that panel that will enable you to create your hot water bottle cover and your eye masks, absolutely brilliant value so there you go um so here if you fancy getting hold of those please do so there are loads of other kits that we were sharing with you as well in the other shows so uh, yeah with regard to those things like your sofa caddy um i don't know if you saw the show earlier on for the sofa caddy we didn't touch on the reading cushion panel did we so uh, so the reading panel this one um it's a panel oh we did touch on it because i was reading the phrases wasn't i so yeah we did. It's just such a long time ago when we did it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's here very early. Um, so you've got a reading cushion here with your pocket that, as you can see there, all of these lovely phrases that are featuring here um, are all good fun because they all relate to uh, sewing. So happiness is a full bobbin. Um, so much fabric, so little time. Any day spent sewing is a great day. And the beauty is they are all featuring within there. And also as well, if you were to say reading cushion or, or try and find uh, fabrics for reading cushion, you could potentially struggle because they, they can tend to be kind of very children orientated don't know this one's a nice grown-up one and grown-ups do read as well so here we go this panel has got all of your components on there again so just make sure you keep those little reference points that are next to each of those pieces as you cut them out the large white area is if you're wanting to actually um, do any kind of quilting work on yours which you can do it means that you've got that to go behind your wadding and of course, so yeah, you can have loads of fun putting that one together as well. So that one is your purple option. So your purple option, your reading cushion, the details are on your screen. Um, I think we've got other versions of those as well. There's a, a kind of a teal version if you wanted that one. They're on the website because uh, Kerry's been left on her own too long. Oh, I'm quite happy. I'm Already just sewing along and doing it. She's gone very along, quiet. Over here. And as is the case, when you're at home <laughs> and you leave people in a room and it goes very quiet, it's like, what are they up to? This is the bit that Craig likes the most when I am quiet. Like, <laughs> that's that's so, his favourite time, <laughs> design time. <laughs> so, what are you up to? What are you doing over so there? So, all I've done is I've gone ahead and I've actually made up these little four corners here that we're repeating, um, you know, four times in here. So, oh, to okay. do this, I mean, this, this spearmint here is gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. All I've yeah. done is I've placed this part onto that little block of four there, sewn it, and I've pressed the seams into the block. Perfect. Then what I've done at the top here, so I have already gone ahead and done this little part, is I've sewn this section onto the larger strip. So you've got all your markings in there, and then I've pressed the seams. So always press the seams in opposite directions. That's my preferred method. Okay. And then just as I'm folding this across to the top, Again, you might want to slide some pins in at this stage. Um, your clips are great. Two pins are great when you're putting your little seams together because it stops that movement. But I'm just going to sew to finish this little corner. Lovely. Now, we have got social media active at the moment. Lovely Amanda has messaged through here as well. Everything's working. I'm not going to say it too loud because you know what will happen. It'll be my fault again. <laughs> uh, but so Amanda has said, good morning. Oh. Oh, I've clicked on it now. Good morning, Hayley and I've broken it already. Um, love Kerry's projects. Can't agree more. Um, I can't wait until February for the sewing retreat with Catherine. Ooh, oh, how I lovely. Um, oh, no. It'll be here before we know it. February will be, won't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm having surgery on the 21st, so hopefully I'll be able to manage it. So, yeah, you take care, Amanda. But We'll yeah. look after you. I can't we'll look after a better you. way for recuperating, actually, with a bit of sewing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is definitely the best bit. And you'll be amongst friends and as 
Kerry said that they'll look at Plenty it. tea and cake and... Oh, sounds good. I wouldn't want to move. <laughs> I'd bring a suitcase. Definitely. <laughs> oh, I, I absolutely intend to. <laughs> so this little section here that we're creating the stars on the, on the middle, I have already gone ahead and um, placed these pieces in. Uh, place these pieces ready. Okay. But what I'm doing is just taking these little squares... And I'm just going to draw a diagonal line on each of those. Okay, okay. And it just helps with your, um, you know, the line that you're sewing. So this is the sew line that I'm placing onto here now. Wonderful. Heat erasable pen for this? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't be without them. Okay. It's quite nice, actually, because normally I've got the wrong colour pen based on the fabric, but I'm working with light fabrics today. So <laughs> I work quite a lot with, well, I have done quite a lot with reds, obviously, with Christmas and... All I could find was my red pen, so it's quite oh, nice to, to have it nice away. and bold. So then what we're going to do is place them on. Now, we're working with a plain colour here, so it doesn't matter which way, but we are placing the um, Emily Bell fabric on top, pattern facing towards this. Lovely. So we'll sew those two together first of all. Perfect. All coming together nicely. It, do, it does come together. It's a nice, uh, nice little project, this is. And the look, wonderful thing is, once you've done it, you know, you've got it there to rest under your machine, haven't yes, you? Yes, yeah. I thought about keeping it nice and plain and just a big section, you know, with your showing machines on there. But actually, even, you know, if you're out at a class and you're deciding not to take this with you, it's just nice to have it looking pretty there, isn't it, on the side Absolutely. when you return. So I'll bring these back on top of each other and then we're doing the bottom pieces. So again, just placing these. You've got your diagrams in your booklet, popping them over the top. Again, you could pin them, but I tend not to with little pieces like this. And then we're just using that pen line to sew across. All those little pieces coming together. And the pieces make projects. And that's what I've got here. So. Just in case you're wondering, because obviously as you see in Kerry putting these little pieces together, you might be thinking, what on earth is she making? I didn't tune in at the top of the show. It looks interesting, all that piecework. Well, what she's creating is her latest pattern. Um, I, well, they're kits, actually, because you're actually getting fabrics through these as well. I've got the Tilda version here, and this is the one that's proven to be the most popular. Um, so lots of you are taking advantage of that. So you can see the idea being is you're creating this fabulous mat that your sewing machine will be able to sit on. But it gets even better than that because you've got this fabulous little pocket at the side here which has got loads of storage capabilities and the idea being is that this is what you're going to take on your classes and workshops when you start going out on those potentially in the new year so the idea is it's literally something you can flip and roll so if I move the machine out of the way you can see I flipped the pocket up there I'm just going to roll that pocket in like so with your hook and loop tape then you can just literally attach that like so and then off you go on your travels and that's it that's me going on my travels <laughs> you see me like that all the way around Red, it's just walking around like that on my travels. So the beauty is with this particular kit, for you to actually create this, you have got all of the beautiful Tilda fabrics that we're chatting about. So this is one of the most popular options that we've got. So you're going to get your instructions that Kerry's working from. You're going to get all of your gorgeous fat quarters, four of those. So they're all featuring there and a half metre of your plane. So you can see where these are all featuring within the design here, all coming together to create this fabulous project. And that's the beauty of this. For $27.99, I think you're making one of the most useful things you could have within your craft room. Because not only is it going to be useful when you are sewing at home, if you're going off to your classes and your retreats, then it is just one of those situations that you can take literally everything that you need um, that uh, you're wanting to. So uh, that's the thing. And I think that that is a true quote, I believe, from Hannah there. I think it was William Morris that actually said, only, only own or put into your home things that are beautiful or useful. And this ticks both of those boxes doesn't it so yeah brilliant idea because you've got that pouch like formation which you might look at and think okay yeah perfect but then what happens is you un um, unhook that with the hook and loop roll it out and you've got the area for your sewing machine I mean you can leave it just like so but then you have got that flip out area there which is going to hang down the side of your table with all of your fabulous tools and clips and whatever you choose to put in there you've got three different layers as you can see there with the pockets and then you've got your large pockets at the back so there is a lot of storage in 
in there. So yeah, um, your sewing machine is going to weight everything down while you've got everything in there. So yeah, good idea when you're going to your classes and workshops, top tip from me, roll it out so far, put your sewing machine on there and then drop that down because if you've got a lot of content and then you drop it down then the whole thing's going to slide and it's difficult to get your sewing machine in place. So place it like that, put your sewing machine in that area there and it's kind of like a designated area for your sewing machine and then that way when you flop that down you know that nothing is going to go sliding off the work area so it saves you trying to juggle everything around but brilliant idea Kerry I love the design of this thank you very much I was going to say I could have done with that tip a little while ago because I dropped it twice didn't I <laughs> yeah. but you do that you kind of lay it out and then you kind of like holding that with your hip and put your sewing machine on there so yeah, yeah. Yeah. How are you getting on? I'm over getting there? on really well. So what I'll do is I'll just pop back over to this one. Okay. So what I've done here is I've sewn those uh, pieces onto the top and the bottom. So the white has gone onto the bottom and then the purple has gone here onto the top. Now to help with the nesting of your seams, let's just shimmy this across and make some space. What we're then going to do, so just make sure that these are in the right way. So I've already trimmed this. So just take your ruler. Place your quarter inch line on that pen line or your sew line and then you just trim in away that excess fabric. And then to help with the nesting of your seams, what we're going to do, so one side will press the seams up and one side will press the seams down. Perfect. And they'll slot together. And you know, it, I find it really helpful. I mean, that helps in any size fabric, but definitely in the smaller, yes, yeah. the little bits of fabric that we're working with. And this is it, if you've worked with larger quilts before, then sometimes transferring your skills over to smaller pieces can be quite tricky. So having a usable project that you're creating, so you've got something to show for it at the end of that almost um, period of training and learning something, I think it's always nice to be able to get something that you've got to, to look at at the end of it. Um, incidentally as well, some lovely messages coming through on social media. So thank you, Christine, you're joining us again today. Thank you. Um, good uh, morning, gorgeous Hayley and Kerry. Got um, a few sewing machine mats that I've made with pockets at the front. Like the idea of this one because it won't get in the way of the drawer. So thank you for that, Christine. Oh, Good nice. point. Yeah. So yeah, here you go. All coming together, together. Um, all coming together, yeah. together. <laughs> together, together. <laughs> together, together. So together. let's get it together, together now. <laughs> so what we've got here, we've just pressed the seams opposite directions. Then naturally, as we nest these on top of each other, these are sitting nice and snug. Okay. And then we're simply sewing along that centre seam there. So again, pin if you're more comfortable to do so, but you will feel that through. That's why I like working with smaller pieces because yes, it's. Yeah. Less pinning. I'm all for less pinning. That's a good point. The fabric that Kerry's working with, incidentally, you probably look at the, pan the panel that I've got here um, and think, oh, that's not the same. Um, that's because we've got a variety of different bundles. So this particular one that um, Kerry's working with is the Liberty bundle. So I've got that here. All of the bundles are made up in the same, um, similar sort of idea where you're getting your four fat quarters and then you are going to get your half metre of your plane to complement and work with those. And the plane's going to feature within your project and also on the lining as well. So you've got plenty of that in there to help you with that. You're also going to get your um, instructions. So the instructions, as I've mentioned previously, have got everything that you need to know in there, including, and this is very useful as well because you've got your different fabrics and it's your cutting guide because that's the key thing is make sure that you're cutting your fabrics properly. Play, and then you've got all your illustrations there that are going to help you on your way. 29. This, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. I was just going to say, this is the first time that we've put a cutting guide inside the pattern oh, booklet. Okay, right. So normally we put them on either the back of the welcome letter or we put the additional pages in. Um, and the feedback from exhibitions for us is the people had liked in the book because that sometimes they'll lose that piece of paper. That's a good. So yeah. uh, thank you very much for that feedback because feedback really helps us, doesn't you don't it? Know so until people tell you. Yeah. So the, the, those cutting guides are in there to help with you getting the most from your kits as well. I love it. There you go. So uh, yeah. Maximise it. So there you go. Instructions, four fat quarters and a half metre of fabric in the Liberty, which is the one that Kerry's working with. Um, I will show you, um, which one should I show you next? Should I show you the, the Celestial one? And, and in a moment, I'm not going to kind of interrupt the, uh, the demonstration, but, uh, oh, message. Did you say message? 
Oh, okay, we're just going to wait for, for the message to come through. But yeah, other versions. So very quickly, this is the celestial one, and you can see why you've got all of the gorgeous uh, little stars and the moon and everything featuring there. $27.99, that one. Similar sort of idea. Four fat quarters, your plain and your pattern there, $27.99. So message popped up on the screen. Morning, ladies. Um, this is a fabulous kit, Kerry. Love it. And that has come from Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> there you go. To the point, I like it. <laughs> Beautiful. So we're back to Liz. I'll just trim this away. So what I'm going to do here now is to just press these seams open. And then what I quite like to do with my projects is sew them in rows. So if I just bring this a little bit closer. So I'll pop these into position here. Once I've got these little bits, there's quite a lot of little bits in this one but I like then to sew them. So this would become your row one, we've got your row two, and then your row three here. Perfect. <coughs> so I'll get those little bits together. Wonderful. <coughs> Excuse oh, me. Got a glass of water over there. I, I've, I've come prepared to this hour. Oh, I, love <laughs> I didn't it, have yeah. to do a hop, skip and a jump. <laughs> That's the thing. The moment, I don't know, I think it's because the heating and everything's gone, it's drying up um, our throats and things, isn't it? So yeah. I think you're right. That or I talk too much. No, never. <laughs> You're not letting that be said about me, Hayley, today. Absolutely not. <laughs> Everything that you've got, you say is relevant to what we're talking about, so it makes sense. Makes sense that we here to, need, need to hear those words. Um, don't forget, though, this is uh, the penultimate hour of our morning. It's actually the last sewing street um, hour because we've got an hour of yarn laid uh, coming up after this hour. So we've had two fabulous guests today. Lovely Kerry, who's still with us during this hour. Lovely, um, who did we have earlier on today? Louise. Oh, Louisa. I nearly said Lorna, and I was thinking, who's Lorna? Louisa. <laughs> Louisa was here earlier on with a fabulous um, English paper piecing and foundation paper piecing. So we've had a really lovely variety variety of different shows this morning so yeah and I hope you've enjoyed them as well because I certainly have done so uh, yeah that's the key thing as well the another thing is in the last hour we saw the sofa caddy now I don't have the pink caddy have you got the pink caddy oh. I, don't, I don't know what's happened to it I've only got the purple one which is partially made but I can talk I can talk you around it so we, we locate the other one I think it's probably probably been run off it's probably me trying to pretend i'm organized ah, <laughs> now this idea we've got um, two different kits that were available there was a pink um, and also the purple and this is a panel so the sewing theme one has proved to be the most popular of the two because you've got the most amazing fabrics featuring with these and it's a panel um, that you're going to be buying that have got all of the pattern pieces already printed on there it comes with full instructions as well and we did see this coming together um, in the last hour it is an item that you have seen previously i don't know about this color formation but um it's sold out so quickly each time that we kind of bought it about probably the last time that we'll see it before christmas now 1999 <coughs> will get you your pattern that will allow you to create your pouch you've got a little zipper pocket here there will be a pin cushion that you're going to stitch in place there and you've also got this little area here that you're going to be able to put tools and crochet hooks and things like that in the idea being that it's going to sit on the arm of your sofa not an arm of a human but an arm of a sofa <laughs> Um, and Although you gave it a good go. <laughs> <laughs> Although it might look very much like a sofa when I'm stood like this, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. So, so you've got plenty of stories. They're not just for your sewing, although I think it does make a brilliant one for uh, little projects that you might be doing, which is why it's brilliant to work with uh, Louise's kits. So, uh, yeah, that's a nice one to go for. Um, and um, it's got, um, where am I? Sofa caddy. So here is the panel for the sofa caddy that I've just shown you just very, very quickly quickly before we head back over and see Kerry. So this one is upside down again, again, every time, every time. There you go. So again, all of those are pieces, as you can see there, laid out. And the beauty is you can choose how you, can put, how you put this together. So if you want to have the paler fabric as your outer fabric and the, the darker as your lining, you can do so. But to be honest, I think Kerry has made it perfect with the darker purple on the outside. So love it. 
brilliant so there you go details for that are up on your screen it's always nice to have a fabric to make something pop isn't it oh absolutely i like a fabric that makes it pop yeah so this is your block made up in your liberty fabric so as i said you're just simply placing these out to bring them together and you'll repeat this three times is just sewing your row one, row two, and row three together. Perfect. What I do from there is when I put these together is I sew the top and the bottom row with the um, seams out and the middle with the seams in, and then that just brings that all together. But I also wanted to show you, if we've got a little bit of time, just how easy that pocket panel is to put on here. Okay, so, yeah. In the same way as we do with the majority of our projects, we bind in the pockets on here and these just look spectacular, the colours together. So all I'm going to do is to just take my binding strips, same way as we did in the earlier hour actually, wrong side of the fabric facing towards us, giving it a little press and then we'll attach the binding on top. Now the pattern, um, I use hook and loop to secure uh, the um, I want to call it a, a, a roll, fold and roll, but fold. the sewing machine mat. <laughs> <laughs> I should have come to you for my name for the project. <laughs> I, Ailey? Um, but I do, I'll show you as well. So if you're thinking, actually, you may not um, take it out. Maybe you don't go to classes and you've got no reason for it to fold up then you don't need to put that flap on the end there. OK. Um, but I'll show you in a little while, just I'll talk you through what I did with the Velcro, with the hook and loop, sorry. So all I'm doing here on the three pockets is just attaching the raw edge of the binding to the tops of the pockets. Perfect. Gorgeous colours, aren't they? are gorgeous colours are not they they are gorgeous are not they They look gorgeous together. It's difficult to decide which one. I mean, the tilde I love because you've got the boldness, but then I love the kind of the pastel tones of the one that you've yeah. got there as well. I think you're right, but I think this is very me. I'm, I love pastels and I think these look beautiful. But that may be because I've already got one in the tilde, so yes. <laughs> I've moved on. So in the same way as I did earlier on, just pressing that binding up and over towards the back. Lovely. And then folding it. And I always finish my binding with a, with a zigzag stitch, but it's a nice opportunity. I mean, this fabric is just beautiful with that lovely little ditzy print in there. You could use your floral decorations if you've got a you know a nice, nice machine idea. well we've got so many decorative stitches haven't yeah. we that we don't utilize on our sewing machine so it's a perfect opportunity to use them really isn't it so yeah. Do you know i only ever use the zigzag stitch and i've been saying for years i will put more more effort into it but i, I try and keep it to that actually because most machines have a zigzag well, that's stitch. the thing it's difficult to know the different stitches that people have don't they yeah, yeah i think the zigzags like you say it's a, a good one and i must admit having seen it on your little um your sofa caddy as well it's, it's one that i haven't used for for quite a while the zigzag, the zigzag. So, yeah oh yeah, yeah i love a zigzag stitch it, yeah. i like it because it's less pressure to get it straight yes that's true but also with your binding doing this way you know you're going to catch providing you line your machine up and it's sitting in between yes. your binding you know it's catching on both sides yeah, that's a good point yeah so for your pockets, it's as simple as placing those together, zigzagging across the top of your pockets. And, you know, you might be using this, you might have bigger tools than perhaps what I had, but I have put the measurements in the pattern. So all you're then doing, what I've done on mine, so we start with the three um, pockets together. Lovely. And then I've sewn through the two pockets at the bottom, so that's allowed me to get the pockets onto the bottom. Okay. And then to secure this onto the main back panel, I've then just popped that piece out, which is L in your pattern booklet. And then what I did there is to just put a line down the centre, because in mine at the side, I like having a little ruler just to the side, just yes, to measure things. Yeah. So this pocket for me was just to fit maybe a two and a half inch ruler into here. Um, and maybe you cut her as well, but, but you do, might want different things. Do the instructions things. tell you where to put They the show line. you exactly that. Yeah. If you have a look, we've put the lines on there where you're doing and Perfect. the measurements so, in for those. Yeah, so if um, you don't really know, then yeah, sometimes it's like you're like oh well, i don't know i don't know how big i need them to be then kerry obviously showing you in the first one where she has them 
but then you might think afterwards, oh, next one that makes, I'm going to make that one a bit bigger, I'm going to make that one a bit narrower and play around with the size because there's lots of freedom that you've got. My, my recommendation is the pocket that you want in there is your stitch on bigger pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm that's forever true. losing them. Yeah. So, you know, I do all of these things with pockets with great intentions, but I do still manage to use them. Would you mind if I had the sample just to, oh, to talk about yeah, the, the, the hook and loop? So what I did from here, once we've put that all together and what you'll notice is that little pocket panel sits nice and snug here, just in between that sashing line. So when this is folding up, it folds up nice and snug and then your hook and loop just rests on top of here nice and securely. So what I did to put the hook and loop on, if you are doing this step, is initially I take the exterior fabric. So on this one, it's that beautiful coral. We'd call this a coral. I I'd say it's a so, coral yeah. colour. Yeah, so um, this is before I've done any quilting, which is of course optional. So I'm taking the coral fabric and I place that onto the batting. Mm -hmm. Once I've got that there, then I'm measuring across. And again, the measurements are there for your hook and loop. So you know exactly where you're positioning this. And then I'm only sewing through the foam, because I use Bosal foam in okay, this one, nice, yeah. um, and the back fabric. However, on the other side, <coughs> what I did then is I've then put everything together and then I put the, again, your measurements are in here. So I've then put the loop on here, but I've sewn through all layers. Mm -hmm. And the reason that I did that is we've previously done um, a pattern folder cover. And one of the feedback from that is people found it because that folder's opening and closing so frequently. So if you go into classes quite frequently, you might be tearing this open. You want it nice and secure. So I've then put this through. And I just couldn't bring myself to look at a plain fabric. So the quilting is optional and it's a personal choice. If you want to add a little bit of quilting, I mean, there's lots of options that you could do in here. Yeah, but if you yeah. do, you are only quilting the top part of the project right. because you're not bringing it down here. Otherwise, your pockets are no good to you. Well, you're quilting you quilt through the layers. Your pockets, you've got stitches. Holding yeah. The layers <laughs> oh, together. I tried first of all, so I, oh, I did I've done do that. <laughs> I did do that. I did a little bit of unpicking. So I just felt that was quite important to mention. And I free motioned as well over the hook and loop. So that is nice and secure in there as well. So it brilliant. doesn't particularly matter how many times you open and close it. I love it. What a brilliant idea. Just so useful. I think it's one of those things that, as I say, you'll be making it for yourself first of all, and then you'll get people asking you to make them. Uh, or maybe make them as gifts for people as well. And as Kerry said there, make to sell if you so choose as well. And if you do like the fabrics, the one that Kerry is working with, or uh, not has been working with, should I say, has got over there now, the finished sample, that's been made up using the Tilda fabric. And the Tilda fabric has got that gorgeous pink in there, that coral pink, and also those fat quarters. Any of the kits that you're going for, for um, the, the mat, the sewing mat organiser, will have exactly the same con uh, kind of configuration. You'll have four fat quarters, and then you will have a half metre of your fabric for your backing as well as featuring within those blocks as you're working with as well. It's just down to you to decide which of those you like the look of most. So if you like the look of this one, this one is your Tilda. All of them come with the instruction. So that is what you're going to be receiving. And obviously, if you do go to Living in Loveliness, you will find the um, opportunity for you to actually watch a little video and learn more potentially with regard to that one. So that is the first one if you're going for that one. Another one that has been a very popular one has been the Liberty and that's the one that we have seen uh, lovely um, Kerry working with so these are the uh, two most popular ones we haven't got a lot of time left so I'm only going to limit it to these two to show the others are available on the website so you've got the four fat quarters featuring there which are beautiful your solid there for the back as I said and for um, adding towards the block and of course your full instructions there with your image there which is going to help you with your construction so that's the key thing so we do have the instructions by themselves so if you do want to shop for them by themselves then you can do um, and of course adding in your own fabrics which are all detailed of exactly how much you need just inside that front cover there so 9.99 that's all that you're paying for this one um, and this is a lovely um, Teresa um, thank you Hayley and Kerry for the super information show today where do I find instructions for the thread catcher so the thread catcher is going to be this one that you're chatting about I would imagine and this one is available as a pattern by itself so if you are wanting to go for this one where have I put the, the pattern for this one? I had it a few moments ago as well. Where are you? It's on the screen what you need to know as well. Where's it gone? 
So for County Fabulous Black Quarter. Because we've bought so much for you today, Hayley. Oh, there it is. It's staring me in the face. Are you looking for the, the same fabric on the, the front? Yeah, I think it's, I was looking for a kit. I said it was only available as a pattern, but I was still looking for a kit. But there you go. So, sorry, that is my fault. So, yeah, um, thread catcher and pin cushion. So we've got the pattern available by itself. It's a two-part thing that you're going to be creating. So you've got your fabulous um, and pin cushion there. It was originally demonstrated way back in January this year. So I think if you go onto YouTube, you should be able to find that um, if you put it into the search field. We have got the plastic pellets that you can utilize to create your weight um, and your pin cushion. And of course, you've got the fabulous little pocket with your little kind of catch there for a pair of scissors as well. So there you go. That is the information that you need on the screen there for that thread catcher. So thank you for asking. Kerry, thank you. When are you back again? Not till the end of January, 28th oh, of oh January. Yes, well, in that case, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and all of that. that You're the first there. person to say Merry Christmas. That's made my day <laughs> and oh, to you bless. too. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, make sure you look out for those shows in January, but don't go anywhere. While we have completed our hours on Sewing Street, we've got another hour of sewing, um, sorry, yarn lane, should I say, sewing yarn. Well, you have to sew a bit of yarn in the next hour because they're talking toft. So I'll see the other side of this. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses but I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p, &P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. 
Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street stitching the world together. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Hello there and welcome. Welcome to Yarn Lane. And obviously this is often the last hour of our morning that we share with you with Sewing Street. And I am so pleased to be here because I have to say, a toft show. I always look forward to seeing the display. You do it so, so well. Oh, we enjoy Christmas a lot and this is our last Christmas show. So oh, it's, a, it's it? the last chance for me to really get all the Christmas bits and pieces. Um, and it's brilliant. I mean, you've got so many fun projects that you've been able to uh, crochet um, between now and the big day. And because they come together so quickly, many of these could be used as Christmas gifts or to decorate your home as well. But one thing I do need to mention before we get into the nitty gritty of all the fabulous kits and patterns, you are going to get a little complimentary pattern courtesy of Toft. Um, so uh, they're going to be popping this um, into your order. It's not going to come from, from us here at Sewing Street. So, um, and it won't show on your order when you come to check out your basket. But you will get your opportunity to make your own Toft Christmas kind of Christmas cracker hat which Kerry has got on and I love that so you've got everything in there so definitely um, an item that you can recycle. Yeah definitely and you'll just need some double knit yarn so about 20 grams of double knit yarn and you'll be able to make your own Christmas. You could even do them for everybody for the That's table. That's a nice idea yeah. isn't it so every order that you place you will get one of those in with your order so if it's a case that you've got multiple items you'll still get one because it'll be one per customer that gets sent out to you so there we go but with regards to the rest of it my goodness what choices you got you've got so much choice we've got some fabulous things that are new to me with the the kind of little um uh, these fabulous exciting little kits that we've got we've got so many projects all in a box which are always very very popular but then we've got individual items you can even crochet your own turkey leg how fabulous is that i love that <laughs> 
but we're going to start off with the discovery boxes and these are a brilliant idea now you've had them previously haven't you these and these ones are, are brand new i think the three that we're sharing with you today yeah they are so um a discovery box has been put together to kind of do what it says on the tin in terms of there'll be an easy project there'll be some intermediate projects there'll be some more advanced projects within that and so you'll learn lots of little bits of skills as you go through the project so they all contain 150 grams of yarn so you'll get six individual balls of yarn inside there and then you can just gradually um that there's something for everyone really inside so you can start as a beginner and then gradually go through all the different projects to complete them and the three we've got here one is the animals which were very popular last time i was on the show in terms of going back to the classic animals but actually i've really gone for the tree decorations this time <laughs> as well well to the one that we've got on the screen i've, I've, I've just chuckling to myself i mean look at this um crocheting your own christmas dinner i think this is a brilliant idea so this one is the one that's on the screen it's the one that's in the middle at the moment we will have a look at the decorations in a few moments but you've got all of the components for it you have yeah so you've got six balls of yarn you'll get our fudge our cream orange lime um, and green included in there and then you will get the patterns for the turkey itself uh, which obviously can also be turned into something that you hang on the tree so you just put a little loop on there you've got a pattern for a sprout you've got yes. a pattern for a carrot which you can turn into a little trio of carrots <laughs> like that you've got a pattern for a mini parsnip a pattern for a leek and then my absolute favorite <laughs> the got pigs there. in blanket. And obviously it is a Christmas dinner essential of the pigs I in blanket. Or with a little loop on there. So, yeah, I like that idea of making them into decorations for your tree. But what a brilliant idea. Now, you're going to get all of the fabulous yarns in a beautiful box. you kind of got almost got like a draw with regards to this. So, so let me just show you. I mean, the image on your screen there shows you beautifully. You'll actually get the box because I at first I thought the box was like almost like a display. No, box. you actually oh, get no. the box. And so you can reuse that box for years to come um, for different things as well. Um, it's a great way to store your patterns. in. if you do have lots of tough patterns, you can obviously store your hooks in it or if you are making them as play food for children it means you can just load all your crochet food back in and yeah, you can get nice it in that as well fabulous box to decorate as well if you're a paper crafter mm -hmm. as well so yeah nice one to go for so if you like the idea of creating your own christmas dinner with your discovery box and details are on your screen 42 pounds will get you did you say there were six balls in that uh, yeah idea? six balls so six 150 balls. grams and then all the patterns for everything that you've seen so the full no. turkey parsnip sprouts carrots and try and tip the box and forward the, can take these off don't there we that, go. okay yeah. sorry it's also beautifully then you can pop it all in your frying pan there we go and then it is yeah it's a removable drawer so it comes out totally if you want to and then you can close it back in again there you go so if you're wanting to take it out completely there you go and you can see there you've got all of your, your bits and pieces there you've got a beautifully foiled box as well so everything kind of slots together i mean everything is a sign of quality isn't it when you're shopping and you're buying toft kits so a brilliant idea all beautifully packaged and ready for you to create perhaps in time for Christmas. In fact, many of the crochet projects you share with us come together very, Honestly, very quickly. Honestly, so quickly, they? Yeah. yeah. They I wouldn't worry about anything that we've got on the show being completed by mm -hmm. Christmas. I deliberately not brought projects that are um, big projects, they're fast ones. Something like a box like this, you'll easily do half a dozen sprouts on an evening, no problem at all. Or <laughs> pigs in blankets. I mean, I know the first year that I designed these, I did pigs in blankets for my whole family and they went down so oh, well. Bet, yeah. um, it just makes people laugh and chuckle, whether it's, yeah. Chuckle, yeah. Even if you use it on the outside of your, your um, other presents even. Yeah. So you just wrap your present and on a little bit of ribbon, you add a little crochet oh. pigs in blankets. Um, in and Charlie's just come up with a brilliant idea. I was gonna say like your little place settings and your little kind of charms to go yeah. on the table sort of thing so uh, yeah perhaps there's somebody who never likes their brussels sprouts and you could use that with their table setting just to <laughs> yeah just to stir it um, now the details are on your screen so 42 pounds is going to get you six balls of yarn 150 grams there so loads and loads of that beautiful quality yarn as well so yeah you're going to have loads of fun with those and if you've shopped from toff before you will know just how incredible the quality is but we've actually got three discovery boxes for you so i think the thing that we need to look at maybe after after our dinner, is a little bit of dessert. Of course, no Christmas dinner is complete without it, I don't think. And I have to say, you've got to have Christmas pudding on the day, haven't you? Excuse me, you're just gagging the line like there. Let's just move you out of the way, Mr Gingerbread Man. But you've got your Christmas pudding done as a bauble, which I think is a fabulous idea with all of that gorgeous um, cream or custard maybe on the top. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously it's your, your own choice but uh, with this one I think it's lovely mince pies as well calorie free yep 
calorie free mince pies who'd have thought it apparently during the christmas period if you eat 12 mince pies it brings you good luck for the whole year mm, i'm not sure i'm there so, yet this year yeah, i could yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. i've probably had more than my fair not today <laughs> but i started early in november but yeah so there you go just the 12 i don't know if you get any <laughs> bonus points for extras but there you go um your little gingerbread character i mean how cute is this absolutely adorable as you can see little gingerbread character that you've got there um you've got a little yule log as well which is very clever all rolled up with your holly berries on there and your little holly leaves and i'm sure you will have spied down at the front of our box you've also got your fabulous little candy cane there as well and these are brilliant that you've got your loop on there throughout so we've got um, your candy cane that you're going to be able to make you can make your um, christmas pudding you can be able to make your yule log your gingerbread man and is it two mince pies yeah i mean you will actually get more from the box so say with the candy cane you'll get quite a few of those well um, yeah so some of them basically if you make one of each first you'll have quite a lot of yarn left over that you can dip back into the other patterns so you'll be able to make plenty if you look at the amount of ruby that's been well this is what i was those. just about to say if i yeah. try and hold everything you've got Obviously, you've got your little um, kind of a berry there. You've got your berries there. You've also got your stripes there. That is going to go along. Yeah, way. it is. And it's only touches of cream as well. Other than the um, icing that sits on here, you've actually got that's tons absolutely. of yeah, cream as well. Yeah, so that's a fair point. I would hazard a guess that you'll get at least another half mm -hmm. a dozen candy canes in that's addition. It. And again, I mean, these are so recyclable, aren't they? Using these every single year. And just fun projects. I mean, you could set yourself a little challenge of making, I don't know, a couple of these a day or yeah. something like that. Because again, Absolutely, I'm guessing... Yeah. Even the most complex, I'm guessing things like the gingerbread in one evening you yeah, can make. Yeah, absolutely, because it's still not complicated. Everything here is just using that double crochet stitch, just that one stitch that I endlessly demonstrate. The mince pies might have a couple of um, additional stitches in, but you're just using that double crochet by and large. So honestly, a couple of hours and you'll have each piece done. I think it's brilliant. And also, so when you actually look at the different projects, you're learning so many different techniques. Yeah, you are. Really you're learning them. small snippets of everything. So you'll do, say, colour changing with your candy cane. And that'd be a great one yeah, if you were totally new to crochet. You're going to be really getting used to doing your colour changing. Then with something like the um, Christmas pudding, the big circle itself, so the bauble, that's just learning all of the basics of amigurumi. You're going to learn oh, that stitch. Okay. You're going to do increasing and then you're going to do decreasing. Then um, with other ones, you might learn different techniques again so the mince pie you've got that front post back post around the edge that's what creates a rib well, that's the kind of thing you'd use on a I'm, hat i'm hoping that i'm pointing at the right point yes you yeah. are yeah <laughs> that's the front post back post so that's a rib like you would use yeah on a, on oh, a so that's hat. gonna have an elasticated feel yeah and then you've hat. got a couple of other little touches of things like when you get around really? to doing your um holly and bits and pieces like that you'll do a few other extra stitches along the way i love that and also as well i'm looking at the christmas pudding but i'm thinking if you've learned color changes here there's nothing stopping you potentially doing a red and white striped bauble yeah, absolutely because yeah. the foundation is there so any of those le uh, leftover pieces and yeah do stripey baubles with those as well so yeah um, a little project in front of the TV. I think very, very portable. Just to reiterate, the box is phenomenal as well with the drawer in there. You've got that for afterwards, full instructions as well. Making your fabulous little projects. You are going to have loads of fun with regards to this one. So I'm just going to move these over to the Christmas dinner just yep. for a moment. It does also come in a drawstring bag. So um, the actual, yeah, the cotton well. drawstring totes, they all come in that as well. So you've also got a lovely project bag yeah. um, to be using along the way. Um, yeah. The dedication in presentation, I have to say, is incredible because everything is just such incredible quality. Um, and Toft um, established in 2006, I see. So, yeah, yeah. it's been yeah, 17 years this year. Yeah, I love yeah. it. And then, did you ever think at that stage you'd be making um, Christmas mince pies? No and chance. Like no, that? I often have a little giggle about how far we've come. There's no way, I think, even five years ago that I'd have predicted some of the projects that we've done this year. I love yeah. it. Now, don't forget, you've got your different projects that we've spoken of, but you're also actually getting, you six balls of yarn in there so you've got a lot of yarn within these particular kits for your 70 i'm um, sorry your 42 pounds and that's including your box and your instructions don't forget you've got the bonus pattern as well of your crown so yeah. i mean it's a simple oh yeah in fact that. you know what i i would feel very confident that you could make your whole crown 
from and still be able to make your candy cane and everything else. So there's it. a great use for yeah for your ruby. And I'll show yeah. you that pattern in a few moments because Toft are very kindly giving you a Christmas gift of their own. Every order that you place, um, you will actually get one of those patterns in there. It's one per customer or per yeah, yeah per customer. But if you order multiple times, um, you'll still get one pattern because they're all bundled up together. It won't show when you come to check out your order. I will just mention that they just do it automatically. They don't need a number. They're going to put it in anyway. So there you go. Um, and these discovery boxes are absolutely brilliant. I mean, every single one of them is phenomenal. This one is your Christmas desserts, following on potentially from your Christmas dinner that we saw a few moments ago. And you've got your Christmas pudding. You're going to be able to make at least two mince pies in there. You're also going to be able to make multiples of your candy cane, your little Yule log, and your fabulous little gingerbread character as well. So they are all featuring in there, and you are going to have loads and loads of fun with it. Oh, he's having a nap. <laughs> he's having a little stick. He's had too many mince pies. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. I don't know. That's a question for you, isn't it? Do gingerbread men eat mince pies? Who knows? Who knows? Details are on your screen. I've got a third discovery box to share with you, and I will warn you. It's going to go absolutely crazy when you see these. So we've been busy so far with the discovery boxes. Again, a brilliant idea. And again, keeping that price point the same. Six balls of yarn Six again. balls of yarn in exactly the same way. Um, so it's quite nice this one. You get a real variety of colours. So you're going to get our cream, oatmeal, camel, um, silver and steel included in this one. Um, and then this one's great for all of those different techniques. So um, the little cat here that's in silver, that would be a level one project. So okay, that would be wow. a perfect one for someone who's never crocheted before really? to start oh, with. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Would be little Alex. It's a, a nice light colour for your stitches at this time of year as well. So you see all your stitches really nice and clearly. Then if you want to try a bit of colour changing, you can make the Siamese here. So you're just going to be doing some basic colour changing from one colour into the other. So um, same techniques, but a bit of colour changing. Then once you're feeling a bit more confident, you can move on to one like the tabby over here. And that's going to be <laughs> where you're it. moving between two colours. So okay. rather than just cutting that yarn and moving to another colour, you're going to go backwards and forwards between other colours. So quite a nice one to, again, skill up on. Nice. Then with the main coon, which is just hiding <laughs> love, hiding behind so these here. these are all actual breeds of cats? Yeah, they are actually all breeds oh, of cats wow. as well, yeah. So with the, the main coon, you're going to do a little bit of loop stitch, but not too much. So a tiny touch of kind of getting used to this loop stitch, which I'm sure I'll get to demo um, later in the show. So a little bit of loop stitch before you then go on to the Persian all at the end, the which stitch. is this one here, which is oh, all goodness. the loop stitch. So <laughs> it just really builds your confidence if you are new to crochet, especially if you do love cats or you know someone who does love cats. You'll be able to crochet your way through all the breeds, but actually skill up at the Absolutely. same time. Absolutely. Yeah. I love it. Um, so, yeah, if you are that crap, that cat person, that crazy cat lady is quite often we get referred to. Oh, man. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, in an affectionate way. Then uh, uh, it, yeah. this is going to be perfect, isn't it? Whether you're making them and giving them as gifts. Um, they could be, dare I say, and I, I, I don't know if I actually want to say this out loud, but if you wanted to put them inside a cracker. Yeah, absolutely. You could, they're not yeah. real cats, so yeah. that's okay. We can do that. But I think that'd be a lovely idea. Yeah, yeah they'd work well. really well. I've seen people put them on as baubles oh, quite a lot on the tree in the same way. Um, obviously, they work as key fobs and all sorts of things. It's just brilliant sitting idea. in the top of the stocking at this time of year as well. I think they're brilliant. And you talked us through all the different techniques there as well. I think that, like you say, it's almost like a compendium, isn't it? You're going to learn. It is. It's like these. a little workshop yeah. in its own right because you know you can start with mm. that easy one and then you gradually just do a little tidbit of skill as you yeah. go through. I yeah. think this is brilliant. In fact, you saying that level one for that, yeah. that little, was it Alex you called Alex, yeah, this one. They do all have names. But level well. yeah. one, I mean, yeah. that, I'd never thought, I thought like level one is doing like a granny square or something. Like no, that, so I with this because it's only the double crochet. It's actually easier than a granny square. Wow! All you're doing is one stitch here. and going round and round. I love it. Now we are going to get into a demonstration in a little while. We've got plenty of things to share with you, but that's what we're doing at the moment. And then we'll get over and do some demos in a while. So three discovery box, each one of those priced at forty-two pounds. So it's down to personal choice. You are going to get the free crown uh, pattern, yeah. beautifully yep. modelled by Kerry there. Um, so whether it's your Christmas dinner, your Christmas desserts, or it is those fabulous kittens any of those you're going to have loads of fun they've all got six balls of yarn in there giving you 150 grams of your fabulous yarns different colors obviously for different um, occasions but way more than you're going to need for many of these so you're going to go on and create multiples not just the minimums that we're sharing with you on the boxes as well so there you go love it so um, we will keep you um, updated with regard to that one but we've got 
not just little animals featuring in our group today we've got down at the front there i don't know if you've spied these i think we've got the head elf is hogging all of the line like yes <laughs> naughty, right little, the yeah. naughty little elf so uh, yes and here we go we've got those i'm just going to move whoops that's a fall off my podium um i'm just going to move the naughty little elf because it's sitting too much in the uh, the way there and we can't quite see mr and mrs claus but we will come back to him so don't worry so uh, yes all these fabulous characters Incidentally, they're all on the website, so you can go shopping for them that way. But in the studio, we've got these two. They look brilliant. They are, and this is our fine yarn. So um, this, I, last time I came to Sewing Yarn Lane, should I say, I brought with me our double knit and our Aaron. So our you two larger yeah. size of Santa. Didn't bring Mrs. Claus though. It's her first time. Oh, um, okay. But this is our fine yarn. So this is the thinnest yarn that Toff do. Um, you'll be using a two millimetre crochet hook when you're okay. crocheting you them, can see and they're just there, absolutely yeah. beautiful. So the scale is the stitches are half the size of everything that we've looked at so far okay. um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this project for someone that's totally new to crochet but if you've crocheted anything before whether that be a blanket whether that be a toft animal then you'll have no problem with it at all just don't go in for it as your very first project because okay. the stitches are quite small Fair enough. Um, but it is a pure wool and exactly the same as everything else it's just half the thickness a two millimeter hook and as a result they look so much more intricate so they come down to about yeah. half the scale they're the perfect size to sit on your mantelpiece um, if you, you you're short on space and you just want a mm -hmm. lovely little pair to go in and um, these ones will take you a little bit longer because they are our full size dolls so there are a lot of stitches in them but it's just a lovely project to maybe even start this year and know that then you've got until next Christmas to finish them off That's so it. you can kind of see the elf to the side which is in your, your um, thicker yarn your double yeah. knit yarn so you can kind of see how you've got the different sizes of the stitches but the patterns that we've got could you actually go on and use your own double knit yeah absolutely so the characters. patterns are okay. universal and exactly the same regardless of the thickness of yarn that you use so this would be using our yeah a four a four ply equivalent really in a fine yarn um if you use a double knit they'll go up to twice the size of the size of the head elf an aran thickness they go twice as big again and then a chunky you can make them oh, so they fill up your size. sofa <laughs> yeah um so once you've got the pattern you absolutely can then make them multiple times in different yarns and the great thing about the fine yarn um, and why i've chosen to put these in a bundle is it does doesn't use a lot of the yarn so um, the great thing here is you have actually got a good saving on buying the two individually because oh, okay. they share the cream and the charcoal right. whereas if you buy them as individual kits even from us you're actually going to be buying that cream and charcoal twice but not using it all Fair so enough. when they're bundled together like this you're just getting one ball of the cream and one ball of the charcoal because they're shared between the two projects I love it so you can see there um, two of that gorgeous red two of the oatmeal and then you've got your cream and your charcoal just yeah. sitting behind Santa's hat. Um, take no notice of the elf at the moment. He's back again. He's getting involved, bless him. But if you're wanting to make your Mr and Mrs Claus, we will show you one of the kits um, in general so you know how the instructions look and things like that when we get over to demo area. But the key thing is get involved as soon as you possibly can because these kits don't last very, very long. So if you fancy getting hold of those, very busy for those discovery boxes as well. So make sure you get hold of those. So with regards to Mr and Mrs um, clause because um, people will be working with maybe a new type of yarn to them mm -hmm. will the hook be in with the kit or do they need to invest in a hook they need to invest in a hook and it's a two millimeter hook Perfect. but we have got them on the show so you'll have the, the twos the um the twos which is for our fine the threes are for our double knit and then the only the size will be for this show would be an eight for a chunky perfect yeah. there you go so they're all there with a lovely kind of ergonomic um handle very very comfortable handle it's like, almost like a, a triangle so to speak but you'll know we'll show you that in a little while so there you go two mil if you need in one of those of course we have got the other sizes if you need those as well and you don't include those because we're always assuming that people yeah because you end up with too many one? of them yeah. so the odd project i have done so actually here with with one of the projects on the show i have included two sizes because it's a oh, five okay. and a five and a half which we don't use very often so right. in that instance i'll include it so that i know that you've got the right size but if it's ever tough generally just use four sizes twos threes fives and eights so we don't include those as standard. so with yeah. regards to the double knit which is like the discovery boxes what size a is three millimeter need? hook three yeah. millimeter yeah perfect so we're going to pop that up um, just in case you need that hook if you've already got one then that's great um, they're kind of like a standard size so it doesn't have to be specifically a toft one but if you have not got one at all then definitely get the one that's on your screen there. it's only three pounds and definitely worth adding in and dare I say even if you have got one get yourself an extra one because 
you'll get that free pattern first of all which yep. is brilliant but also any of these you could actually be crocheting with a buddy then if you've both got a hook it's not something you're going to be like oh well I'll do this row and then I'll let you borrow my hook and you can do your bit so yeah yeah and that's great with a project like this especially if you are going to be spending time with family over Christmas or in that weird in between bit yeah. between Christmas and New Year a discovery box would be a great project where you say, right, OK, especially if you can crochet and say they can't or the opposite way around, where you'd be like, right, you make this cat and I'll make this one. And yes. so because the patterns share so many techniques, you'll be able to do that all together. I yeah. love it. Between your family, you could be making a complete Christmas yeah. dinner, couldn't you? Um, somebody could be designated the turkey. <laughs> somebody else could be doing the Brussels sprout. So uh, there you go. Lots of fun to be had. Some families as well, they kind of turn the TV off after Christmas lunch, don't they? I know I know, it's an unheard thing. You can <laughs> turn it off. But then they'll play games or they'll yeah. do different kind of sharing of skills and things like that. So, yeah, it's a nice idea. So, uh, yeah. Give it a go. The details on the screen are for one of the three discovery boxes that we've got for you. So Christmas dinner, you've got six balls of yarn in there. They're sizable balls of yarn and you're not going to use all of them for the projects that are in there. They're brilliant to create a little kind of decorations to hang off your tree as well. So who wouldn't love a little pigs in blanket hanging off their Christmas tree, which I think is a brilliant idea. So um, yeah, we, ha we always have to make loads of these for Christmas lunch because yeah. so many people love it. It's, it's the favourite my kids would choose. Yeah. Yeah. to skip the turkey and absolutely Absol just, just, just give them a plate yeah. I actually saw the other day when I was shopping you could buy a foot long pigs in blanket mm. just the one yeah. so yeah I think that's going to be a popular one this Christmas so yeah needless to say now this is where the generosity of Toft kind of kits come into it so have a look at that that I think is the only item within this particular kit where you're using the pink yeah it is yeah okay now look at the ball of pink you're going to make quite a few <laughs> or it might be that you're utilizing this to use for other projects as well so as i say 42 pounds brilliant for the projects that are mentioned but you have got such a generous amount of yarn in here um that you well actually it's wool it's not yarn we're, we're so conditioned to say yarn yeah, yeah. it is course, actually it wool is you're actually allowed to wool. say that yeah here. yeah because you can't call it yeah. wool if it's not wool. So, yeah, it's wool. Um, so you're going to get a lot. You'd be able to make your crown, certainly. So in your pink, oh, this would be pink, another one. So yeah. if, you're going, if you're going for the desserts, make your crown in ruby. If you're going for the dinner, make your crown in pink. Perfect. I love it. Brilliant idea. Um, and this one has actually gone into the lead now. Mm. And also the crown that we're talking about is actually a free pattern. So if you're placing an order today, everybody that's shopping with us today is going to get this free pattern um, from Toff. So this is something they're popping into your dispatches as they go um, and uh, yeah one per customer so place your order and you're going to get that included as well so that is the beautiful so uh, yeah brilliant idea love it and beautifully um, fashioned yep. by our lovely Kelly here so thank enjoying you. a little first of December it's fully Christmas it's time be top proper, now, yeah. proper Christmas mm -hmm. now isn't it um, so other things we've got so many fabulous things to share with you we're going to do some demonstrations but did you want me to mention the hats at all yet or should we do that later Oh, we're going to do head elf because we saw head elf. And to be honest, he's, he's kind of, he's, made, he's producing from the floor. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, keeps popping up in all of the shots. And I must admit, that purple is a beautiful purple. So, so what's the story behind head elf? So he truly is one of my favourite ever Christmas projects. Okay. Um, he came about because he, sometimes just inspiration strikes. So he wasn't in our plan. Um, I want he to wasn't in our and get him. Yeah, let's get, I, I'll get him. Next. You, let's get him I, I didn't like to grab him by the he head. He truly <laughs> is one of my absolute favourite Christmas makes because obviously we we see oh, Santas it, and we see me Mrs. Hold Clauses. him and you talk us around um, what we've got. But it's a really, really fun project. Um, you're using lots of different techniques. You obviously do get the bells included as well, as well as the glasses. I love and for those. me, he's just a proper yes, character that can sit up on a shelf and, like you say, almost command over Christmas in your house. But Absolutely. He'll just be there and he'll be overseeing the fact that everything's going correctly. <laughs> um, I know some people have even sat him on the tree or on top of the tree. Um, <laughs> but he just is, honestly, of all the makes that I've ever done for Christmas, and we've done plenty now in 17 no, years, really? he really is one of my all-time favourites, the idea of a head elf to sit idea. on the tree. Yeah. Um, as, as you can see, I mean, it's one of those traditional stitches that we've seen before with your double crochet in there. You yeah. 
going to learn that loopy stitch with this Yeah, you are. Well. So it's all double crochets. Um, there's no um, surprise stitches in this. It's all double crochets. And again, you've got touches of everything. So you're going to do colour changing to obviously do those stripy trousers. You'll do a little bit of loop stitch for the edging. You're knotting on the beard. Um, so that's quite an easy one. That's where you just knot them on like tassels at the end. Um, what else are you doing, Tony? You've got a little bit of the front post, back post again on the oh, outside okay, of the booty. Yeah. So you'll just do a little touch of the front post, back post here. And then you finish them all off by sewing on his bells and adding these glasses. And it looks yeah. fabulous. It's such a brilliant idea, isn't it? And that will be a pattern that you revisit, I am sure, because yeah, yeah. as I, soon as you It's also one of those me. patterns that you, it's really hard to decide which colours to do it in. So you're obviously going to include Ooh. it in your kit. You're going to get the silver, you're going to get the steel, you're going to get the amethyst colour. I didn't think about putting them back. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll put them back, that's <laughs> fine. Um, but it's just one of those that I, I even if I crochet one a year, I think for the rest of my, my years, I will always want to make it in another colour. Yes, it's just yeah. one of those patterns where whenever I'm making it, I think, oh, this would look really nice in green. So I was thinking about oh, this the red looking and white red. stripes. Yeah, yeah, and so I think it's just a pattern that you'll want to go back to over and over and over Absolutely. again. And again, in all the sizes. So that's the double knit yarn included in there, which is our standard doll size. Perfect. But you could scale it down and up. Lovely. So there you go. If you fancy getting hold of that one, sixty-three pounds. You're going to get two of that beautiful, almost regal purple that's in there. You're also going to get a large ball of that silver tone grey, a darker charcoal in there, two of that lovely creamy oatmeal. Oh, sorry, one of the oatmeal in there, and two of the lovely creamy tone in there as well. So yeah, a lot of yarn within that particular kit for sixty-three pounds. So that is definitely one to go for as well. Um, so loads of it. Oh, it sounds like head elf could be starting traditions in lots of families. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a nice idea. He's not as scary as those elves on the shelf that you see no, no. around. They can Some be a little bit terrifying. But, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I think he's a very friendly. Death. He's like he's like Grandpa Ralph, this absolutely. guy. Absolutely. Yeah. So there you go. Why not treat yourself to that kit? Um, and you will be able to create it in plenty of time um, for Christmas because Kerry told us that at the beginning of the show. So there you go. If you fancy getting hold of yours, you can do. Now, I have to say, we have got perfect. We're talking about the, the crown, which you're going to get as a free pattern. But I have to say, if you want a Christmas hat, to kind of top all the other Christmas hats that are out there, then this is the one for you. And this is beautiful. So this is a luxury Christmas hat. So this is one that I imagine that you are going to get so much envy with regards to this one. When you are wearing this one, so many people are going to look at this and think, where on earth did you get that hat? Where did you get that hat? That would be a good start <laughs> yeah. for a song, wouldn't it? Where did you get that hat? This is beautiful. I've just got to squeeze the pom-pom. That is beautifully soft. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. So with this one, we've got the kit details on the screen. You're going to get two balls of your fabulous red and, of course, one of that. Is it cream? It is cream, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So, again, a novice... Yeah, it is. So still, you're going to be doing this front post, back post here. So that's that rib that we were referring to earlier on the edge of the mince pie and again on the top of head elf's booties. But this is just a treble stitch, which a lot of you, if you've ever crocheted any kind of blanket or granny square, you'll know a treble. And what you do is you go, uh, well, I'll, I'll probably get a chance to show you anyway. So I'll, show you, I'll make sure I put that on my um, to-do list. But um, you're going inwards and outwards and that's what creates this lovely rib on the edge. But then you just double crochets for the rest Beautiful. of it. It's so yeah. thick and absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. I mean, it's going to have those practical um, yes, elements. Yes, it genuinely it's, yeah, is warm. If you're you someone warm. that walks a dog uh, on Christmas Day or Boxing Day, or it's part of your um, festive traditions to walk outside, especially when it's minus three like it is yeah. at the moment, this one will genuinely keep you warm. Yeah. And it's wool, so it's kind of altering to your body temperature. It's not like those um, horrible, almost like fur-like fabrics that you put. My head sweats when I put those <laughs> yeah. on. It's a horrible feeling. But something like this is going to be perfect for you. So, I mean, the quality... Everybody knows the name Toft and the quality that you've got. Everything is 100% wool. So you've got your beautiful wool for the pom-pom, the fabulous main body of the hat. And, of course, you're going to be learning lots of techniques throughout. So, yeah, do take advantage of that one while you've got the opportunity. So, uh, yeah, details are on your screen. Right, I've just looked at the time. We better get on with some demonstrations. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, you're not going to know how to make anything. Now, Kerry has just popped herself over to her demo area. Needless to say, there's a lot more on the website. I've just got to be careful that I don't suddenly fall off. 
like that. Um, so there's loads of other things. Check out on the website. And if you've got any questions, do send them through to the studio. You know how to get in touch. But Kerry, what are you going to show us? So I'm going to whiz through the proper basics initially. Then I'm going to make sure I show you that loop stitch that we've been using on, say, the kittens and also on head elf. And then I'll also do that front post, back post for Perfect. you for a little bit. So right, I'm going to whiz to you through then. a few things. So first, let's start from a um, slip knot. So to tie a slip knot, you need to create a loop go through and take the tail end of the yarn and that will just ensure that your slip knot is controlled by the tail end rather than the end that is attached to the ball of yarn. Now I'm using chunky yarn here and an eight millimeter hook, um, which is the biggest scale that I'd ever work at, just so it's easy to see the stitches, but all these techniques apply um, to everything, regardless of what size yarn you're using um, and all of these patterns. So then um, the basis of this style of crochet is a double crochet stitch and in a non-stop spiral. So everything starts from a neat circle. And to create that circle, chain two stitches. So one and two chains. And then we're going to be doing this double crochet, this DC, all into this same first chain hole here. So a British double crochet, you go in there yarn over and that means grab that yarn and bring it back through that hole to the point where you've got two loops on your hook yarn over and come through those two loops and that is the only stitch that you're using so say for the whole of the head elf that's all you're using for the wow. whole of the christmas dinners desserts that's the stitch that you've got to do so i've done two of them there i'm going to do four more of them into the same hole so there's a third one a fourth one a fifth one and a sixth one, and that will open up as you're working those stitches, but so long as you've tied your slip knot the right way around, all you do oh, is you pull okay. that tight, and that gives you your six neat stitches in a circle from where it all begins. So is that the kind of thing that you would, excuse me, leaning into? Absolutely. There? So this is quite a dark, there you go, I've got it at the right angle so you can see it on I've screen. I've chosen it. So absolutely right everything <laughs> starts from six stitches in a ring like that. So you see there on the bottom of the mince pie, that would be the same. That would be the same um, for everything that you're making, whether that's um, Santa and Mrs. Claus's body, whether that's the turkey leg, whether that's sprouts, it's the all kittens? starting. The kittens, every single oh, piece wow. of the kitten. So it'd be the Thank kittens' you. bodies, heads and legs would all start in the same way. Perfect. So once you've got your six in a ring, then what you're going to do is make it get bigger. And the instruction will say double crochet two into each stitch and then it'll have the number 12 in brackets. And that's as literal as it is. So we've got six at the moment. You put your hook in beneath the whole of that stitch like that. You double crochet one. So the same thing that we've been doing throughout. You go back into the same stitch again and do a second one. And that is how this crochet grows, is you will just be sometimes adding two stitches into one and the piece will immediately start to grow bigger. Now, the only thing you need to be able to do is know where you are in terms of how many stitches you are and where you are at in the pattern. So say I'm at this stage here, counting your stitches when you're doing this style of crochet, you ignore the live stitch that's on your hook, so you ignore that loop there, okay. and you just count round the clock face. So I've currently got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 stitches in that circle. Um, so I know I have completed the right part of the pattern. Then all I use as a stitch marker, so to know where I am, if I've got to suddenly put this down and go and do something else, I just dip my hook down, and I pull through a contrasting piece of yarn, and that can be any yarn that you have like that. Then I know I can tick off that line of pattern and move on to the next thing. That's brilliant. So the only things, I'll whiz through a couple of other techniques. So that's how you make it get bigger. The okay. only other thing you need to make a level one one, so say to make your first kitten in that kitten's box, or indeed probably the whole turkey, um, <laughs> would be to make it get smaller again. And this is called a DC two tog, or the decrease. So a normal stitch like I've just been doing, you go right beneath both sides of the V like that with the stitch, and you do a double crochet. To do the DC two tog, you take your hook and you put it up through the center of that stitch like that. So you're coming up the center of the V. So okay, I've done one, yeah. back down, and do it again on the second one. So I've got two halves on my hook, and then you just do a double crochet, but through those two halves. So you're saying DC tog, is that DC like, two you, tog, like a knit two like together. Like knit two together, yeah. right. Oh, um, I see. So okay. that's one of those. So then I'm gonna do a normal stitch again, and then I'll show you that one more time. So to make it get smaller, which is the last thing that you need to learn to make any of the easy level one projects, is you go up through the middle of one stitch, okay. up through the middle of the following one, and then yep. double crochet through the two halves, and that's how it gets smaller again. Okay. So that truly is everything you would need to make head elf bar the loop stitch. 
So when you get onto those more complex kittens, like you're moving on to doing the Persian one, you'll be making loops as you go along. So you're still doing double crochets, you'll still be doing increases and decreases, but you'll be occasionally putting a loop in. And to do that, you put your hook in through the stitch that you want to create a loop in first. And that means that then this hand is free to release the work because the work is on your hook. So put your hook in first, then make a thumbs up like this. So you've got the yarn through your fingers and you've got a thumbs up and take your thumb away from your body, over the top and then underneath. And this is to create a loop that crosses in the right direction to mean that they lock in place. So then if you do want to cut them afterwards to create a different texture again, you can. So just to show you that, through the fingers, thumbs up, over the top, away from your body and then underneath towards you. So you've got a loop in position like that. Then you just yarn over, so bring a hook underneath and yarn over with the one that comes around the back of your thumb that gives you a loop. Now you can make that as long or as short as you want it to be. I was going to say, do you have to be, be careful because the yeah. divisions are cutting off my circulation. You can make that as long <laughs> or as short as you need it to be. And if it's ever stated as a length in the pattern, it's stated from here to the end. So say okay. it says three centimetres, you'd make that three centimetres from there to there. Then you just pass that across to your other hand so you've got it on the front of your work and you finish off your double crochet. So it's a normal double crochet, you just leave a loop on your thumb at the same time. So I'll do it again. That's one in place so you can see the finished thing. So with that lock now? And that is locked okay. because of the way that we do the twist, which means if you want to cut it, then you can. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. So, you can, so to do this loop again, we go in first with our hook, okay. thumbs up, over the top and back towards us. So you've got a loop that comes this way around your thumb. Mm -hmm. Then the important bit is you've got a yarn over with the one that comes around the back like that. So do you see that's what's creating that lock is the fact right. you're bringing that up and you're bringing that through. Then make that loop the size that you want it to be. Pass it across so it's on the right side of the fabric and finish off your double crochet. So it is still a double crochet. You just leave the loop in position Ooh, as you go bunny along. Ears. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. So that's how all those textures are created on, say, the head elf's um, furry collars around his coat or his cuffs. Same with the Persian um, kittens. It's exactly the same technique, putting the loops in as we go along. I've never seen that stitch before, so yeah. it's amazing. There you go. And it, the great thing is the fact, knowing that it's locked means that if you do want to change the texture, you can just cut those loops and it becomes really, really furry. Oh, I love it. It's all an education, isn't it? That's the thing. Starting off potentially with those granny squares that you've been doing over and over again. You want something that's a bit more of a challenge. Well, I say a challenge. It's kind of a challenge with a, a little C, really, isn't it? Because yes. it's the same stitches. You're just putting them together in different ways. Well, it's it? less. Because honestly, it is less stitches. Yeah. A project like this, there's fewer stitches than there is in a granny square. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and I have to say, I mean, wanting to learn, learn those skills and hone those skills. I mean, this fabulous little collection of kittens. Is it a litter of kittens I don't know is it a litter of kittens I'm not sure um, it's a box of kittens on this occasion <laughs> because you've got your fabulous little character it's almost like a family photo here isn't it so you've got your different styles now you've got your little Alex here now Alex is your level one um, and a level one means that uh, if you've just done your well even if you've done no crochet at all yep. did you say yeah you can pick it up and learn it's not your double often crochet. I can say that yep. phrase to be fair with full video help so it's not that you're on your own it's and you're having fail. to read a pattern and decode it there's full video help for everybody. I love it yeah. so that is the first one that you were going to try and then I think you mentioned going on to was yeah that's Juno which is a Siamese Juno, cat yeah little Siamese and that's going to introduce your color change so you can see the muzzle the little ears and obviously um, the extremities of his, his legs there with his paws that's a color change um, another one of way of changing your color is this one here but that is where you've not got harsh lines between your colors yeah changes. so rather than just moving from one color to another color once and cutting that yarn with one that's so this is Martin, the tabby cat, for anyone who, who is interested in their names. But they're all asking in the gallery. Yeah, you like, move okay, backwards and forwards between the colours um, with the um, tabby cat. So you will be um, leaving them both live, dropping one colour, picking up the other colour, and then ah, swapping so back working two at the two. same time. Yeah. I love that. Oh dear, you're having a little nap there. Now that loopy switch, a little cat nap. There you go. Who'd have thought it? The loopy stitch. I love this. What breed of cat was this one? The Maine Coon. So that's Melchior, the Maine Coon, which are those big, giant, furry cats. Um, very, I very love big cats. That. 
very loopy tail as well so that's where that loopy stitch that we've just learned is going to be very useful and you're going to hone that loopy stitch when yeah. you come to the persian persian's got to have a, a glamorous name persian. nusha nusha there nusha you the go persian. nusha yeah. the persian of course so there you go fabulous little characters but again a very generous supply of wool within any of these kits as you can see again it's got six balls of yarn you're making your little characters and you've seen the yarn re sorry the wool should i say really does go a long way when you are working with this so yeah double knit again brilliant projects loads of fun to be had and it is something that i know you're going to have so many hours of fun with um when you're working with it i say hours hours when you're completing everything really isn't it because mm -hmm. it's 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 literally you can be making these in just a saturday afternoon or something like that or any any day of the week it doesn't have to be a saturday i don't know why i said saturday but there <laughs> we go um so yeah double crochet featuring a lot within these we've seen the different stitches now there was something else you wanted to show us that forward and back yeah the front post back post so oh. what I'll do is quickly do a round of trebles so we'll we'll nail what that treble is for anyone so, that'll be the one that a lot of you'll be familiar and with. this is yeah. the one that we saw in the mince pies within the the Christmas dinners wasn't it we also saw it on the the hat yeah the, uh, and the, the head elf hat. oh and a head elf yes so right. a treble is what you do is you go round the hook first so rather than going straight in the stitch like we did with the double you yarn over um, round that hook first then you go in the stitch yarn over you've got three loops on your hook this time but you take two off first and then you take another two off now if you've ever done a granny square or any okay. form of crochet that's the stitch you're gonna yes, make yeah. is a treble um, that's the one that a lot of people tend to learn first so to do this front post back post you're going to do lots of trebles first so initially you do a round just of trebles like that I always think of them being almost like tiers because they, they yeah they are they all and trebles and you that's know, like exactly the, how my hat's made so it's say like the, the pillars that you have under the, the the layers of a wedding cake you know like the pillars when the cake stands on it if you think of those are your crochet pieces so you'll either have your double knits which are little ones or your trebles which are taller yeah ones. so say the crown that's on my head the way that the spikes are made so the pattern that you're going to get in your um, free and every kit is you taking advantage of that so you'll actually be doing different heights of stitches that's how you create those peaks. So once you get round and you've done a round of trebles, now it's time for this front post back post thing. So turning it into a rib. So what you need to do is you're going to still be trebling, but rather than going into the stitch, like into that V like we have been mm -hmm. doing so far, we're actually going to go around the treble that you've made. Oh, okay. So you go in and you pull the treble forward like that and then you do a treble. So that's a front post because it's pulled it forward. Yeah. And then to do a back post, you go around and you come in the back and you push okay. it backwards and then you treble. So then a front post again, you'll come in underneath, in under. pull it forward and then a back post round, you need to come in underneath and you push it backwards. So you're still just doing trebles but rather than doing them into the stitches, you're, also, you're doing them around the stitches. Oh, you can see them twisting. And you see straight yeah. away, you get your front post yes. forming that upwards rib yeah. and your back post go back into that. And so it, it creates Naturally a rib. Yeah, it's, a, rib yeah. it's stretchy, it will pull it in um, and it gives you a really nice texture. Obviously, it reflects, say, with mince pies, it's reflecting that um, texture around the edge of mince pies. But that is, honestly, that's it. And you can do front post, back post with a half treble too. It doesn't have to always be seen. It always with a sounds more complicated when you say it out loud, doesn't yeah. it? But when you actually break it down and you get used to the terminology, then uh, yeah, it's all down to the numbers of times that you twist the yarn round or you pull it through, whether it goes in from the front, whether it comes in from the side. There's, it's all those different kind of directional things that you'll learn as time goes on. But ultimately, you're passing the yarn over a hook and pulling it through. It's just how you do that that makes all the variations. It is. And what's lovely about little projects like this is say you're doing head elf boots you're only going to be doing two rounds of that absolutely so it's not like when you undertake a, a blanket and you've got you know that you're going to have that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ages. stitches of it yeah actually you'll learn a little technique like that but you're only going to be doing it for about 10 minutes yeah and true. then you're off on your double crochet again i yeah. love it talking about double crochet and also working with your larger yarn something that's going to be something that's in going to be very very quick when it actually grows is the turkey <laughs> leg now i think it's a, is it only the turkey leg that we've not spoken about oh no the, the cookies as 
well. There's quite a few. <laughs> so you've got a chunky um, turkey leg. So your chunky turkey leg is at the end of the table over in the front there as well. So um, <laughs> that is just hilarious. <laughs> you can see the small one alongside it. So the big one here, is this working with the Aran way? Oh, this no, is chunky. the chunky, chunky yes. Yeah. So you're yeah. actually going to get 360 grams of yarn with this kit. So it's obviously far more yarn than there is in any other kit in the show. That's the scale that I've just been demonstrating on. So the Perfect. hook and the yarn that I've just been showing you, that is the scale. It's huge. The stitches are really big. It grows super fast, but it serves to really show you how once you've got these patterns, you can use any thickness of yarn to scale them up and down. I'm trying to figure out how you could turn that one into a hat, to be fair. I'm sure <laughs> there'll be a way if you know what you're doing. Um, so uh, obviously you can scale them down as well. So if you're wanting to create your smaller turkey, we were talking about the discovery box, but we've also got the one that's down at the front here. So this one is working with your double weight. I'm sorry, double knit. Double knit, yeah. So yeah. it's just 50 grams of yarn with this one. So you'll get a ball of the um, fudge and the ball of the cream. And this isn't available as a kit anywhere else. So this is actually just you know what? on it, the online. I'm yeah. just thinking ahead. If you're going to be making lots of Christmas pudding decorations with the dessert discovery box, maybe get that as an addition. And then you've got more of the double knit for your Christmas puddings and icing. So if you're making like, I don't know, 30 of those little Christmas puddings or whatever, then you could do that as well. Um, and you're liking the turkey leg as well. So yeah, little turkey. <laughs> It's quite very cute, actually. I do like it. Um, so you're going to get your two different yarns, as you can see in there. And it's a nice way for you to get hold of those um, wool. Not yarns, they're wool. Um, in, uh, if you wanted to, for just £15. So, yeah, another way to get hold of those. A couple more kits for me to introduce to you as well. The cookies in a tin. In a tin that's got toffed on there as well. And I think this is lovely. So there you go. You have got your cookies. Have you got a little almost like cookie character there? Yeah, so inside you're going to get the pattern um, for the character as well as obviously the cookie individually and then it's your choice so I know that some people really love these gourmet crochet tins that we do yes, to create yes. play food so you could just make four cookies and um, obviously they could be play food you don't have to put eyes on them or anything like that or you could opt to put eyes them you can turn them into Christmas decorations if you wanted to and hang them on your tree or you could make the body that goes with that so you've got a little cookie monster character too. Um, so, uh, yes, if you fancy getting hold of that, one thing... That yeah, because everything is inside. So if you get that, sorry, if you can lean over, we can Just get that. it. And you can see, because you do get absolutely everything in these as well. So they're brilliant gifts. It isn't just um, the yarn or anything like that. It's actually absolutely Oh, everything. my word. So you're going to have your wool needle, um, which is very, very important when you're sewing up, um, that you've got a metal one of those. You've got your eye threads if you do opt to put eyes on it if you want to. You've actually got your stuffing, tons of stuffing. Um, you'd be able to make a lot of cookies with that stuffing. You You've then got your 50 grams of yarn, so you've got camel and you've got chestnut in this one. You've got your three millimeter. Oh, wow, here. this is a fabulous gift. Yeah, for and then, then you've also got your um, your instructions, should I say. So it's a little bit like a, um, a recipe card. So okay. you've got your method of how to cook your, um, your cookies. I so it. it is a great complete kit for someone that's new to crochet. Absolutely, yeah. so there you go, if you fancy getting hold of that one. So um, one of our favorites we have saved to the very end though, um, and this is a brilliant one as well. So this is your amaryllis. Now the last time um, I think we had you here, it was a poinsettia, wasn't it? Yes, so it was, yeah. The amaryllis, we've got a fabulous picture to share with you as well. And this is such a clever idea. And this is really tall, isn't it? It one? is, so yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, the amaryllis hasn't made it here to Sewing Street, I fear she she um, might be near HQ and we will go looking for her <laughs> when, we get, when we get back today. Um, but yes, it is the Toff Standard Flower. It's one of my favourite Christmas flowers. And this um, is the kit. This is how the kit comes yeah, to you. It here, comes so as a yeah. wrapped bouquet. The Ponsetti was one of our best-selling um, kits when we came on um, Yarn Lane before. I know a lot of you liked it. So if you do want to add an amaryllis to go with your Ponsetti, it's the same size and scale. There's more yarn in this one because you will be getting ruby, cream, lime and green in order to create the shape. Um, but yeah, it's another beautiful Christmas beautiful flower. Package. Yeah. One thing I did mention to our viewers, I was going to show them uh, an example of how the instructions come to Yes, them. so actually they're all hiding inside here. So this is a good example of what um, what you can do with your discovery box afterwards. It's okay. a great place to keep all of your um, postcard patterns. So every single kit does obviously come with um, printed postcard patterns as well. It's not... Um, they will be included in your kit. So you'll get the yarn, you'll get that tote bag that they all come inside and they'll be like this. So say your head elf there, you've got two pages of instructions that go with his. Um, then if it's a discovery box, they come as individuals. So say oh, wow. with your, okay. yeah, say you go for that kittens one, you will actually get the five individual postcards like that. 
um, it's not that they're all on one. Um, so, yeah, this is literally every postcard for the whole show that I've got here in I my hand. It, so, so, what a brilliant way to store them. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, there's your Amaryllis. So, yeah, it's a great way to store them. Obviously, we have intentionally designed those discovery boxes to be the right size so that if you do keep all your toff patterns safe in one place, you know, you can put keep all your there. crochet hooks yeah. and everything in there as well. And everything is delivered in a fabulous little drawstring um, tote bag with all of the signage on there. And of course, if you are placing your order today, then you are going to get your Christmas crown pattern included within your kit. The lovely Kerry is showing us how to wear it there as well. So I have to say, it's been a fabulous hour. Guessing it's the last time that we're going to see you before Christmas no. or are you due back? Well, I've got one more. So actually, um, it's on the 13th of December okay. and it's going to be a best of 2023 oh, I love top a show. Review. I do too. So yeah. it's really, I mean, it's great for me and the team to really just see how much we've done this year. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is the thing. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to that. So I'll keep my eye open for that one. Um, but tomorrow is another day over on Sewing Street. So we've got lots of things going on. Kicking off 8 a.m. with your extra wide fabrics. We always love those. A lovely Tracy Dennis is here with Owl and Sewing Cap. Got a USB deal for you to see that one. And Pollyanna Pickering, all those beautiful wildlife images um, are appearing on your pa and panels with Anna Louise herself. Then Tracy is going to be back at 11 through until 12 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got a clearance show for you. Oh, I do love a clearance. Um, bag a bargain or two potentially tomorrow. Don't know who your presenter is tomorrow, but it's certainly not me. So it's Vicky. Oh, lovely Vicky. Um, she, she's been, she was doing the, the singing, wasn't she, at the ball, I believe. So, uh, yeah, hopefully um, she's had a chance to rest her voice and be spending a fabulous day with you. Um, Kerry, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure as always. So much fun. Check out your basket. So that is the key thing. Take advantage of those deals. And I will see you very soon. Bye for now.